Hello, hello and welcome everybody. Oh my goodness. The day has arrived. 10 hours of live streaming with me from now on. So uh, yeah, I'm customarily late, 10 minutes late. Um, I've had a bit of a busy morning and uh, it's all kind of crept up on me. Anyway, we're just going to get stamping. There will be, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> all I know is that I've got, oh, I need to turn my sound down. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't want to hear my voice. Um, so all I know is that I've roped in my children and my husband. They're going to come, well, husband is probably going to come in about an hour. So I'm going to do some stamping. I've got to stamp four wreaths. Okay, four people have donated £100. Thank you so much. I am really pleased to say I have reached the initial target of £600. Um, now, the overall target of the whole project is actually £15,000. So all the money that can come in will be fantastic. It will all get used. I was in the middle of trying to sort out a little video to show you guys specifically to do with this project. So I'm hoping that at some point um, I can maybe bring in another camera so that, you know, maybe Tom can use his camera so I can carry on editing on on my camera here or maybe we could just have the kids chatting to you at some point about some stuff I don't know and I can try and go and finish that editing and then get that uploaded anyway uh, or it might not happen I, I don't know it just might not happen today and, and, and I'll save that video and and show you where your money's going to go you know in the next few days hello Ruth I was mid editing Ruth but then you know I had to go live so anyway Thank you so much for joining me. Now, I, as I said, I've had four people donate 400, uh, sorry, 100 pounds each. So I'm going to start off by stamping a wreath. So if you guys want to um, let me know what colors you'd like me to use, that would be awesome. Now, I have switched off monetization for my channel today. You cannot super chat me at all. Please do not super chat me. Please do not PayPal donate to me at all. I want all the money to go to Cycle with Dignity. Now, some of you may not realise that this is actually a little bit of a celebration for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So 10,000 subscribers, 10 hours live streaming. This is why I'm here. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, Amanda. Lovely to see you. Uh, who else? Hi, Linda. Hi, Mindy. De Deanne. Uh, Valerie, it's six o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness. You guys are dedicated. Thank you so much. Hi, hi, Heidi Solinsky. Lovely to see you. So I'm hoping that more and more people will come on as, you know, the day progresses. I know it's very early for some of you guys. Um, thanks, Joanna. We got your money. Thank you. And yeah, we are absolutely over the moon. So Ruth Stevens, who just said hello, she is the person who helped set up the organisation along with uh, Beatrice. And uh, she and I, we're both trustees of the organisation too. So all the Southern Californians are just waking up and having their coffee. So I've had my coffee a few hours ago and I'm a bit... So can I just check that uh, you can hear me okay? Well, the sounds good. I think I'm on the, I'm on the right internet. Um, um, okay, so I'm getting questions about donating. If, um, if you can't donate via the GoFundMe, because I don't think GoFundMe is accepting American Express, I will also give you the link to donate to, uh, pay through PayPal. All right, so I'm just going to go and grab that link now for you. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in the chat. So if any of my mods occasionally could just reshare that, that link, that would be awesome. So this is the link for the PayPal. So if you do PayPal, could you just do a screenshot and send it to me so I can add it to the tally as I go along? So up to now, uh, we have got to £658. Okay, we're at £658. So thank you, Mindy. Awesome. So some people are having some problems doing it through the GoFundMe. So that's, that's fine. 
but anyway enough has been fundraised for me to be here for 10 hours that was kind of like the initial aim but if we can do more let's do more yay ah valerie could you send me a screenshot of what you donated i promise not to tell anybody how much it was um no 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 don't worry linda so if you did go fund me i can see how you know the amounts that's not a problem it's just that if you do it by paypal um it's our treasurer who has links uh, or has access to the paypal account so i can't see it so if you could just drop me a note with the number um i'll add it to the tally it's just for the tally okay so that's fine you were able to pay by paypal on the gofundme link oh yes of course yes that is an option you can pay via paypal on the gofundme Yes, I did that last night, actually, because somebody had donated money directly to me. So I made a donation. <laughs> so. Thank you, Diane. Awesome. Thank you. OK, so let's get stamping. That's what we're here for. So if we have any colour suggestions, that would be awesome. Um, I think just to make it a bit easier for me, I'm just going to go with stamps I love to start off with um, because I know I've got to be here for 10 hours and I may also just have a rest from my voice occasionally and not do too much talking because um, I, I just know that I've got to be careful because I don't think, uh, I, I mean, I know I love talking, but, you know, 10 hours is going to be a bit much. Sound is good. Okay, great. Uh, thanks, Linda, who's on here. She's one of my mods. Um, no, you don't need to send me a receipt. It's only if you did it uh, directly to the pe the Potter's House PayPal. Yeah, no, that's fine, Diane. I, let me just have a double check. Um, yeah, no, I can see yours, Valerie. It's not a problem. And I can see Diane's. Yeah, so if you do donate through go fund me if you want to keep it anonymous you can just tick a but uh, a box and it will stay anonymous but if you have donate over 100 pounds and you would like to get a wreath from me you need to email me ruthtrice at gmail.com i will get the uh, email address up there so that you can see it there we go ruthtrice at gmail.com evening evergreen would be great okay i can do evening evergreen I'm just move some stuff up. Oh, hello, Tom. Hello. Tom's come to join me. Yes, I'm going to pick this paper all right. You're lying on my brain. You've been yeah, oh, no, no, I, I was a bit late. I was 10 minutes late. So. No, no. Okay, so evening evergreen. No, that's the wrong colour. Um, there we go. Right, any other colour choices? Please tell me. Colour choices, colour choices. Right, let's see who else has popped on. I wonder if it'd be handy to have the other laptop with, um, I don't know, so they can see what's going on. Oh, no, no, there's the grey one upstairs. Okay. So. okay, okay, I'm just going to pick out colours. Shall, I... <gasps> Shall we do the colour wheel? Oh, Calypso Coral, okay, okay, come on people. This is your chance, guys. Uh, Calypso Coral, yep. Can do this. Any others? Any others? Okay, I'm going to show my desk now. Okay, so look, this is my really fancy tally. <laughs> I'm going to keep colouring it in as we go along. Looks so cool. What else could go with this? Can I put a little bit of the? I really love doing pale papaya with this one. There's a bit of Sahara sand. Flirty. A little bit of flirty. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Flirt and Calypso. Hi, Kevin. Bast Bastelt, welcome, welcome. Do say hi if you're watching. Now, I have switched it on that you have to be subscribed for one minute to my channel in order to comment, and that is basically to try and keep the bots away. So, Highland Heather, okay, yeah, can do a bit of 
Island. That's something bright in there now. Take, my, take that off a bit. Put the light on. Oh, thank you, Janine. Thank you, darling. Could you just um, screenshot it and just message me on Facebook so that I can just add it to the total? I won't tell everybody straight away because it's an obvious one to me, but um, yeah. Um. Okay, shall we just get started then? Any favourite... Any favourite stamp sets you want to see me use, guys? I'm just getting my um, these ready. Okay, I'm just going to grab some stamps. Oh, I don't think I've done, I've not done a read for this one yet. Hi, Shaz. <laughs> okay, texture, texture, texture. I have got... Ooh... Thinking what I've got I could use. I have got this one. I've not used that one yet. I'm just gonna get all my stamps out on the shelf. I have some new stuff that I've not put up on my shelf just yet. Oh, come on. Oh, falling down. Okay. Oh, also this one. Perfect pomegranate has some lovely texture as well. Okay, let's get some texture down. So, ooh, new stamp set. Got to do the stamp sets now. Lovely. Thank you, Linda. So there are two ways to donate. I've got a pinned comment right at the top. That's the ideal way on the GoFundMe page. It just means I've got access to that so I can do the tally much easier. Do I have the new ones? Yes, I do, Melissa, I do, yes. That one, yeah, we can use that. Gosh, you could do little tree rings in the background, couldn't we? There's a bit of a nice texture. You're gonna hear me say the word texture a lot. <laughs> there we go. Now, because it's on paper economy, I'm now going to get my maps out. I'm to put my, I'm going to get all my blocks out. So I've got to put them down. Okay, Ruth, calm down. Just calm down. I'm a bit, bit excited. Just need to chill out a bit. Calm the jets. So the GoFundMe is it's pinned. It's a pinned comment to the top of the, the video. So we are going to be stamping uh, four weeks over the course of today. Because we've had some generous donations. So... Got, not got this planned out at all so it's just kind of you know hang about see what happens watch me drop some stamps occasionally does happen there's something moving about to, you know when you hear things moving and you're like oh something about to fall excuse me a second Lovely smelly. Um, I've got an. What's it called? Those 
aroma thing in my jiggies. I've got my nice essential oils in there. Okay, so I'm stamping off at the side because I don't want this to be too strong. Just kind of creating a, a bit of a circular pattern. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with Calypso Coral. A nice row. I need inspiration for the tree stamps. Ah, okay. You know what, I'm going to get my really massive block out. This is so cool how I'm not going to lose track. This is a tip I get from my sister. So you can use like a big block that the um, stamps on when she's not using them. So, right, I'm going to move that one out of the way. Is everyone okay? Everyone cool on this hot summer's day in the UK? I know it might be different for you where you are, but it's warm here. So, um, yeah. I've got my water. So how many people have we got on live? 20 people. Right, I'm sure we can double that if we can invite some more friends. So if you have any friends that love stamping, love creating, then please do invite them over. Love to welcome new folks on this channel. Ooh, nice. Put a lot of those in the background there. I think I'm going to have three strong ones together. There we go. I'll try and keep this as circular as possible. Sometimes I go a bit off on one, don't I? Ooh, I'm getting a lot of haloing on this stamp. So if that if you find that happens and you haven't got time to do a quick trim, just push in the centre of the stamp and that helps to prevent the haloing effect. Uh, I'll just have another little one there. Hello, Yellow Roses. I am live and I'm going to be live for the next 10 hours. That's if my phone holds out. I imagine it's going to get very warm. So there may be times where I just have to sort of switch it off and just use my camera on my computer for a bit. Or use my husband's cam phone. Yeah. Now I may be able to set it up where I have some guest... People. I don't know if my sister was going to help me out by doing some stamping with you guys. We'll see. I think she's at work at the moment. So, Anyway, do say hello if you're watching. It's great to see you. If anyone wants to share some jokes, please do. Oh, Nydia. Hello, Nydia. Sorry. <laughs> I always forget that's your handle. Oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I'm in love already, says Melissa. Oh, good. Right, I think we want some, some of these flowers, but do these in the purple, I think. I'm going to sit down as well. Hi, Patty McCord. Oh, lovely, Shaz. Awesome. Yes, do share out on Facebook. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I did as well. I may just share out the. Oh no, I'll do it in a bit. I'll I'll do a bit of stamping. I'll I'll do some sharing out of social media when Tom has his go. So, right, I've lost myself now. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> It's hot. Are you in the office, Joanna, or are you, are you in the home office? Office at home. I'm just going to uh, check the donations, see where we're at. Okay. 
I don't know if um oh Janine did you send me details of your oh, awesome Um, oh bless okay so some people have again paypal'd me myself but i'll I'll transfer the money over um yay okay so i'm gonna, just gonna do a quick new tally then so we've got i'm gonna i'm gonna sometimes round up because um it's just a bit easier so um let me just tell you where we're at um i think i'm just gonna add it up in my head let me point. so we've had a further 40 pounds awesome so let me just add that to my calculator plus 40. so at 698 Woo right uh where's my pen gone so we're nearly, we're going to leave a little quiver, two more pounds to go to get to 700. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so let's pop a few more in here. One here. Yeah, got it. Thanks, Janine. Yeah, so ideally, please don't PayPal me personally. There is links in the chat up here. Um, I will also, there's also a link in the description to the Potter's House CBO website. And on there, there's various ways that you can donate. If you're in the UK and you want to set up a regular giving there is a link to stewardship which is a organization that deals with like ongoing donations and i don't think they take as much as paypal as well so um so if you're considering actually donating on a regular basis then do go and check out the potter's house cbo website which i will share now there we go okay so that's highland heather so the, the set i've just used was true beauty which is really really pretty now it does have this really lovely foliage part but i find that i don't end up always using sorry i don't end up using all of it um i find i i kind of mainly use that top bit so shall we do the chop i'm wondering whether to give that a little bit of a chop there you know what i'm just going to do it i know this is actually going to be cutting into the design but sometimes it just has to happen because it's just easier oh right can I come around here? Hey, there we go. All right. See, you can even get that on a smaller block now. That is so much more useful. Okay, now I do have evening evergreen, but I don't want to get any, any too dark on there just yet. So, um, oh, Joanna's like, no, well, look at that emoji. That's so funny. <gasps> What she doing? Shock horror, cutting into a stamp. Look away, look away, it's fine. Oh, that's quite strong, but I know that will calm down. I know it'll calm down, it'll be fine. Go. Hi Susan. Ah, oh, no worries. Lovely to have you here. Mm. 
yes i am stamping over the flowers because it's i'm trying to keep the it look it's looking a bit square at the moment i'm gonna have to um pull it back so it looks a little bit more rounded but we'll get there we're just at the beginning stages aren't we so it'll be fine Oh, I'm wondering whether to tuck one in here. There we go. It's amazing how many generations of inking you can get out of a rubber stamp, really. Okay, looking pretty. I like it. Okay, and then I've also still got this left over, haven't I? In case I want to do some little, little tuckings. I think I'll cut it in a way that makes it still usable. I'm just going to ink up that little part there. So yeah, it does, it does get a little, there's a bit cut off, hmm, perhaps not as well as it should be, but anyway, we can disguise the little, there we go. It's quite cute. Right, moving on. I think we could do with a paler green or, or oh, what about a bit of a zingier green in here just to lift it all up. So what do you think? Granny apple green or I'll give you a choice. Um, let's do green. We'll do granny apple or parakeet party. There we go. You guys can vote. You guys can vote. I will get them out and show you. So this is Granny Apple Green and this is Parakeet. So what do you think? Which one? Let's have your votes in. Bring in your votes, bring in your votes. Fourteen votes so far. I know there's a few more of you watching. Thirty of you watching. Come on. Oh, Granny Apple's got it. 62% at the moment. I'll, I'll leave it open for a little bit longer. <sighs> Come on. I'm just going to um, add a um, a website so if anyone wants to go there. Okay, any more votes in? The new garden grandeur hostess is set. It's a cool set. Do you have a set? Yes, I do have it. Yeah, I do. 
Okay, I'm ending the poll in 10, 9, 8, 7. I've only had 18 votes. Come on, vote. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. End poll. Okay, so Granny Apple Green had it. There we go, 61%. Thank you for getting your votes in. So we do have this lovely leaf in this set, which I thought might be quite nice to pop in. So welcome, welcome. If you've just joined, we're in the first hour of a 10 hour live marathon. And it won't just be me. I will need to go for a comfort break at some point. And my kids are also going to be doing some card making. I, I do have a couple of kits that I thought they could use. Tom wants to stamp something, I'll let him tell you all about that. We may need to come and choose some stamps. Oh he's got new stamps to choose from now hasn't he? I will be showing a video of the work of the Potter's House CBO as well. I'll be able to share that with you because that, that already exists. I may also be able to show you a, a short video of uh, one of the ladies who who makes the pads for us. It's a bit of a, it was made a little while ago, but it's the, the, the information is still relevant. Okay, a little leaf down here as well. That's nice, isn't it? It just brings... It just lifts it, doesn't it? It gives it a bit of brightness. So there we go. Now, why is my my phone keeps wanting to go off at funny angles? Just bear with a sec. I'm just going to slide it over a little bit. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Joanna. Right. I think it would be nice now to add some smaller flowers to this. One. Oh, that's quite a nice little flower, isn't it? That wee one. So this is an exclusive stamp set for those who have a party order of over £275 during celebration. We are in celebration now, so it's a good time to pick up some extra stamp sets. So I'm thinking of getting a flirty flamingo out for this, and I will need my stamp lamp back. Because I'm using, this is a photopolymer stamp. Ah, now this is a distinctive stamp, so it's it's got lovely sort of shading to it. It's not completely solid. It's super pretty. I'm looking for some little gaps to add that in. Oh, I've got light just falling. It's just coming through my curtain. Oh, well, that's what happens when it's sunny, doesn't it? 
enjoy it while we've got it. Now there is a centre for this flower, there is this little group of blobs, but I, th I feel I need something a little bit larger to go in there. So I'm wondering whether to use, yes, perfect. So that's from Artistic People, it's just that little wee flower. So. I am going to use Calypso Coral in the centre of those. My little ray of sunshine, yes. Just there. <laughs> right, so. Now I've got to find all of them and stick that in the middle. But anyway, it's worth it, it's going to be worth it. So first generation, second, oh, I might get a third, yes. First and second. First. Hi Janice! Glad you could make it. There is something therapy, it feels therapeutic and relaxing just to go and stamp where, where you've already stamped just to do the fillers. It's quite fun. That is just perfect, isn't it? It's got so much dimension to it. Hi, Tara Creates too. Welcome, welcome. Now I've just noticed I've got where I've got the clear areas it looks a little bit too see-through for me so I'm going to now use pale papaya and a brush and just put a touch of colour onto these roses so that they don't look so see-throughy. Yes, that is a technical term, see through -y. Ah, so Linda and Tara, do you know each other in real life? You know, in person, face to face. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. So today's live stream is in aid of a project called Cycle with Dignity and the charity who's you know, looking after that project is called the Potter's House CBO and it works out in Kenya and does some amazing work supporting families to stay together basically. So due to poverty, children end up on the streets and parents end up, not all, but some end up turning to alcohol just to escape the realities of their lives. And so what the Potter's House does is support families to perhaps get back into work, to be trained, to help the children to go to school. Thank you, Pamela. I did see it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so one of the projects is to educate young people about menstrual health and also to provide sanitary wear for them so that they don't miss days of school and they are not tempted to uh, go and earn money in a 
degrading way so that they can pay for their sanitary towels. So, right, I was looking for, I want to put some little flowers on here now. So, I'll just leave that one up. So, we employ a lady who works from home. She happens to also have three children with cerebral palsy living at home with her. And so by working to make the sanitary towels on her sewing machine at home, she's able to look after her children, earn money and also be involved in this project. Right, little flowers going on now. So because I used purple before, I just want kind of going to the purple again just to repeat that purple so it's not just out on a limb there. Got a little bit of haloing there. Okay, I'm going to show you. This does happen on a regular basis. Get your scissors. And it's okay to cut off the area around the stamp. Do not, do not cut the stamp itself, the image rather. You just need to cut the little areas off. this one as well. So I'm not cutting it off from where the stamps actually come together because I want to still be able to see how to pop them together. So I'm leaving those. There we go. Hi Carla. Thank you Mindy. I'm just scattering these little purple flowers everywhere. I'm wondering if my Highland Heather needs a little bit of an ink, but it could just be that because I'm using distinctive stamps, it's not really strong. Mm, lots of flowers on the other side, haven't I? Right, I think we need a delicate leaf in there now somewhere. My volume is on full, but it seems fairly quiet. Oh, it's because I'm probably, sounds like I'm talking to myself. Let me bring my phone a bit lower down. Is that better? I should put my, <laughs> should put my voice right next to the phone. Oh, um. performance oh oh dear hold on oh I disappeared then for a second sorry um, much better uh okay now that you moved it uh it's because it's quite high up because I wanted you to be able to see the whole thing so now I have it right in front of my face Okay, uh, da, 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 da. little leaves. We want some little leaves. Now this one's got a very nice leaf. And also, I'm not going to be too scared from using it because it's a distinctive stamp. So Evening Evergreen was a colour chosen earlier. I'm just going to test it out, see what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, where should we pop this? Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think I need the stem. I'm going to just wipe off that stem. I don't need it. Because I want to tuck that right close up to that rose. Oh, inked it by accident. Ooh. This is where your cloth comes in handy. Yeah, we need to ink that a bit more. Mm. 
Oh, your left. Oh, ouch, Tara. Did you have some sort of ear infection or something? That can happen. My husband had that many years ago. And he, oh, he had an infection and then he had grommets put in and he's slowly losing his hearing in one of his ears. It's pretty bad. So if he sleeps, like if he, I can't remember which side it is, but if he sleeps on one side, his head on one side of the pillow, he can't hear a thing. If he's if he's sleeping on his good ear, you know, he'd be no good in a fire, would he? <laughs> it's healing. Oh, good. Ouch. Sinus infection I moved to the ear. Yeah, it's all yeah, it's the whole area's connected, isn't it, up there? Ear, nose and throat, all of that. Okay. I feel like now we need to go into the delicate territory of I need some sort of little delicate leaf. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've used that before, this one. Or have I? No, it smells, it smells new. Well, this is going to somebody who donated a hundred pounds to the, organ, the, the charity. So, um, I don't think I had anyone tell me specific colours just yet of what they wanted, so I might just sort of randomly send different ones out. And it's up to them what they do with them. They may frame them. Not a pain, no pain, but a stuffy feeling in the... Yeah, my husband said it sounded like he was in a goldfish bowl for a while. many years ago now. Isn't that a pretty leaf? So delicate. I don't think I'd noticed it before. Yeah, I do recommend that if you know that your hearing is going, that you, you start learning to lip read. Hello. Oh, hello. This is my son, Luke, everybody. Well, I've nearly finished this. So I have got now, where's the kits? Have a look at these kits and see which one you'd like to have a play with. Or you can have a who wants to do a quick way loop wave. I'm gonna stand next to me for a sec. You're there, wave. Don't turn around. 
<laughs> There's Luke. Okay, so Luke's just going to have a quick look at the kits, and then when I've finished, he's going to come. They're grand. Oh, that's mine. Don't worry. I'm really loving this little stamp. I'm going a bit nuts with it. I feel like I need to put a few more in. I've got some scissors to open it up. So with some of those kits, there's no, no stamping really required. It's just kind of like you put it together. But you don't have to use it how it says it on the kit. You can, you can just make it up if you want. You can cut bits, tear bits, do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Right, I am thinking, the more I'm looking at this, I want to make these purple centres a little bit more prominent. So, I think... Yeah, I might just grab gorgeous grey and use that little doodaddy thing. You finally figured how to get Ruth on the TV. Oh, yay. That's a bonus. Yes, I do sign sign my artwork. I do. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little centre into these purple flowers. Maybe just make some stand out a little bit more. Let's see if there's an even smaller flower. Oh, it's that one there. Now, because that's a solid one, I don't want to use gorgeous grape on that. I need to be able to go back in with Highland Heather. Or is it time for dotage? I might just use another. I'll just use another leaf. I like getting a few different leaf textures in. Oh, I could go back to using Granny Apple. Let's try that. Now that these little dot bits on the end of this stamp are meant to have flowers, but you don't always have to do it the way they tell you. You know, do it your way. Off to find Glenna. Glenna might be at work. Is she at work today? I wonder. Have you got Luke? Have you got space on your phone to download an app? Because I'm wondering whether we could use your phone. Um, it's called I is it IP Cam or something? Just type in IP Cam. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I can use the speaker on my computer for you. Yeah, that's the one. I think it is anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Good. 
because then I can give my phone a bit of a rest and I can carry on doing some editing. I'll stand in for Glenna. <laughs> this should count as, count as a mental health day. I love to see you make 8x8 eight eight leaves that can fit on a gift bag. Yeah. That's a good idea. When I moved my craft room into my living room, the first thing I did was figure out how to get my, TV, my YouTube folks on TV. <laughs> Excellent. Good plan. Right, let's do a, a view account check. Ooh, 36. Yay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, thanks, Ruth, for checking. That's brilliant. Awesome. So... So we're counting. So if anyone is on the go on the go for me page, basically we're just counting from the where it started seven eight days ago. That that was kind of this fundraising cycle. So that's that's what we're kind of going to, and plus we've had some money come in via um paypal as well okay so that's i'm adding the paypal to that too oh okay so that means we're up to uh 27 right hold on let me just add 37 so 735 we're up to i think what did ruth just say it was Oh, okay, fab. Yeah, 735 we're up to. Mm -hmm. Look at that there. Yeah, 375. Ruth, Ruth, you keep a tally. That's six pads for four, 146 girls. Thank you. Okay, I think it's nearly dotage time. And then I'm going to get my son in here. See if I can set his camera up. So um, I don't think you have to log in or anything. You just need to give your permission to use the camera, and then yeah. Do you want to go? You've got a charger. Yeah, I've got I've got a charging thing here. So. Oh, I think we need a bit more green up here. So as this is a 10 hour live stream, guys, I'm, I'm not kind of in a rush to kind of get things done. It's not like a kind of tutorial where I kind of go bang, bang, bang with all the steps. It's very laid back. Come and hang out, grab a drink, grab some snacks and just hang out with us. Pop in and out if you want to. You know, you don't have to be here the whole time. It's just hang out with us. That little leaf stamp was from Ringed with Nature. I will go through all of them in a second. Oh, now, shall I use this dotage? Although I'm a bit scared to use it in too dark a colour. No, I'm scared. I'm not going to do it. Can you get the stamp set? It says it's called Quiet Water. Thank you. Are you a CC? Or... All right, then. Right, oh, might go gorgeous grape actually. Mega dotage. Oh, you serving cocktails later? Oh, yes. 
a bit early for you yet, Janine. Voltage is going on. So, which kit are you going to use, Luke? What's in it? Got some stamps, got some cards. Oh. All right, so I, I put. That block, that block doesn't normally live in that kit. Oh, no, I'll explain that in a sec. It doesn't normally live in there, but I thought the black block is easier to handle. Ooh, are you going to make a card for Luke? Oh. oh, you missed Mother's Day and you missed my birthday, so there we go. I can store them in the bag. Yeah, you could. Right, I think we're done. Do you keep all your dies separate to your stamps? No, yes, I do. Yeah, I do. It's only 10.15. <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit early, yet. Yes. Okay, there we go. Right, I'll go through colours with you, and then I'll try and get Luke's camera set up. So we use... A little bit of pale papaya to be brushed onto the roses. The roses were stamped in Calypso Coral. The pink flowers were stamped in Flirty Flamingo. The wood grain backgrounds were stamped in Sahara Sand, stamped off. The, these flowers were stamped in Gorgeous Grape. And the dotage and the centres were stamped in Gorgeous, sorry. The flowers were stamped in Highland Heather, the dotage was stamped in Gorgeous Grape, and the foliage was stamped in Granny Apple Green and Evening Evergreen. Okay, yeah, it's okay, so there we go. So that's the colour scheme. Then stamp set, we use Ringed with Nature this big one here then we also ended up using this leaf and this leaf and there's plenty more in there looking forward to using then I use this flower and this leaf here and this central dot from perfect pomegranate then artistically inked I used that one and that was it <laughs> true beauty use that one that one and that one which I have cut I've I've done a bit of surgery to that one to make it more useful and of course the dotage have to use beautiful dotage from quiet meadow what color did you use for the surgery stamp I used Sahara sand yep so because I I stamped off to stamp the tree rings I used full strength for these yeah so i will pop i will i will endeavor to take photographs write down stamp sets and things um, and do one massive blog post with everything okay so if you don't already follow me go to artfulstamping.blogspot.com and follow my blog right so i think luke is nearly ready so i'm just going to flip the camera guys so that um i'm just using my um uh, different camera hello 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 right let's get rid of that email you don't need that there let's hide that okay transition that and let me just add text there. look are you impressed Look at all this tech that your mother's learned over the last two weeks. Um, okay, so let me see if we can get this going. Let 
Yeah, that red off. Right, Luke, do you want to come on here and chat to everybody while I'm... Yeah, don't worry. You can entertain them. Do you know any jokes? <sighs> Pressure. Okay, I just ask Luke question time if you want to. Um, hi, Bob! You can do a happy dance. We're up to £730, Luke. Can you do a happy dance for that? Um, I don't know, maybe it's 750 Oh, Oh, maybe it's 750 Thank you, Nydia. The GoFundMe. Okay, we, mm, let's have a quick check then. Let's see if anything else has come through then. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. That one. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Um, um, oh, 135. Oh, no, we're five pounds away, I think. Let's just add that 10 pounds plus 10. Yeah, we're at, we're at 745. So apparently Luke will do a dance at, you know, 750. Okay, uh, what was I going to do? I'm going to try and sort that camera out for you. And then I also need to check the desktop audio. So, guys, I'm just going to do a quick test. If I switch off my phone mic, hello? Oh, is that? Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me okay? Brilliant. Okay, so handsome, says Janine from New York. Thank you, Janine. Okay, so that's great. So that means you don't need my phone. So I'm going to switch out this. Oops, sorry. Switch out this. Um, I need to add a new browser source. Okay, this is all very techy, guys. I hope you're all impressed. Right, Luke's phone. That's what we're going to call it. Add source. So, um, oh, flip. Hold on. I've got to remember how to do this now. Um, no. Um, I just need to read this out loud. HTTP, guys, you're going to have to entertain yourselves for a minute, forward slash, oh, yay, Liz, <laughs> Linda's so impressed, thank you, um, the only thing is, I can't read comments, respond, and do techie stuff, at the same time, it's a bit tricky. 100. Right, and then there's a word I need to add to this that I'll um, right close that because I just need to double check what it is that I have to do. Video feed. Right, Luke, remember that word. Video feed. Forward slash video feed. You misspelled right. video. I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Video feed. Refresh, pressure. Refresh, pressure. Anna, which, which, uh, you're not on this. Um... Right, can you sign in? I need to give you the password for my. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. A bit like British Rail. We're getting there. I forgot to say yesterday, because because occasionally I do this. You carry on. I've already connected. Oh, you've already connected. I've already put the password in. Coded. Coded. People can't see my password. Right. Ah. I forgot to say, Boris Johnson resigned yesterday. I just do this occasionally. I come on and tell you historical stuff so that if in the future people watching they go, oh, yeah. Boris Johnson resigned. Okay, so let's just go back and see if I've typed that in correctly. So Luke's phone. 
Right, have I done that correctly? 192.168.1.1. Oh, it's changed. Find. Oh, it's the. No, I didn't do that right. Right. Yes! Luke, are you impressed? That is your phone. My feet. Oh. Your feet. Who, who wants to see our feet anyway? No. Mm -hmm. We could do it quick. Let's just do a feet shot just to show that it works. No, go on, do a quick feet shot. No. Some people are like that. Show us your feet. Oh, he's doing it all the time. Show us your feet. Right, so I'm going to switch out my camera. Honestly, it's going to be seamless. It's going to be seamless. Watch this, guys. Right, Luke. Oh, you might need to clean your. No, take, just take the case off. We're taking the case off. There we go. It made national news in Canada. No seams in sight. Okay, I'm quite impressed. I've been able to do this. So do you want to get, do you want backup? Do you want to get May to come and help, help you? We have like an emergency button. Okay, sorry. I've run out of things. In case you run out of things? I don't know. Uh, uh, light. You, you may have to answer some, you know, I hope you do know you might have to answer some questions. The ladies might want to know a bit about me. Yeah. So, so for those of you who don't know, this is... Do you want me to answer serious questions or should I be myself? You be yourself. So this is Luke. This is my eldest son. Move over a bit. Oh, my camera's quite low down, isn't it? Yeah, well, you're taller than me. Oh, imagine. So he's my firstborn. Uh, I don't know if I can find any silly stories to tell you about him. Anyway, we'll see how he does. Probably. He, he can tell stories. Probably come up with some while on you. Yeah, okay. Right, so let's switch out this desk view. Hold on, bear with that up there, um, up there, um, so that needs to go there, uh, I think we probably need to move the camera, camera. over a little bit, get to there, okay, are you guys ready for Luke? He is Maybe. going to... Be here soon. Yeah, he's coming. He's on his way. On his way. <laughs> right, just popping that there. So... What, is the... In what are the rules? What doing. Right, what okay. Doing. Let's. Um, we, well, um, I'll unpack it with you, and then I'll go and have a little break, and then I'll call one of the other children to come on. So let's transition over. Let's see if I can do... Okay, hope this works. Yay! Okay, can you still hear us? Woohoo! Okay, I think we're over. We're over. Guess who's hand, who's hand it is, but yeah, I, I like know it. it's kind of it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Right. So Luke has got here the sentimental rose card kit. I don't know if any of you guys have used this before. So if you've never used a kit before and you're perhaps new to card making, do you think Luke this would be a little kit that would be helpful for someone who's Never done this before? I would say so. Oh, it has it's like it's like Lego. It has instructions. It's like Lego. Yeah, it's like Lego card making, isn't it? Two D Lego. <laughs> yeah. My favourite story is wearing a suit to McDonald's. That oh, that's the other child. Oh. Yeah, we'll have him on later. We'll have him. Yeah, the tall one. Okay, so these are not included in the kit. I put them in here the other day because what you do get with the kit is what's called a little ink spot okay but because this is exactly the same color i just i'm giving you that because it's a bit easier to use okay so you also get a little block now these are great beginner blocks but as you can see there is a little bit of a difference and holding that is ergonomically much easier to hold on to economically better for me 
er ergonomically, not economic, ergo. Ergo. Uh, ergonomically. Yes, Luke, we know you've been away at university. Would love to hit a highlight and a challenge in being away your first year. Or he's actually been away two years, Pamela, but he spent most of his first year at home with us because of, you know what, the big C word. Camels. Camels, yes. Okay, so you get all these little bits and pieces. I think I'm just going to leave you to it. Have you got a plan? Not really. Okay, I, uh, the other thing making, I'm going to... I'm making something. You're going to make something. I'll give you some gum mixtures as well. What am I allowed to make? Are you just a box? Glue. Uh, glue. Yeah, I will get you a glue. Scissors. Yes. Scissors. Yes, you're allowed scissors. I'm going to get you... I've got a pencil. I'm going to get you a nice new glue so just be aware that when you squeeze it it may splatter it will oh god i'm so bad at this oh here they are oh do you get blocks with every card kit mum you don't get blocks with every let me just come a bit closer to the phone uh not phone the mic uh you don't get blocks in every single card kit no for example the other one, this one doesn't need it because it hasn't got any stamps. Some don't because they're not budgeted for. So you do need to read the ingredients of every kit just to double check what you are getting with it. Okay, it's not... Yeah, it's not always. Okay, so you've already had one question about uni. I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, yeah. Uh, at some point, over the course of... At least half an hour, is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Tweezers. Oh, yeah, do you really want to like this? My address. Oh, you could be. <laughs> oh, dear son. Right, those are, do you know how to use these stamps? Um. You basically pe peel them off. And stick them onto And the... stick them onto a block. Yeah. All right, okay. So I'll let you peruse. Well, so look, we have some lovely textured. Uh, oh, oh. I don't know if they can hear that. Nah, that's not coming. But <laughs> I haven't got the nails for it. Oh, okay. I'll try those nails. There you go. No reason a card can't sound good as well. You know? <laughs> have some Absolutely. splodges, like colourful clouds there. Do you want them? Yeah. Right, speak clearly. Because Speaking this... clearly. Yeah, this mic is not clear. So you, that needs to be. I'll I'll pretend I'm studying drama. Mm. Yes, pretend you're performing. Should I overpronunciate? You can. That's fine. There's nothing wrong because YouTube is picking up your doing a, a closed captioning. So the more precise you can speak, the better for the closed captioning. Okay. Yeah, Linda is saying it's corrugated. Like like an iron fence. Mm, yeah. Mm, that's a good reference. Oh, there's going to be lots of references that no one will get. Um, it was a lovely, colourful little cloud. Also, as a note, um, I occasionally break into random voices. Uh, it's a byproduct of playing lots of Dungeons and Dragons. There's a fact. Hey, here we have some little flowers here, nice and red and flowery. So these, another corrugated piece of a paper. We have more green clouds this time, some little bits of yellow clouds. I should probably pile these so I know what of each I have. So let's get them organized. Then we have the envelopes, which are nice and clear. Do a lot with this. This there we go. Have a few of them. Don't know if I'll be able to get a, a card made for each envelope, but we can try. Words, I believe, poetry. Lovely. Some red, not quite bricks, not quite isometric squares, but a nice, nice little combination of the of the two. Nice little patterns there. Let's have a look. Oh, there's plenty of stuff. Plenty. Ooh. I'm sure I can do a lot with this. Um, I believe these will be the actual cards. Here we go. 
ready to be folded nice and well pre-made line quality quality another uh, pattern put in the yellow variety and some more circles i believe there's more yellow patterns oh a little accordion i'll do something oh i'm not sure if that's meant to be used to make a card for no reason we can't use that as well yellow oh struggling to hear me uh oh i will try to speak up do let me know if it's still an issue i may be mumbling i shall try and not mumble how is the how's the sound when i'm speaking more out <laughs> do keep me updated but we have more poetry sort of uh, words another bit of words there and then we have sticky corrugated bits oh. hello which we can i'm checking if the audio is okay yeah mum's watching on the front end so sorry for saying that it's uh oh, there we go okay i'll make sure to speak up though i have a tendency to mumble occasionally these appear to be sticky or at least oh no are oh, you using a stick yes awesome it's like lego but flat flat lego these oh, oh yeah glue that's what the glue, glue. is for oh. i knew there'd be a use for glue one day uh where the stick are they yeah i know i know spoiled for choice and string i could make a kite yep and various jumping up Stamping up the kite. Yeah. yeah, makes them easier to deliver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to your neighbour. If they live on a hill. Yeah. Well, paper, air mum, cards that oh, you can make into paper, paper aeroplanes. There you go. Mm. I just need to learn how to make paper aeroplanes. These appear to be sticky, or peel them off and stick them on. Oh, hexagons. One division. Bees. I was going to say bees. Oh, right. Yep, good. But yeah. keeping it environmentally friendly. And not quite sure we'll find a use for these. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Someone tell us in the comments, possibly. Oh. Are they... And uh, string. I'll. Uh... Is there anything I can make? Googly eyes. Googly eyes? Yeah. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. Because everybody loves Googly eyes. Yeah. Glue dots. That's what they're called. Mat for stamping. Get creating. Get is that your catchphrase, Mom? Get yeah. creating. Oh. oh, I need to hurry up. I need to get on with it. My witty banter can only entertain for so long. All right. Uh, all right then. Um, so what do people think then? We have words, we have yellow brick squares, and and dark kind of circle lines. And I will I'll start stamping on one of them. Um, I'll show off the actual stamps as well. That makes sense. We have some flower and leaves. Yeah, and we have some words. Uh, let's have a see if I can read them. Thinking of you. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Thank you for you. Best wishes. And I think those are just little dots there. So, I'm guessing, or oh, it's also Happy Mother's Day. I don't know if we'll have time to make two. One could be for a birthday, one could be for the Mother's Day. Um, all right, flowers, you know, flowers in poetry. I'm thinking, why not? So, give this a fold. If people want to give that a read, you will have to pause. I won't, uh, unfortunately, won't be giving you enough time to read the entire thing. Unless you buy the kit yourself and wish to give it a read yourself, you can do. Let's have a look. Um, got that. I'm just going to chuck some stuff onto the camera, as in, onto into the shot. And then I'll probably use bits and pieces of those things. Why not? 
Uh, I've got to use the string. I've hyped it up so much. Surely. This came with some grey granite. Um, mm. I mentioned earlier, it came with a smaller smaller one like this, um, but it's the same colour. I'll just be using this larger one. And right. Oh, I guess I just got to start stamping. I don't know if I'm allowed to use other colours. Actually, because if that's the case, we'll have a we'll have a see of the how grey goes on the words. We're testing. You know what? That's what I'm here. I'm just here to test, trial and error. And if it doesn't work, you know, you need a stamp mat when you use the photopolymer stamps. Okay. Words. So, am I correct in assuming, based on the stamps here? I will, I'm going to put this on one of these good glass blocks here. Um, then we'll put it on the ink, then give it a dab on the pad. I, I have not revised my stamping uh, in, in general, unfortunately. But I'm sure it will all be well. It will all be well. Um, Worst case, you guys learn what not to do, and that is also helpful to learn. So let's, and yeah, if I start messing up proper, you guys can tell me. <laughs> and uh, mum can always come in to, to interrupt me if, if things go wrong, aren't you mum? So yeah, so when you go to stamp your that, if you, what are you, you going to stamp it on? This one. Okay, so you just leave that flat like that. Get your ink and then use that. Ooh. It just doesn't have any squish on it. So. Am I only using this grey as well? You can use what you've got, darling. Whatever you want. Ah, you might as well, might as well look around. <laughs> where, are the, where are the stamps? Inks. Inks? Where are the inks? Yeah. Here. There's some here as well. Okay. If you want to. Oh. Ah, mm. repeated. Oh no, blurty. Sorry, it's blurty colors. Yes. So repeated colors. Okay. Place the paper on the mat and stamp on the paper. Okay. You know, yeah. I might. Think I might use the pink and the, the green. I've never opened a compact before. We and we'll just see how it goes, eh? Yeah, go for it, darling. Yeah. I'm leaving the room now. I have, I have, I have backup cards, and of course, if I do something that doesn't quite work, I'm sure a lot of you are better than me at this and could could easily make it work. So we'll, uh, we'll here we go. And if my technique isn't quite up to scratch, you can always give me tips to improve. So we're just gonna go straight in, eh? So let's just, uh, just, just uh, there. That sounds that that sounds good. There we go. Put that on flat. Just let it know that if we really want it there, you know. There we go. Nice little red, vibrant coming through the cards. I'll get on with the stamping now. May has entered the room. Hello. There we go. Uh, I will. You will ask Mum. Do I just like dab this on the paper? When I've when I've finished, I could. I think one flower is good for now. Um, and then I think we'll add the leaves. We'll just we'll just start with something something nice and simple. We could bid on Luke's card for charity, for charity. What green? I'm thinking evening evergreen. Partially because that's already on the table, and Mum has just used it. Um, there is also Granny Apple. I think a darker green might fit. I probably should have done the leaves first, to be fair. Um, well, I think the leaves will be behind the flower, won't they? You want to work from the back. Yeah. Compact. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. I can open the ink. I have learnt. There we go. And then actually I can 
I can put the covers back on these, can't I? Don't want to rip the ink out. Eh. Oh. Pull. There we go. Professional now. Right, they're saying hi, May. And hmm, let's just go for it. There's a green there, and you know what? I might keep the green out. We might add a little, little tall uh, smorgasbord of leaves down there. Come from the flat. That was the intention, but I'm just going to improvise. We'll see. We'll see where the stamps take me. Yeah? And, May, which one's better? Happy birthday or happy mother's day? Uh, yeah. uh, that explains it. So, we will... We'll just add some... Add some leaves around the place. And... We'll have them... Around the back as well. Kind of fading, fading a little bit. Fading around. Um, keep them strong in the center. Oh, that is a question. That is a question that I will answer when it is needed to be answered. Um, Happy birth. Well, I can go on the inside. Um, can't it? Um, I mean, it can. It can. Um, let's have a think. Thing is, as well. You know what? I need a hole puncher. We got string. We're going to use the string that we've got. Um, to punch holes, man. And uh, we'll see. We'll see, won't we? Very hard to. Oh, I'll keep the. To keep this on camera. I don't know where the hole punch. We'll find a hole. Worst case, I just use a pencil. And the people at home with who know where their hole punches are can do better because they'll use actual hole punches. Let's get that. Uh, I don't know where. Just a little tiny We'll peel this off. And. Is this happy birthday? I can't read backwards. Yes. Does it fit? Yes, it will. Just barely. Okay. Hole puncher. I don't know if there's any hole punchers around. We will see. Oh, I might have to sit down. Is mum standing up? It's okay. There's a... There we are, sitting down on my back. Oh, here we go, better. I could use scissors. I'm probably just going to me keep mentioning I don't know where the hole puncher is until mum decides to come in and tell me where the hole puncher is. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get the string. And, you know, I don't know how practically this will work out. But I'm not here for practicality, really. I'm, oh, I'm here to get kites. Let's let's get a good what good on bit. How earth? much? Oh, that's a good that's a good reaction to my card making. I think. <laughs> Try a pokey tool if you can't find the whole bunch. Yes, pokey pokey tool. Does Mum have a pokey tool drawer? Mm. That is. Scissors. I've got sharp scissors. I also am not overly experienced with using string. And whatnot, but make a bow. Make a bow, I could make a bow, um, but we'll see, we'll see when people can start picking up what I'm going to do. Um, let's have a look. Tink, we have red and green. I think I want to reuse one of these colors. I'll reuse the red, the flirty flamingo. There, it is. Well, what is pink if not a lighter red? We need to pop off to make tea for some. Hello, <laughs> hello, Sally. Uh, I have. <laughs> My name is Luke. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> let's uh, 
let's put this on here. We're taking over. Let's line Luke's that up. Channel. That's the problem. Oh, actually, it's a green paper. Well, you know what? Actually, I have the spares, so I can Ooh, focus. Whoops. Yeah, toothpick will do. Is this gonna? Happy birthday. That's that's okay. I may actually try the green instead, but just for the sake of being Hello. just trying everything. How's he doing? Uh, he is looking for the hole puncher, Mum. But we have a cocktail stick instead. Actually, I will stand up for this just so I can have a proper look oh, down. Yes. There we go. Oh. Uh, oh, that's alright. I think I will try the green though. I have a feeling green would be nicer. A nice neutral colour. Eh? Neutral. Yes. Quite nice. To uh, really bring out the, the feeling of vibrance and freshness. But also of a darker <laughs> tone, bringing out contemplation. And. Very yes. Very emotional. What is a birthday if not a time to contemplate? I feel like I'm further away from the mic while sitting down. I don't know where the mic is. Phone. The mic isn't the phone, is it? No, because it was Mum was still talking into the mic while I think it's the computer. Um, computer. But let me know if I start talking quietly. Is it louder here? I don't think so. Although you did also speak quieter as you got closer, oh, yeah. so it didn't um. really tell us much. <laughs> See? This is louder than anywhere else anyway. Yes. Let's 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 press that down. Whoa. I think that is better. I might try a lighter. Oh, I'm I'm being so picky on the little details. Because I can. But uh oh, let's let's slide that back in. I might try a lighter green, potentially granny apple green. Based off of the granny apple green, I suppose. Who yeah. doesn't love a good apple doctor? Mm. But uh, let's make sure I'm doing everything else on camera. Ooh. My aim isn't the best. I'm going to go with the dark. I'm going to go with the dark. Contemplating. The contemplative, if Con that is a word. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, so, at home, you guys can use hole punches. I'm going to improvise and use a cocktail stick. No, I'm not. This is very good quality fabric here. Fabric? Fabric? Yeah, why not? Let's call it fabric. Instead, I will use a pin. There we go. What? You know, actually, I could probably do with just a big sewing needle. Um, I still don't know where that is, so... Um, be, uh, just be aware, if you're watching me make any sort of art, be prepared for unorthodox methods. And... Oh, a hole puncher! Well, sort of. Oh, that's a bit big, unfortunately, I think. Well, it can sort of work. Three-eighths, I'm assuming three-eighths of an inch. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I want to get this string. Through the hole, so I'd like to reincorporate the cocktail stick <gasps> oh. and just widen that a bit. Ooh. Widen that a bit. Why, why, why is what am I doing? Strange? Um, who? I don't know. Well, I do know. Good. I do know. I just cut some. There it is. Here it is. And I'm gonna feed that through. And mm. I think we'll tie it around. I don't have the most delicate of fingers either. Hence, this is not my crafting channel, um, but uh, we'll see how well I can do. And I'm just going to tie, tie a little knot, nice and simple, there. I might do a double knot later on. Let's, let's get this through here as well. It's like sewing, but... Uh, for cards instead of what do people normally sew me? Seeds. Well, we have been calling it uh, that at home. Yes. 
I am creating. I'm not creating clothing. Okay, there, there we go. So that's that's that is some string there. Nice little bit of string there. And my back. Oh, I don't know, Mum. This is we. Bad posture. Now, gonna put a little, put a little. We need to attach that. There were glue dots and there are hexagons. They may be what we need right about now. If yes. I have not buried them, maybe. There's also these. There's also these, May. There's also those. Um, there might be, yeah, there might be those. I don't know if they were the exact ones. But, give them a use. Um, well, we're just going to test it out. Test it out. See, see if this works. And I'm expecting it probably won't first try. Because there's also a bit of a large surface area here. So I might need to... I'm just going to have... I don't have the nails, that's the issue. Do you have nails? Um, I think so. Yeah, that might help. I might also just sneak in. Peel back with the okay. scissors. There we go. Who needs... <laughs> Gonna say who needs tweezers when you've got scissors? If you have tweezers, use tweezers. Yeah, please. Scissors are not <laughs> usually a good replacement for tweezers. Don't use tweezers. I have already done it. I've already done it. Um, I will get a small snippet of paper, and this stuff is spare, so I will just get enough to cover the hexagon, just so it doesn't stick to the back of the card. I'm assuming that's enough for the hexagon. Hexagons are the what may? The decagons. The decagons. Okay, I'll probably need to do a double knot here, uh, which makes for great content. It's just me tying a really small knot on a card. So, um, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that for now. Wow. Yes, I've also lost a small square, but that's fine. Uh, I could do that's a small there we go. There we go. Just uh do that. Just so I have a nice little oh, lovely happy happy birthday. Beautiful. So it, give it to I you. don't I should probably put two of them actually because it is dangling down a little bit. Unless I move it higher up. I don't know. Do you know anybody who has a birthday, May? I know a lot of people who have birthdays. Oh, imagine mm. that. Mm. We should. We could just bulk, bulk make them, and just get them out whenever somebody's like, "Oh, it's my birthday soon." Oh, I have just the thing. Mm -hmm. I made this seven years ago, okay. and now is the time to unveil it. So. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, but, uh... Are you going to write over there? You're going to write the whole line. Hold on, let's get that better aligned. There we go, nice one. Hmm. Like I said, this probably won't fit well in an actual card, but we could... We could have a think what else could go. We could do more with that, I think. Mm-hmm. We, I might add one there and just have it so, no, not there. Yes, hold on, I'm trying to think about physics now. <laughs> Where mm. does it need to go? Because if it's at the top, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm not a mechanic. Do mechanics do that? <laughs> anyway, we'll figure it out. Happy birthday. Um, we can, we could probably add another one. So I think where what else we could do we could do like these almost look like lanterns actually. So I could let's have a think. Could have some little dangling lanterns next to it. Um pro uh, Mum probably has a yellow somewhere. Mango melody, that's possible. Um 
Mango Melody, what else? What else? Crushed Curry. I might use more of the Flirty Flamingo. Um, I'll make sure it's on camera up here. Let's have a think. How do I get about doing this then? What stamps do I have? Hmm. I think I need two of these, two of these brushes. I'm going off the tracks. I'm just gonna give it a go. We're gonna improvise. Um, worst case is it doesn't work, and that's okay. So if I just do, do some of that, give it a, give it a, give it a brush. The brush. Actually, I'll, before I get too far with that, I will do the yellow in the center first, because that's, that's the lighter color. So let's do this. So have that there, have that there. You can see the, see that inside. Let's let's get some yellow on our brush here, and well, I, I don't know circles. Why not? We'll do circular motion. A little, we'll, we'll try non non circular motion as well, and we'll just goal is to make it. I guess kind of look like a lamp, illuminated. Yeah, nice little yellow, because because I looked at that and thought that kind of looks like a lamp. Swirl the brush onto the people. Yes, thank you. I will. Let's see. Hmm. I'll probably need more ink on that. Here we go. Swirl. Swirl. Uh, it's coming along. It's gaining. It's gaining yellow colors, and that's ultimately all we really need. Why not? I am a fan of the, the blending of colors. To be fair, I find it very visually and aesthetically pleasing. Nice little blend. Huh. See what see what you guys think. See what everyone thinks. Put that side that was mango melody. If they actually were scented and edible with flavours, I imagine that one would be decent flavour. Do not eat the ink though. It is likely it is not edible. I'll just say that. I think that's safe to say. So then we'll go for Flirty Flamingo, and I won't actually swirl this one because I want it to be a quiet, just a line, if possible. This is like a cut off, why not get some there, but it will still blend decently well, I hope, I think. There. And then we'll get some more, get some more ink, and do the other side. Now, thing is, I'm, I am just fumbling my way through this card, so if anyone has any legitimate ideas, feel free to mention them. I might try, try and give them a go, although we'll likely not be as successful as you would hope. Um, but do also, you know, and bounce ideas off of each other if you were like, oh, I think personally I might have, as in, you may watch this and think, maybe I might have added more flowers or would have had a variety of greens. Yeah. Of course, I am no expert by any means, but uh, there is a thing, there is a thing there, there's a nice little, nice little thing. There we go. Let's let's create the other thing. <laughs> Creative genetics. I think so. I think I would be safe to say I am definitely less professional. And but at the same time, yeah, you know, I 
I, I won't be selling this, but I'm having some fun. I'm making some cards. Oh, that's a bit too far on the red there, but that's okay. That is reaching. Get some. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, here we go. So far, all I've made is this, which then opens up and sometimes displays happy birthday correctly. Sponge dovers, if that's technical. Is that. This is a sponge. <laughs> I'm. I believe. <laughs> it's not square. That's what SpongeBob references. I could, uh, why not? Let's uh, give that a dab. Oh, oh, whoa. There we go. Give that, I think the first lamp worked out a bit better, but not going to go for it. I might add a bit more yellow to this this one just so it fades a bit better. Hoping that theory works out. Tiny and fit on your fingertips. Ooh. She might have a drawer somewhere. I am I am not fully aware of what's in this room. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also may not be able to find find them. But I'm happy to commit with the bigger and kind of clunkier stuff. But it fits me more, I think. Because why not? There we go. Let's put those back. The room is already messy enough. I don't need to add to that. Sorry, Mum, but creativity. Who needs order when you can just make a nice looking mess? Or oh, that came out wrong. Anyway, <laughs> don't need everything organized. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. This is what happens when I need to speak. <laughs> well, oh, these are the, they, they are too big actually. We'll stick to these ones. I've got a bit of ink on my fingers. That might affect things. Oh well. Is somebody coming now? Not sure. Right, so I think we'll just stick those on. And we're just going to see what happens. Why not? Just to. Just like that. Yeah. And we'll, we'll do the other one as well. I'll then cut out small squares just to stick on the back of them. I think I... Hey, there we go. Should have done more to the original happy birthday now. It's looking a bit single, single toned, if that is an accurate way of describing something. And then now that we've got this card, I don't need for anything else. I can just slice it into some some small pieces to stick on the back of these. And I've lost track of the other one. I will just lock it out that way. There we go. So I can't quite make a kite. Oh, maybe a little lantern thing. Um, I might make this happy birthday have, I might add some sticky bits just so it's being held up properly. So we'll have a thing, we'll have a see because it is a bit lopsided. Can I at least just rotate that a little bit? Mayor's return. There we are, got some this little lanterns there. Just lovely. Kind of, there isn't really a consistent theme. Mm, not at all, but 
But if you see an idea you like, you can steal just that bit. And then can build something around that. Lovely. Who oh. are you going to give this to? Um, I'm an engineer, creating and solving problems as I go. I am creating my own problems, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Yeah, in it. In it. In it. No. First, you have to say proper words, mate. Proper. Properly pronounced, please. Properly pronounced. There we go. Difficult word. But closed captions make it easier for the algorithms to deduce what you're saying. Let's have a think. Hmm. Thinking of you. See, so happy birthday for you. I just. <laughs> I might put that on the envelope, to be fair. And just, you know, just give that to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, could put thinking of you. Could put thank you. Hi, do you mind if they look like you? They look like, oh. Oh, they do, to be fair. Make sure you're not eating them. And if, to be fair, if you made them out of rice paper and edible ink, they could be. Mm. Never think. Do I want anything in the room? What do I want? Oh, that's a tricky, tricky thing. Because the mind goes to having the inside look like a, like a nice, like, lit alleyway. But, I have no idea how to do that. If you do them, um, like, if you black ink, you need to, black like, ink. um, shading. What well, shading? Yeah, I do like shading. Atmospheric. Atmospheric. So I feel like that's probably... Hmm. I don't know. If any people have ideas, otherwise I might just start doing a separate a separate card and then might come back to that. We'll see. Um, to a pen, is there a pen anywhere? I don't know. Probably. I'll at least use the envelope. With the oh no, things are going everywhere. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm. Thank you. Nice. Bravo. Mm -hmm. Leave that there, and I will put this back right here, and we'll get for you. I just like the idea of having that on the envelope. Don't need to write their name. Okay. You're giving it to them. They know it's for them. Quick and simple. Mm hmm. Hmm. What colour? Let's see. I might as well commit to the green, as that is. Mm. Yeah, the deep and thoughtful. Yeah, although I feel like the red is the primary, primary colour we're using. Oh, we've got four tickets. Stamp yeah. the flower at the bottom of inside of the card. Yeah. Give that a go. Nice little. See what that's done. Give it a go. I'll open that up. Just to have the repeated. If I can. There we go. I am. Um, my skills of opening the ink is improving. Oh, actually, I just need to make a guess as to what alignment this was. I think it was that way. Yes, mate. Oh, like oh potentially. Yeah, potentially. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. Has he finished yet? Uh, not quite. But no. almost says I actually I think I'll put this in the center, and then I can write around it like two so and so. Here's a flower. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Lovely. Mm. Do I want to put one on both sides? Ooh. We'll start with just this side. We'll start with just this side, and we'll just. Plonk it there. There we go. Plop. Might be a bit of an angle actually. That's alright. There we go. Ooh, there wasn't Ooh. enough ink. Oh, oh no. No, no! That's alright. Right, this is where things get messy. Wait, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think? Should I not? No. No, I, I won't then. I won't. How it's about terrible. if I. Try and brush it with some red to fill in the colour. Is it going to work? 
Yeah, I think it's wrong. Uh, that's all right. It's a trial and error. Make sure you have enough ink on your stamps. That's a that's a lesson learned. Can also press hard in the middle. Yes, press hard in the middle as well. Um, I will. I'll give us a go. I'll partially because I actually am curious as to how how these do in terms of just colouring in stamps. So we'll just start in the centre. We'll go out. Make me have to press my fingers. Yeah. Curve it around. If there are smaller ones, actually, it would be. Stamp that over the pack. Yes, I was also thinking then you could add some stamp some words into the flower. This is very awkward now. Yeah, this was. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have started colouring in then. Wait, <laughs> Those, um, Make sure it's like the 3D things that look like a sweet. 3D things that look like a sweet? Those. Oh, I ran out of them. Oh, there are some different ones. There are. Yes. You put one of those in front. Yeah, could do. Could do. You could use another one that has your birthday. Just gotta improvise. I'm just gonna move this stuff that I put around. Yeah. Take a seat. Yep. That I think that's okay. We will let that be. Pretend that was the plan from the start. And I'll actually test out the granite. Um, the grey granite that comes with the set. Just give it a test. I thought I should probably go for a darker colour. But we can also test how it looks on a red backdrop. Um, thinking of you, that could work because there's already happy birthday in the card. Um, <laughs> happy birthday, congratulations. Congratulations, is a good one. I think I'll go for thinking of you. Just to <laughs> I do like the congratulations. Let's put that on you. Oh, that's not very straight, is it? Let's try and have it line up. There we go. I will actually get this back out just so I can do a do a proper test, just so I know what it will look like on something that's already red. Let's just do 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 do. Give that a nice little brushing. Lovely. Lovely. There we go. And oh, there are smaller ones. Ah, oh, of course. The more you know. Right. Let's make sure I properly ink this up. Do do. -do. Does it make you feel better to know that you've lost five of yours? That's what happens when I put myself on the stamp set. Oh well. Right, I know this won't fully cover. Although I I won't use you can use actual scrap paper at home, but uh I won't be using this envelope today, so I can use that as a just as some scrap paper. Thinking of you, okay. Might need more ink. I think I, I might just go for a bit of a darker, a darker grey. There is basic grey. Oh, there we go, basic grey. I think I'll give that a try. Let's get rid of the doo -doo. Give that some dabbage. I might just start saying words that closed captions would definitely get wrong. Nah. Just try that. I think that's better because that'll stand out more. Although, just for the sake of being consistent, we'll try this dark green as well as that matches the happy birthday. Trial and error. Experimentation. Wow. I'm an engineer today and a scientist. Why not? I'm a crafter. I'm a crafter. <laughs> I might go for that. I think I'll commit with that. Just have to 
still dark black. Just because it's repeated colours. The, the dark grey might work more, but we can try out. We can try out the green. The green looks better. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, I'll try and actually stamp it properly this time. Properly. 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 Let's line that up. Make sure it's all. There we go. Lovely. Thinking of you. Aww, thanks. I'm thinking I might. See, is there another message which can do? Congratulations. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. I might Happy. do best wishes. I probably yeah. should have done thinking of you on this side, as I might just repeat this with another rose on here. In which case, the capital letter should have gone on the left. Apologies <gasps> for the bad grammar, as best wishes will, will go on the left, even though it does not start the capital. <gasps> what have I done? Oh, no. And here's the thing, I made a mistake in that I didn't properly stamp the one on the right. I might have to try and replicate that, just so that they're equal. But we're just going to go for it. Well, actually, let's actually stand up. Well, I started it too. Do, 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 do. Let's get the middle in. Oh, oh that's much better. I will still fill it in with a bit of red. Just so it matches pink. Well, maybe they look kind of red. Rosy, rosy red. Actually, May. It's Flirty Flamingo. Thank you. I am a fan of the ink blend, it seems. Let's, uh, let's get that ink off. I don't need... Actually, I will need that shortly. We will do another just to try and fill that with a bit of colour. Trim that into circles. There we go. There we go. We're making it. We're on our way. Let's put that away, and for you now, thinking of you, let's get the excess ink off of that, and place that back where it was, and get best wishes, only the best wishes here, no mediocre wishes, only the best. Happy birthday, best wishes, thinking of you. There you go. They might have been better off a little higher up, but decided to keep them equal height ish. I suppose I'll then put two, whoever it's who, and from bottom here. That's not the top, put two at the top. And uh, yeah, I might pull those up a bit tighter, but we will, we will see. Envelope, envelope, time. You gonna stamp on it? Yes. The most versatile and direct of things to put on an envelope to somebody, which are the words. For you. For? For. For. For you. Who's that letter for? No. It's for me. Oh, I got a bit of ink on the <gasps> block. <laughs> I'm gonna need a tissue. This is messy. My apologies, mother. Put that on up there. Yeah. Oh, it's also on my fingers, which will likely stain the card. But it's okay. 
why not I've just had a bit of had a bit of had a little bit why not it's gonna get some on it as I handle it might as well make it intentional there we go lovely I think mm. I'm gonna try mm. Mm. I'm trying to think of a nice thing to say. Don't strain yourself, mate. There's... There we go. Oh no, that's too much that way. Actually, that's fine. I'll just shift these a little bit. No one ever says mediocre wishes. Yeah. There we go. It's a bit of a mishmash of ideas, but if there's one idea you like that's from it, you can take that and make it your own. Of course. Oh my gosh. Hello, how are you doing? I have stamped. Woohoo! I have stamped things. <laughs> And uh, there is an envelope. So that will. Hi, Jaden. Uh, Hi, Melissa. This way. Oh, very nice, Luke. There you go. And. Uh, oh, look at those lovely inky. Yep. Made I'm making it intentional. And it's. It's for whoever you give it to, I suppose. There we go. Right, lovely. Thank you, Luke. Okay, closey the card, yeah. There we go. As a reminder of the colours I used, yep. I used Evening Evergreen. Colours, there, uh, should I? I'll get the card out. Do you want to? There you go. Yeah. I used Flirty Flamingo. Don't think I actually used the grey granite. I did use some Mango Melody. There you go. Probably make That's it more. adorable. Oh. There you go. Wow. Hi, Cindy. Got some Very crap. good. And what was the stick you used this time? Oh. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Yeah. Doesn't quite look like the ones on the on the paper. No. Nope. But. I don't really have much to add. There yeah. you go. Encore, encore! Woohoo! Well, you need me later. <laughs> okay, can you just put all those little bits and pieces away while I. Um, I'll speak to, to everybody in the I'll box. I'll speak to everybody. And, um. <gasps> Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Uh, it meant that I could eat a little bit of pork pie. I've had a cup of tea and a biscuit, and I've done a bit more editing on that video, which I hope to bring to you at the end of this live. Uh, we have got, well, we've done two and a half hours so far. Woohoo! So, quarter of a way in, and it looks like we've absolutely smashed the target, but please keep giving. So, if you don't know what we're doing today, if you've just joined, we're raising funds for a project called, oh, no, that way cycle with dignity up there and it's run by the potter's house cbo.com which is a charity that i'm a trustee of not luke's head the, the website um and so if you want to know more please do go to the potter's house cbo.com and the link to donate is should be in the chat up there somewhere and yeah, so that's a GoFundMe. Now, if you have a problem donating via GoFundMe, there is a PayPal uh, for the Potter's House, which you can also use. So I'm just going to grab that and share that with you now. There we go. So if you have a problem with that, please do not super chat me. I thought I'd switch super chat off. But um, anyway, just a reminder, do not super chat me today. Uh, all the funds are going to go towards this project, which is helping to make a uh, difference in the lives of girls in Kenya. May is just uh, bringing in some cloth. I'm about to start stamping a wreath. So if you want to go and have a little comfort break now, 
I recommend it while I get set up for the next bit. So I'll probably be stamping for another 45 minutes and to an hour. Luke, is it alright if I use your camera? Because I am still charging mine over in the corner. So yeah. um, go and have a cup of tea. Go and have a drink now. Go and have... So there we go. Thank you, Luke. May can help me now, actually. So I need, uh, off my shelf, I need Forever Burn. I need Uniquely Artistic. Uh, oh. No, if you just switch off your... Just, just switch off your... It's alright, they're not going to Um... Yes, so uh, one of the folks who've donated, uh, if basically if you donate £100 or more, I will stamp you a wreath. So we're on to the second wreath now. And this person has requested blues, neutrals, greens, and yeah, so we're going to get stamping. Right, I need a big piece of cardstock. Can you pass me that piece of cardstock, May? Um, Oh, could you bring me a pint of water, please? Thank you. Right. Hello. May can entertain me for a little bit. Uh, Hello. Have you got any jokes for us, May? No. Ah, oh, dear. Mm. Lots of people saying hi to you. Hello. You can ask May a uh, ask May a question. Oh, does anyone want to see the outfit that she wore on? No. Oh, the wedding. No, no, not to see it. No. Hi. Don't say no. Shall we say that they've got to donate more money and then they'll then we'll show it to them? Mm, not at all. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. You've joined Hello. us just when I'm about to start a new stamped one sheet wonder. Um, I may use some of those texture stamps that I said I was going to. Thank you, darling. Whoa. So now's a good time to invite some friends to come join us because we're about to sort of start an another sort of round, as it were. Um, look beautiful, no. Looked. I used to. Yes, we found a lovely dress for you, didn't we? Oh, look, we're matching today. Blue and blue. Definitely found. Come over here a bit. Should we do our poses? No. Uh, as you can see, May loves the limelight. Uh? No, the joke was irony. It's called irony, May. What does irony mean? Uh, I don't know what you mean. You don't know how to describe irony. It's like it's ironic if I don't know you buy something and then the next day it's on offer. Well, yeah, yeah, that could be irony. Uh, right now, I just need to check this message. Because I just need to check the colours that I'm meant to be using. So bear with me a second. Um, right, so we need... Um, blues, greens and neutrals. Okay. Now this person also liked... Oh, artistically... Oh, not this. Yeah, okay. This one. I might just throw in some uniquely artistic as well. So we need some... Let's get, I'll get you guys down onto my desk view. Let's get that. Okay. Is the sound okay? Do I just need to make sure I'm speaking up loud and clear? Hello. Ruth and her mini me. Oh, thank you. Uh, right, blue. Should we use some of the new ones? Mm. Might throw in some parakeet. 
Okay, so what have we got? Got some of these then. We've got Knight of Navy, some of those blue starry sky, orchid oasis, soft suede, crumb cake, parakeet, soft succulent, garden green, and old olive. We'll we'll have those on the desk at the ready. I may bring in some of that true beauty. That's so lovely. Of course, the fabulous forever fern. I'll move these ones out the way. Might even get a bit of colouring in there. Okay. Hi Shelley, the link is up, it's a pinned link at the top of the chat, but I can just go and grab that link again for you. So bear with, I'll just go and get it. So there's two places you can donate. Ideally, could you use this one? Cycle with dignity. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with some fun texture in the background. And oh, let's put a bit of parakeet party down, I think. Thanks for joining us, Judy. So who's just joined in the last hour then? Let's see. May's just joined in the last hour. There we go. So this is Parakeet Party and I'm using a stamp from the Perfect Pomegranate set just to get down some different textures here and there. Now Susan, are you watching? Susan, whenever she takes classes with me, she's very good at, she writes notes. So are you taking notes, Susan? She's a good note taker. So, Oh, thank you, Gina. Well, the goal for today, the minimum was 600. That's what I wanted to raise. But we have smashed that. And but we have there's actually a bigger goal. The bigger the bigger goal is 15,000 pounds. So. Um, yeah, so we've already got to over a thousand on Ooh. the GoFundMe, but with this fundraiser we, we've got to 700 plus but I, I'll do a bit of a tally later on I think I'll get Tom on to come and do some stamping and I'll do a bit of an add up of everything and um, I'll yeah I'll just check in with um, yeah Wendy, shout out. Um, no I'm not doing shout outs really um, yeah um, yeah, no. Okay, sorry, I was just checking my emails. Thank you, I almost bought that stack set just for the stamp. What, this one? Well, you need to put in a big order to get it for free. It is a free stamp, this one. Perfect pomegranate. If you place an order of over £275, you get this one for free. Or you can gather some friends and put in a party order. Um, thanks, Linda. So if you can't use the GoFundMe, then use the PayPal as well. Thank you. Okay, so that's a little bit of the green down. I might also pop a few leaves in the background. You right there, May? Yeah. You come in? Yeah. I'm busy on oh, Have we got any ice creams? Have we got any ice lollies? It's ice lolly weather, you know. Oh, it is. Thank you. Yeah. May is going to go and check to see if we have any, any lollies. Mm. 
Okay, just popping a few little clumps of leaves around the place. So who's been with me since two o'clock? Well, I was a bit late, so I'm going to have to keep going till ten past twelve midnight tonight, my time. There's lots of time for people to join and chat. Please remember that in order to chat, you need to be subscribed my, to my channel. Oh, oh, can you open it up for me, please? Oh, um, oh, that one. Oh. They found lollies. I found lollies. Ice lollies, you know the ice lollies that have ice cream in the middle. So cool. Okay, so that's a little bit of the old green down there now. Janine's got to pop to the post office. See you later, Janine. Let's move that over. Yes, the first stamp was the pomegranate. Oh, this is right, I see. Is it? I'll take a bite. Oh. We'll have to wait for it to thaw. It to thaw. <laughs> oh, this is like an ice block. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they've probably, those ice lollies have been in there since last year. Okay, so this is from Uniquely Artistic. Stunning stamp set. I'm not quite sure I'm going with this one, but anyway, we'll keep going, keep stamping. Hello, all 48 of you. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you can. Put those thumbs in the air. Wave them like a dog here. <laughs> May's like, don't, mother. Stop being embarrassing. Mother. They can't see me dancing, so it's okay. <laughs> right, shall we go for a bit of starry sky? Heidi's been here all morning. So for those of you guys in the chat, some of you are from the United States. Some of you are from, oh, have we got some UK people in the house? Do we have any Welsh in today? Cymraeg, Shara Gymraeg. What does that mean, Moon? Inchwin. Inchwin. Charad Gamraig. Oh, Ireland in the house. Oh, it's, re it's really funny, yeah, reading what YouTube thinks I just said. That made me laugh.
PayPal link not working. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Let's see if I can get this for you. Okay, that one. Yep, that that should work. Still consuming my one cup of morning coffee while watching. Oh, Gina, you've made that last a while. Oh, she's got a stretching class. Oh, very good. That's probably what I should be doing. Let's have a bit of drama with this flower. I think it's so dramatic. Bit of orchid oasis. Although, I think I want to stamp a little blob of. I might just do a little bit of pool party underneath it. Just to make it zing a bit. Hello, can you see how my phone's charging? It's on. Oh, that's good. Did I lose all this? Oh, it tastes all right. Um, it's kind of I guess the, the ice has melted into the oh I don't know if you can see that it's been in it's been in for a while years decades of waiting to be eaten yeah it's nice though it's very hot here today mm -mm. quack 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 Right, I saved it. Had a special little ice cream lump fall on the um, one sheet oh, wonder there. Yeah, very one of a kind, says me. Mm. Yeah, it's sort of ice cream in the middle, and then it's like an icy thing around it's the edge. Really oh, that's nice. mine. Yeah. Okay, let's see if it's cooled down enough. Warm down enough. Warm down enough. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Hold on. I can't speak now. <laughs> I bet it's all got flakes. I have to go back. My teeth. <laughs> the second one is working. Awesome. Right, I'm just going to keep stamping. Let's get back to my desk. Right, there we go. I'm going to stamp one handed for a sec. Put one there, one there. Okay, Linda. Is Jaden still watching? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm all right now. So, back to the Orchid Oasis. Okay, 
on my my second mat. Linda's got oh look we call Judy we call Linda's husband Yamahunk because his surname or well, their surname is Yamakido. So we call well she calls him Yamahunk. It's just a term of endearment. So she's gotta go and run him around somewhere. As in, you know, drive the car. Hi, Cindy. Now, we could get all technical, and if at some point anyone wants to, I could send out a code for you guys to join a Zoom you all to wave hello at some point this evening um, that makes sense <laughs> says, yeah we just call him yeah so Linda sometimes she uses the word uh, name Stampin Yama that's where it comes from Right, I need to, I feel like I need to make this more encircled, but I can do that with leaves. But I'm wondering whether I could put another one in there, or there. See, if I put it there, it's very, ooh, or maybe there. That'll be all right. Uh, this colour is Pool Party. Heidi Selinski. Woohoo! 50 people on the live. Awesome. Please continue with your thumbs ups, guys. I really appreciate it. My fifty two, awesome. Okay, right, we'll have a pause there. I need to do some more leaves. I haven't really done much in a neutral colour, so I want to add some soft suede and some crumb cake for this now. <clears throat> I haven't used any of the leaves yet from artistically inked so I think I might do that now let's rectify that get that stamp out of the way oh cool I'm gonna have to do a proper tally up at some point because we've had some more donations come in that I haven't added so, um, but I want to get on and stamp this now, so I'm going to do eyes down. I'm even sitting down now. You know when I'm serious, I'm sitting down. Okay, so with this now, I feel like I just need to round off some of these edges. So I just need to fill her in some of these areas. So I'm going to focus on doing that now. Just try to round off. So. so I'm taking my eye up here. Definitely need more in here. One in there. 
See you later, Pam. Taking you with me on my iPad. Oh, excellent. Good, good. Yeah, keep watching. So great to have you all here with me. I really do appreciate you supporting, supporting me doing this. And thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel. There's over 10,000 of you now subscribed. So this was a bit of a kind of celebration and a thank you for subscribing. And it, it happened, a, oh gosh, about two or three months ago actually, I got to the 10,000. But I just didn't get round to, I didn't have a, a space in my life to do 10 hours live streaming. So that's why we're doing it today. Okay, so you see how that's hopefully rounded it off a bit. I know I can still add a few more things, but yeah, so don't ever panic if you get to this stage where you go, oh, it's not working, it's not working. There's still more steps to go. Now, I love this little wee pomegranate leaf, so I'm going to bring this one back in again. But this time I'm going to use the soft suede. So remember to please invite your friends. Um, thank you for the thumbs ups. The thumbs ups are a completely free way of you helping to support my channel. Also, if you want to purchase any of the products that you see me use today, the links are in the description. leaf is so beautiful. So yes, we started oh coming up to three hours ago now and we're going to keep going until midnight tonight UK time. Ice cream, I think. Oh, that's cold. Okay. It needs. I think it needs some nice little florals somewhere, some smaller florals. Maybe a whole different kind of texture. Oh no, this person has requested Dahlia. So I know this stamp is retired. Going to add some of these. Looks like I need to re-ink this ink pad. I'm going to use the corner section. Oh, that's better. So what tends to happen is the middle sections get up used, get used up very quickly. And so if you find that it's a bit dry or, or needs some re-inking, use the end sections first.
definitely got some space over here for some flowers. Very odd bird making a sound outside. An odd sounding bird, rather. Right, I think we need some small flowers now. This is why I'm going to bring in the Knight of Navy. Yes, there is a small dog next to me. Making a clean noise. Thank you, Joanna. So this is now Knight of Navy. This is, a, again, a good way of just making sure that the circle is kind of there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, do try it, Heidi. Gonna have a little bit more ice cream before it all melts and look at this it's melting lovely on the plate <laughs> not sure if i can ever get that in my mouth oh Okay, have I missed any any spots? Right, so I definitely want to go back in with some more foliage. Because we do have this singular one, which is very helpful for being more kind of specific with leaves. So that first kind of like layer of leaves that goes goes down, it, it's just to kind of get some colour on there. But then when you've got your flowers, you can be a little bit more committed, I guess, and just if you've got areas where you know they're definitely going to show up, so you can kind of add them in. So I'm just looking for little gaps. In areas in which it will show up. Oh, you haven't, Gina. Ah. Well, for those of you who are still feeling a little bit nervous about Stampuri, I, I would recommend starting with a smaller one to start off with. You could do an eight by eight or even a six by six one. You don't necessarily have to do a big one like this. And I would also just with a pencil, just roughly draw a circle. That sometimes helps. So 
see where we're going. Right, I'm happy with that. Tucking in old Olive now. Rude, she's not old, she's just Olive. <laughs> old Olive, dear old Olive. Right, here's this lovely little leaf. So this is soft succulent that I've just used. <clears throat> and I'm about to use old olive. And I'm not using a mat, but I'm I'm not too worried about that. Seems to work okay without the mat. Such a cute little leaf. Sorry, I've gone quiet, concentrating. This is when I should have Pom playing guitar or something in the background. Hi, Margaret. Oh, my goodness. Ten past two in the morning. <gasps> Go to bed. I will still be here probably when you get up. <sighs> I think. Hi, Ruthie. So I'm just having a bit of my ice cream. Cool me down. Oh, I need a spoon. May, if you're watching, I need a spoon. Right, I can't resist this wee leaf. This one as well. Mm, I'm gonna put just a little bit. Right, I've not used garden green yet. couldn't sleep so decided to see what was happening oh fair enough margaret well i'm three hours in i'm into my fourth hour of my 10 hour live marathon
out. Definitely don't need to ink all that stem. So I know you probably think I can't fit anything else in here, but I'm determined to, to slip this little leaf in because it's so lovely. Oh, that's a little dimensional <laughs> paper. Oh, thank you, Heidi. Oh, I just got ink on there. Sorry, I can't wipe my fingers. I'll just move my camera. I thought I'd... Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. <clears throat> I'll get the sand eraser out on that. Oh, could you get me a spoon? No, a spoon, please. Thank you. What's it on now? Well, it was on like five. Yeah. You're going to the shops? What you're getting. Okay. Sam is off to the shops to buy tea. Oh, it's quite the same. Um, right, we'll tell tell Dad if he wants to come on in. I've nearly finished. Hi, Patty. Don't see you come in. Okay, I think we're nearly at the dotage stage. Unless I just add a little bit more pool party just to... Oh no, 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 I think we're alright because we've got the parakeet in the background. We should be alright. Right. Let me see if I can get my sand eraser. Nope, can't find it. Um, oh, I use, I sometimes use, oh, here we are. Looking in the wrong place. I'm just trying to get the worst off. I'd say the worst, but that mark off. That one's coming off. Might just pop a no, I could put a little butterfly up there.
actually the person who this is for could you just um pm me on facebook and tell me what you'd like me to do with that um i could put foliage it's more foliage up there just to hide it stretch something up thank you right I'll do some I'll do some dotage I think I'll go with evening evergreen for the dotage Okay, right, so we're going to leave that. Well, the dotted will hide it, probably. Probably, she said. Got to keep it real. You do get the odd smudge from time to time. And Sometimes you can just incorporate it in, or you can try and get rid of it. Thank you, Margaret. Let's just check what my internet's doing. Yeah, I've nearly finished. Thank you. You think he likes it? Did you? This is a stamp that just keeps on giving, look at that. Right, I think we're nearly there. Just gonna check what's going on with my internet. Um, I don't know, it just feels like it's being a bit jittery. Maybe sign your name and put dotage around the ice cream booboo. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't the ice cream booboo. It was, um, I had something on my hand, um, some ink, and it went on it. No, the ice no, the ice cream didn't make any booboo. You were fine for that. Mm. Oh, no, it's very nice for the ice cream. I should just put it on here. Right, so what did you... I was going to do something water-based. Ooh, okay, so stop. now for something completely different. So, uh... If you want to go for a little comfort break, guys, well, Tom's going to start in, should we say, five minutes? Yeah, I'm just going to warm up my fingers first. <laughs> well, hold on. Hold oh, on. Do you want to oh. show them your exercises? Oh, no, I just want to suggest, can I make a suggestion with this? Oh, yeah. Go this on. down here. If you put that there. Yeah. I've got an actress. An actress? Yeah. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. There we go. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, you messed it up oh. there. Never mind. Reese with a spoon. Reese with a spoon. Um, okay. Right, hold on. So I'm about to switch over now. So, ah, oh dear. Right. So let's. Um, we've got to just do some technical switching over right now. So Tom, can you pass me my phone? Mm. And yeah, thank you for that, guys. Thank you, the person that donated for this wreath this will be making its way to you in the next week um just gonna put some of this down 
and I'm going to now unplug. I guess I just unplug it. That's it. Just do it. Um, right, I'm going to unplug it. Plug in this one. So Tom's going to come and do some stamping now. What are you looking for? Something. Right, well those things are kind of tired, but you can okay. use them if you need them. Okay, don't you, you tell me which one. Which one? Which should we start with? Go for this one. Okay. Do you want to do it? Yes, just uh, we can relate it. Uh, I, I haven't got my phone with me. Uh, I haven't got the seashell one. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about this one? Let's go for it. I've never used that one before. Don't know if you're using it, but that's okay. Why is, why is May left socks on mine? Oh no, don't. maybe they're my socks. Don't, 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 don't even go there. Right, okay. So let me just go over the, I will go over the colours in a second that, that I used. Um, and I will move some of this stuff out of your way. Just put those all in there. So Tom, you're going to do some limbering up. Uh, yeah. Finger exercise. I was going to show you some pumpkin spice. Oh, uh, okay. To, uh, well, break. I need to go on a comfort break. A break. <laughs> a useful Janet. <laughs> oh, Tom's using this opportunity to do a bit of promo. <sighs> I'm not sure if that's allowed on my channel. I'll make it. <laughs> there we go. You'll make a donation. Okay, so let me just double check. Um, it's good that Tom's keeping me company. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's put that up there. Okay, so you're about to have Tom take it away. What colours do you want? I'll work it out. You go. Okay, I'll come, come back. back I'll come you. back and help you. Yeah, go, go, go. I'll just move those That's over. Right, I'll do it. All right, I'll tidy up. Okay. <laughs> Tom, see me do the dance. Okay, hold on. Let me flip over. Do you want to flip over, or do you want to just talk to the camera? Uh, let's, right. So uh, if let's you flip over. okay, so there we go. Awesome. Thank you. Right. See you in a few moments. See you in a few moments. Ah, oh, well, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, well, you've already been here. It should be oh, welcome to me. Tell me if you can't hear me. What do I need to do? Speaker. Oh, that's right. I can do that. Uh, so just look at the mic. There. Yep, seems okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you can't hear me, I'm not sure how I see your comments. Uh, but I think they're going to come up here in the screen to my side. Yeah. So uh, hello everyone. I'm I'm going to just pause for a moment uh, while uh, Ruth goes for her comfort break because uh, I don't. Where, what am I looking for? I don't even know where I've put the stamp sets that I chose. Here they are. They stand. Uh, yes. Uh, no. Okay. Well, we'll find them in a minute. Nobody panic. So, uh, am I stamping a wreath, Gina? No, I'm not going to stamp a wreath. What I might do is um, what I've done before is stamp a, a an A4 sheet and then cut them into bookmarks. I always think bookmarks are good presents because I'm part of a, a preacher's fraternal, so I'm neat. Every now and again with other preachers. Oh, here they are. Here are the, uh, not preachers, the stamp set. Uh, I always find giving bookmarks uh, a nice presence to give people, just encourage people. So uh, so there you go. So those are the two I'm going to be using. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out. I really don't. Because uh, I wasn't sure what stamp sets I would use. We're going to use these. We're just waiting for Ruth for a minute so I know exactly what I'm doing. While she's gone, let me tell you about... Uh, the new YouTube channel that I'm 
hopefully going to be doing. Hello, everybody. Hello. So who's saying hello? Hello, Judy, Margaret. Uh, who we got here? Uh, Pamela, Gina, Shaz, Joanna. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, so I'm hoping to start a new YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks. I've probably mentioned this before. Uh, looking at, at at old Christian comics because I I buy uh, well I used to collect comics I don't so much nowadays but I love Christian comics from the seventies and eighties they've got a real kitsch kind of retro look to them I've just grabbed a pile here uh, while we wait for Ruth to come back look at this see if you recognise any of these some of you older viewers mature let's say mature viewers uh, hello Heidi uh, do you remember I don't know if I'm American you might remember Archie's One Way Remember this? There was a few Christian Archie comics. Which way is that going? There we go. Uh, and uh, what else have we got here? Uh, some of you might remember Barney Bear. Do you remember Barney Bear, Kitty's Christian comics? Uh, what else have we got? Here's a classic. A little bit scary, this one. Crusader comics. Remember those? Uh, what else have I got here? Let's have a look. Oh, look at this one. This is great. This is uh, it's another kid's one. Some of you might remember the old uh, old comics if you've been to church when you were a kid. Uh, we've got In His Steps. I think that was based on a on a, a book. Uh, what else have I got here? Dennis and the Bible Kids. That's an obscure one, but it's Dennis the Menace. Not the British Dennis the Menace, but the American one. Uh, here's a British one. Warrior. Refugees. For, so, so this is a British comic published by WEC, World Evangelization Crusade. Uh, so I've got a few copies of those. Those are hard to get. Uh, then we've got David. David there. It's a comic about David. Here's another retro one. Look at that. That's great. Live it up. Yeah, Blast from the Past. Yeah, some of these came out before I was around. But uh, look at that. Joseph. You can tell that's about Joseph. Look at his lovely, eye-catching, multicolored coat. Yes, but uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to do a uh, a, uh, a YouTube channel just uh, looking through some of these. And I'll tell you what, I've got a ton. There's a, there's so many old Christian comics that uh, people don't uh, know about. So I just thought that would be interesting to uh, do little YouTube videos of and uh, talk about them. So there you go. So that's that. Move those out of the way because you're here for this. So... Ruth's still not back, so I'm going to I'm going to look for well we could we there is a card. There is some card. What else can we find? Um I'm looking now, looking around Ruth's studio. Now I know she's got a four card here somewhere. Tell you what, it's it's um it's a bit of a I'm not gonna say it's messy, it's very organized. But there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, so finding card. Oh, Ruth's back. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Is that the first card you want or what uh, we're doing? Well, I was thinking of making bookmarks, doing like a scene, and then slicing them up. How many are you making? Probably four. I've done four before in one go. Yeah. So okay. there we go. So let's see how this... He's actually uh, there we are in the middle. <sighs> right. Oh, you've been advertising it for. Have I? Have I? Not myself. I've been advertising. Uh, well, no, I've just been filling the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've not seen these used. So you're going to have to help me work out what. Well, so this is to be yeah oh right yeah. okay thought they were clouds mm. yeah they can be clouds you can do whatever you want to do. So. so i could do trees at the top yeah so that so that that Design there would fit on there. That's right, yep, I can work that out. You can have use that as a these. bowl if you want to. Well, you could have these that is the background. Yeah. So you could have that as a tree background if you wanted to. Okay. Um I think on Wednesday 
pages. Stuck to buy. By okay. stamping it in a row. So you could just you could or you could just stamp in a row of black hairs, maybe. Yeah. So the thing to be aware of with that image, there's a there's a darker and a lighter. Okay. Okay. Which which one goes a bit more into the dark and thicker, mm. which sort of just a slight variation. So how would those fit onto those? Well, you just put, well, put them straight on using, top. Yeah, if you look at it over there, you can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jean has got the original edition of the Ooh. first Star Wars comic. Ooh. Well. Hi, Ivy. That, that's Welcome. good. Welcome. Hello, Ivy. So, hello, everybody who are, are just joining us. We're into uh, ooh, three and a half hours so far of the live stream. So, thank you so much for joining and hanging out with us. Let me that to look nice. Is that right? No, there we go. So if I'm doing bookmarks, mm -hmm. so I want this sort of layering downwards. Maybe, or you might just use that as kind of do a, a, an interesting background. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Would I use that one? You or... can do. Okay. okay well, so let's. Choice for Tom. You just need to be careful what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, I'm trying to think in terms of bookmarks, but... Well, you just think that you've got to do a whole design across yeah, the whole page. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So maybe just do a couple of different blues, maybe, and then have Let's quite do it. variation. So what have we got? That one, pool party. Let's start with pool party. It's not something we often talk about at Fraternals, but a uh, good name for a colour. Is there anything I need to know about this stamp that's going to take me by surprise? Um, actually, let me just give you a couple of mats to Ooh, right, okay. lift the paper up. And you, should I stamp over the edge? If you do stamp over the edge, don't do a second generation. So do either yeah. stamp any sides, then do your second generation of the edge. Okay. Well, here we go, everyone. No idea how this is going to turn out, but... We're just going to go for it because often that's that's what we do on this channel. That's what we do, and it works out. Yeah. Yeah. So the second generation is obviously very light. Now, when you're inking up, I notice that you again can put the whole stamp on. So you're saying go anywhere, just go for yeah, it. Yeah, maybe sort of there. And then second generation. Yeah. When you stamp down your first time, I need to press more in the middle. Yeah. Ink it. Yeah. Oh, okay, Ivy. Yeah, I've not used it at all, actually. So this is Tom's going to be breaking it out. Oh, Tom, you have to do the new stamp sniff. The what, sorry? The new stamp sniff. Like when you break out the new stamp sniff, you have to give it a sniff. <coughs> <laughs> Strong stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's probably why I like it. Oh. Well, there you go. That's a, that's a new one. The new stamp For sniff. For me. Well, the whole idea of sniffing stamps. Oh, yeah. So is there a separate, like... YouTube channel for that one. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, uh, the one thing I do notice the smell of is, we mentioned them, comics. Mm. Uh, comics do smell very different to each other depending on how they've been printed. Oh, really? Well, yeah. There's different kinds of ink. Yeah, so it's like older comics are printed onto it. Yeah, with different, they're just printed differently. I don't know how to explain it. So, you think one more, maybe one more here. Yep. 
Um, and I remember going, uh, I may have mentioned this to you before, but going to, um, should we go for a different colour? Mm-hmm. Have you got a, uh, oops. going to a, a comic shop, my mum, years ago. So this would be about 30 years ago. And there's a really tiny comic shop full of old comics. And, oh, let me leave that on there. And she, when we came out, she said, uh, it smelt of evil. <laughs> just the ink. Tells you what you, you thought of comics. But, uh, yeah, it turned out it was just the ink. So here, just take the same approach. Yeah, so aim for the light and portion. Yeah. That's what you say when we go to McDonald's. We have to see what we have for tea tonight because uh, two of my kids have gone out to buy tea. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh, well. we'll I know there. it's going to be pizza. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we decided to keep it's Friday night tonight. And uh, I did say they should buy some ice cream as well because it's a hot day here. I think we could do with some ice cream. Da -da -da -da. Hope everybody's enjoying the live stream today. Uh, right, here we go. Let's, let's go for the lighter area. So this one over here. I think Ruth would say, I don't want to leave anything. This looks white, doesn't it? But we don't want to go straight over there. So we going to go up here and then down there. And I think there. Don't, I won't do a second generation because it's slightly over the edge. We're going to do here and then one there to fill that gap in. This edge, top edge is looking a bit bare, isn't it? So I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do. No, I think I'm going to do one over here, and then do a second generation one up there. Look at that. Do the same again. And uh, see if we can get just a little bit there. Oh, now you see that's there's a line there. That's why I shouldn't have done that. But that's okay. It's just in the corner. I'm just going to do one there. there. One there. Uh, do you think that's okay? Do you think that's I'm got it covered? Yeah. Right. Not perfect. A little line there and there. That's okay. Oh, that's because it, it just went over the edge there, didn't it? Ah, right. Here we are. Oh, Janine. Hello, Janine. Uh, when I open the new stamp set, I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, right, well, um, what's uh, what's next? So, so, did you want just to have that one tree? Yeah, let's let's go for one tree. Let's not be too ambitious. Um, I'm wondering whether then you need or, that. Slide. Or we just go for. Unless you just want to do a row of trees, and then when you pick them up, so at each one will have a. Specific tree in it. Or just maybe, actually, I could just go for that dotted around. I could do it just a more abstract one. Mm -hmm. Or do you think there's the tree one is a better idea? Well, you could do that, or you could 
sounds like it's fun and then you can get all your clients. Yeah. <laughs> what colour would you like? The which bit? The sun? Well, the... the, the or that, that sort of shade. That, that, that. Maybe a... A brown or an orange? Um, pumpkin pie? Oh, that's mango. Mango's fine. <laughs> I was just, I was just reaching there. I was thinking if I could get this right without seeing the stamp, that would be very impressive. But I did not quite get it right. So maybe in the middle, and then clouds above and below. Or the sun above. I did want to. I did think about putting a, a, a sentiment, but I don't have to. That might be too well, do much. Do you want one done on every one? Because I'm one, again. I'm wondering whether just to chop these up so you know where you where you're headed with it. Could be. Or we could do it completely random and then just make a whole big pattern and then stamp the sentiments in a dark dark color. Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you. <laughs> Stamp sentiments in the dark. I might miss it. Um, so you just think put put this possibly all around. Yeah. So it's not necessarily being the sun. It's just. But maybe one in each column. Mm. How many columns do you think it could? You get six out of that. Do you think I should st slice it first? You could do. I think probably that's a wise thing to do. Let's just cover this up for a minute so we get the fingers on it. So I'm just going to cut this down to just under seven inches. So it's basically six and seven eighths. And then we're going to cut this at one and thirteen sixteen. Put an overlay on it to help him visualise. Yeah, I, I haven't actually got one for the bookmarks, Janine. Because I don't tend to do them this way. Tom's breaking the mould a bit. Alright. Okay. It's coming together. So now, I'm sure I put that stamp. That could be a little bit of work. Yeah, the thing with these is that I can't. I struggle because I've not. I don't do a lot of stamping. It's, it's hard to visualize. Yeah. So, for example, this, I couldn't yeah, visualize that. Time. So, do you think just off the edge? Yeah, maybe you so. could put your bit of colour on there. Yeah. Or think that you've got a white dot blob there, where that yeah. you aim aim it more there, because as soon as that orange mixes with the green, it will become a another colour. So if you want to keep the integrity of the orange, you should aim it for a white the whitest spot that you've got on each one. Does that make sense? Yeah. So with this one now, you just, yeah, that that's way. it. Yeah, yeah. So this is where it's quite fun. If you've done a kind of abstract design to start off with, it means that every one is going to be slightly different. Oh, Janine says you can't visualise either. You're fine. Yeah, you just kind of have to go for it, don't you? Trust that the 
I suppose you're following the same principles of taking a particular shape and trusting that it's going to work. It's going to work. Yeah. Just gonna work. Uh, so what am I doing next? That's the question. So the tree... And so for example, if I was to put the tree here on this one, where would you expect it to be? So sort of looking at a, a, layer, like a line, a line yeah. that it's coming out of. Mm. Okay. Oh, I think that's going to be returning the key, I think. Uh, okay, right. So we're we're ruthless now. Uh, I mean that in a nice way. Without Ruth. So here's the. Hmm. Let's look at that. So that's so I do that one, that one light, this one, this one lighter, and then I do that one over the top darker. So we will put that on a smaller one, line it up. So we want to do it there. So we do. This one lighter, that's it. So this is crumb cake, which uh, reminds me, hopefully pizza's on the way. Okay. See, that'll be interesting to see how that turns out once we put the next layer on it. I think it just needs to be a little bit lower, doesn't it? Yeah, you know what? I think we can get rid of this one now. That's a little bit taking the impact, isn't it? The, uh, Thing. So here we are, put that one there, well, I hope everybody's got something nice planned for the, uh, the weekend, I'm taking one of my sons to uh, stay with some friends and he's doing a, a placement next, I might put that one there now, let's see, he's doing a work placement next, uh, next week at school. So, and then got another son going away on Wednesday, a couple of weeks, so it's going to be a quiet house for a few days next week, relatively speaking. There we are, another one. Do we do? Just trust in the process. Could do that it's right down there because that fills in that little white gap. So let's do that. So that one is done. So that's all of them done. And now we're going to use soft suede. For the stamp that goes over that soft suede, so that's the stamp I'll use the mat. I felt it was sort of pushing into it a bit, sort of that to. one was so oh, small. Oh, this stamp is called Treasured Kindness, Judy. This one.
So this is now the ultimate test where we have to line it up, which isn't so easy when the Oh, okay. Ah, uh, right. So that that bit up there. Ah, okay. So that bit's meant to be two birds, and I've not quite got that right. They've been joined together, haven't they? So that's my that's, that'll be my test, my tester. So that's I might practice that. Just yeah, you can see it's just catching in there, isn't it? So, let's give that a wipe. Let's just see how that comes out now here. There, yeah, so that's better. So, stamp. Clean it a little bit. Okay, that's better. Is a little bit clearer. Let's bring all these back in. I wonder how you avoid that. Oh, that's avoided it. Right, so a bit of a softer, softer touch. It's come out better, hasn't it? Yeah, getting better each time. Practice, practice. Let's move this one in. Oh, we missed a little bit, but that's fine. It's going to look okay. It's the challenge of doing this when you've got the uh, the phone in front of you. So you can't look directly above it. I'm sure Ruth's probably got a uh, that's good. Uh, a trick to help with that. I think this is the last one. And then. I might have to, uh, let's just give that a little clean there. I might have to give Ruth a shout because I'm not quite sure what uh, we're going to do next. Okay. Sort of that slightly, uh, slightly haunting, isn't it? That's that, that tree. So that's what we've got so far. So this one, this can be our tester because it's just got that little link there, but Ruth might have a, a trick to uh, to get us onto, uh, to, to help cover that up. I don't know. Ruth? I'm on to the next bit, whatever that may be. What, uh, so oh, what? Your, your, your tree clouds. Ah, my tree clouds, yes. So I would do the, a light colour for the, the, the solid and then a darker colour for the... I think I need to do a is that that one. Well, if you do it nice bright green, then you could do another colour and then it would be bright purple. No, it's all right. Yeah. Do that in a nice bright green. Yep. Let's take this off. Hopefully. Yeah, then maybe do granny apple with a softer colour on top of it. Okay. I'll tell you what, it's firstly. Drop that on so it's in the right in the right uh, position. So here we go. This these are gonna be our clouds. I should do them almost up there, there, yeah, maybe there. So let's test it first. 
Awesome, looking good. Well, yes, that's right. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, here we go. Oh, hello, Lorraine. Good morning, world. Yes, it's, uh, well, here it's evening. Almost pizza time. Uh, but uh, morning, where you are? Let's see. Let's. One. Now this one's tricky. Yeah, I think we'll we'll put them up here because look, there's a bit of a gap there. So this, I think, is where we will put that. There's two. There's a gap up there, isn't there? I think that would be too low, so I might put those up there. If I was to do this again. I might do it slightly differently because I suppose the sun you expect to be above the clouds. That's not always the case, is it? Can't really fit clouds in there, so I'm going to put them here. I always think there would be, uh, you'd make a fortune if you could find a way to flip stamps round. Ruth probably has a way in her of. of doing that but if you could make a stamp so that you could just flip it over you almost want them double sided don't you so this one I think will go here so there we have it there's our green clouds and thing so let's wipe it with a cloth that's that Unpeel. And now we're going to use which one next? Let's put that in the corner. We're going to use a darker colour to give the clouds their definition, the detail. Let's put that there. Put this one away. Oh. So we've had a, a bit of a holiday this week. Ruth's probably mentioned we've uh, been to a wedding, a nephew's wedding. It was very nice. We took great advantage where we were staying of the uh, hot tub. And yeah, it's a shame really. We can't, we just can't fit one in our garden. Here's a darker, but they are so nice, aren't they? Hot tubs. Right, how am I going to get this in the right place? Right, let's, let's practice it on here. Hmm, so maybe a bit more to the side. Look at that. That's why you should practice. How does that look? Let's see. You know what? Not bad. Uh, let's do this one next. In fact, it might even be good if these clouds are so high up because uh, it can't be mistaken for being part of the tree. Very Dr. Seuss. Yes, that is a really good description. Yes, I used to read uh, Dr. Seuss books very regularly to my kids. I'll tell you the one, there's the classics, like uh, the cat in the hat. Oh, this is tricky. The cat in the hat and so on. But uh, the one, the one that um, we always went back to, especially if the kids got a little bit older, I mean, not very old, but yeah, a little bit older was, um, oh, there's one where there's something different on every page, you know, something a bit ridiculous. But on page one, there's like one ridiculous thing. Then page two, there's two ridiculous things and so on. Um, I can't remember what it's called. And in the picture, you have to spot like there's a shoe instead of a car wheel. You know, it's got shoes. I can't remember what it's called. 
anyway. I'm going to give that a blue light. Oh, what's it? It's called something like Silly Saturday or something like that. Or Muddled Monday. Anybody remember that book, Dr. Seuss? Uh, let me know in the comments. Ruth, I am now on the next stage. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> If you could tell me what it is, uh, then I will get on and give it a shot. Let's put these stamps away. So, so far, now I haven't, let's see if Ruth's got a, this is the first one I did of the tree and it's got that. Is there anything I can do oh, with that? I just did a tree. Wait, I thought you were going to do anything. That's what you suggested. I thought you were going to do a tree on this. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, well. You use the word clouds. That's because you understood them as clouds, so I use the word clouds. Oh, well, it's like the, it was so windy that <laughs> the wind blew the leaves uh, into the clouds. So no one noticed. Well, I think someone mentioned it was like Dr. Seuss. Yeah. I don't know. Um, you know, I could do. I could do. Uh, do it again. Do you not think it, it, it's a bit weird? Um, I mean, you could but, just use that stamp and do it in a dark green and pour the leaves. No, I, no, I was just saying I could just do another sheet. Well, no, I quite I like it. Doing, but I quite like it. I'll certainly use these as bookmarks. No, keep going. Maybe keep going. do a different type of green for the. Maybe do blue. Let's do blue. Let's go for it, people. Do, do a blue. And maybe another evening I could do these again and we'll make it look a bit more sensible. Oh, no, it's fine. Don't put it. Keep it as it is. Because it mixed up Monday, to be nice to me. <laughs> um, um, yeah, what was that book, the Dr. Seuss book? Yeah. Where there was something extra that was a bit wacky. Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. What day is it today? Friday. 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 Uh, we can just call it Wacky Friday. Uh, so Ruth's walked away. Now she's given me Orchid Oasis. So what colour should I use? Let's see. We've got balmy blue. So I could use that for the background and then use that for the detail. We'll just do it. This is, you know, this is what live is, isn't it? It's just... Uh, Having a go. I'm sure lots of stampers have a go, and then uh, and then think, you know what? Next time I'll do that a little bit differently. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we'll test it out on this one. Let's just try that again. Yeah. Now I've no idea actually how these are meant to fit on this tree. I'm assuming. They will just work. So I think. No, that's too low, isn't it? So this is definitely a tester. So we want it about there. We want it about there, don't we? So this bit fits in there. That's good. We've worked that out. That's <laughs> She said it was. She said they were clouds. So I use them as clouds. Okay. There we go. So a little bit lower, I think. Here we go. There we are. And we said a little bit lower, didn't we? So I'm going to go for a little bit lower. And my instincts are telling me. That's okay. So that goes. Where am I putting the ones I've done? It? Uh, well, I'll use these definitely because I'm always losing bookmarks. Always. I've, I've got a ton of them, I'm sure, somewhere. And my daughter, May, is always needing bookmarks. 
Uh, so rather than, she, otherwise she'll just use whatever is handy, whatever is within reach, and try and cram it into the book to mark the place in the pages. There we are. A little bit lower than I think it's the right place. So that's that one done. And we're going to do the other one. This is making me think of, uh, it's a bit like uh, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. I think it was Wacky Wednesday. I think it was. Um, Freaky Friday's that movie, isn't it? I'm sure Disney have done a couple of uh, versions of it. Oh, there was a version, I think, with Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. That's, I'm going to guess those. Now, we've done the lighter one, so we're going to do the darker one. I'm going to use my tester bookmark first. I'm going to adjust that mistake there. So, And of course, I did these a little bit lower, so I feel like I should stick to that. Yeah. Let's do a practice. Oh, look at that. Look at that massive bit of mistake there. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is move this slightly further down. So that... So now these are in the wrong place. So I'm going to try and copy that just so... I can see if, yeah, okay, okay. I've got a bit of ink on my thumb. Let's get rid of that. It's the old mistake that I often make. But then if you were in years to come, trying to work out, is that a, is that a genuine Tom Magnus card? You go, does it have his thumbprint on it? Rather than a signature, I could look for my thumbprint. Okay, how's that look? These are looking weird, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We're learning. I'm learning. I'll learn next time Ruth talks about clouds. Just double check. That's good. <laughs> I, you know what? I think I like trees with blue leaves. I can't think of any trees that have blue leaves. It's not a popular colour in uh, in the natural world. Here we go. There we are. One, two, three. One more to do. So, doing one more. I'm trying to think what books I'm reading at the moment. Actually, I've got a load of comics lined up to read. Saturday morning. Still officially my week off, so I'm going to do a bit of reading. Chilling out in the garden, it's nice. And uh, there we are. Then Sunday morning, I'm preaching at a little chapel just down the road. It's about 10 minutes' drive. And uh, I've got the sermon lined up for that, so that's good. That's all done. Look at that. <laughs> you know what? I like those colours. I like the way that works with the... I think that... You know what? I think that works better than green. That's strange. But you could almost do... I wonder if you could do with a light green in the background and a dark blue in the foreground. That would be interesting. Why don't we give that a quick try before I shout for Ruth and say... Ruth, help me. Uh, I'm going to try that. I'm going to go for, I'll do it on a bit of bit of paper just to see how that looks. Because sometimes blue is a good, dark blue might be a better substitute for a dark green. Let's just try it here. One, and then one, two, do, 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 do. Oh, 
totally missed those. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. It does work with light blue. Isn't that strange? Or to my eye, at least. Right, well, I think... I think... Ruth? What? I think... We, we, we are, we're done with the leaves. That was nice, Mum. I, really uh, like I think... I really liked it. Yeah, I think... Well, you know, I felt... Right from the beginning, I was pretty confident uh, that... Uh, you know, blue, blue, uh, blue leaves would uh, would work well. I had a strong, strong sense of uh, colour being led to that colour. That one, I think, the clouds needed to be higher up, didn't they? But these, I think, with the clouds nice and high up. Um. So I'm wondering if we could do with something in that gap, like a little motto. Uh, the first one that springs to mind is don't do drugs um, because of the, the weird nature of it. But uh, but no, I'm thinking something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I looked at that and read thinking of you. I'm not sure what I'd think. Uh, you know what, I might just go for that one. I might just go for that one. As they're going to be in my books. Uh, <laughs> you know, just, just read that, that motto. Um, Ruth? Ruth disappeared. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering what to do next, whether to put a little oh, right. motto in. What colour card would you like to leave that in? Um, neon pink? No. no, I'm joking. Let's go for like a dark blue. Should we go for that, or, that one that we used? Yeah, the um, Orchid Oasis. Yeah. So if you cut this now to seven inches. Right. Seven inches in what direction? Possibly. Hold on. It's... Oh, okay, so this is fitting. And then cut this at two inches minus a notch. Two inches minus a notch. Yeah. yeah. So if you do six of those, you should end up with exactly six. So if I do six of those, I should end up with exactly six. Two inches minus a notch. I wonder if anybody's thought about pizzas in the oven. Well, I think I'm probably nearing the end of this thing, so maybe my job. Here we go. Birds above, fish below. Uh, oh, it in a month. Yes, it is nice, Elaine, to have uh, friends in faraway places. I'll tell you what, Ruth gets cards from all over the place. That's the uh, nice thing about being part of a, a community of stampers and card makers. Now, let's think. Two inches minus a notch. And then two inches minus a notch. There we are. And that, let's see, let's see, was she right? Yes, she was. Look at that. She knows her notches. Right, here we are. Let's close that up. Oh, ah, yeah. That's over there. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna, we are gonna mount all of these, even though they're not all quite as successful. But we've learned lessons from each one. There's one. There's, yep. There, but I will be using them. So if you glue, glue, glue. Oh, birds. Birds. Ah, I see. Sorry, I missed that. Birds. So, oh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, I missed a lot of comments there. Let's see if I can scroll up a little bit. There we go. Wacky Wednesday. Yes, it was. Da -da -da. Uh, hello, Janice. Uh, yeah, Shaz. Hello, Shaz. You can pretend it's a bonsai, hydrangea bonsai tree. 
Just trying to scroll down. Oh, that's a bit of a bird. So, okay. Oh, in Romania. Ah. Right, I'm trying to, no, let me focus, let me focus. Here we are. Here we are. But you guys chat amongst yourselves. Thought you were doing that apart from, great. Uh, right, this is the, this is the, this is when the maths, the mathematician part of me starts stressing out because they have to be perfectly lined up. And I've no idea in which group to put on. We, we just go with the instinct, work with the blue leaves. I don't think we want too much, do we? This is our testing one. Yeah. There's a card to uh, to make. I'll have to see if there's a motto that you can have that says. May your lines always be parallel. <laughs> there we go. I think that's okay. Right, so that was our practice one. And now we're going to look at all this. Turn it back up there. I think uh, musical glue would be good. Makes a different kind of tune depending on the kind of line you draw with it. When you're doing a wiggly one, and a whoop when you do a straight line. Or perhaps you make your own sounds up when you're gluing. Or it might just be me. There we are. Ah, and if you're uh, if you just recently joined the live stream, don't panic. Uh, they are blue leaves and they are green clouds. Just just accept it. It's fine. Now I'm going to do a whoop, whoop, whoop. Little, 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 Look at that. I wonder if I should put something there. Anyway, next one. Here we are. I don't know what's next. I know that Ruth's got whoop, 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 little, little. Uh, I know that Ruth's got um, got more wreaths to do. I'm sure of the donations I think if you donate a certain amount isn't it you get a, a wreath if I make a wreath I think she's got a few lined up don't know how much yeah nearly yep yeah. uh, don't rush genius <laughs> uh, whoop, beep. Are there any other kind of lines? Let's make zigzag lines. There we are. Zip, zip, zip. Come on, they're, they're coming together, aren't they? They are. I think they are starting to work, especially once you put the background. If you just, just go with it. Yep. Zip. Tell you what, making the sounds does make the gluing part of the job more interesting. One, two, three. Okay, I think now is the time to, uh, you know, I'm just so tempted to uh, to put a motto on there. But I think I'll put it on. <laughs> anyway, that's just me. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you for appreciating the uh, don't do drugs statement. I wonder if Stampin' Up! would do that, sort of uh, public health advice cards. Um, that's where my mind goes. Anyway, Ruth? Right, what next? Should I should I put them in? Uh, you Thanks want your for, little baggies? Maybe just for maybe not the ones that didn't work so well, but maybe uh, two or three. Oh, these giant strawberries. Da, da, da. And uh, who's uh, who's taking my place, Ruth? Me. Oh. Me and Ruth, the other Ruth. Oh, Ruth's Yeah. Now remember, you put a you punch a hole in this, don't you? And then put a ribbon. Mm-hmm. Melissa's laughing face from from your don't do yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like that stamp set. Yeah, I think that blue worked. Maybe because of the coloured background. Mm. It doesn't look as bizarre. Well, it doesn't look bizarre. It just looks like the clouds have taken on a greenish hue from the sun. Yeah. Oh. Is there a technique for... Oh, there we go. Uh, maybe I'll just do one. I can do the others later. Use that punch there. Make sure your fingers don't get in any of these. Is that? I don't think I've punched a hole. Yeah, yeah sometimes it. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't always work. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> there you go. Just snip it. Yeah, it. done, done. And now, uh, what colour are we getting? Bit of yellow, why not? Matches the sun. Thank you, Judy and Lorraine. Thank you for your comments. Uh, Birds above the fish below. Oh, yeah. We could do the fish flying in the sky, couldn't you? Now, is there a. You just tie a. a no, knot, I've caught you know? something else. Oh. Because you're special, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, uh, look at this. Look at this. Well, Luke's arrived back. I think so. Yes. Did he start cooking? Lorraine's oh. so. <laughs> suggesting uh, we auction off the bookmarks. Well, decide how many you want to give, and then we could win. Oh, well, we could auction them as a set, couldn't we? They're very exclusive. You won't find any others like this, I'll tell you that now. Um, I'll certainly put the rest in... Uh, in well, we can look at these in order. Thing. And maybe just put some random mottos on later. So they come as a surprise. <laughs> How's that? I think that would work well, actually. But uh, Anyway, there you go. So that is my contribution. I'm not coming back later, am I? Am I? Oh, I, uh, I could come back during a comfort break and do a couple of songs if you wanted. I've got my songs. Oh, have you? Yeah, Ooh, funny songs. Funny songs. Funny songs. So, uh, oh, very good. so these may go up for auction. Who knows? Who knows? But anything, uh, if, if, if it raises money, mm. you know what? I'm willing to part with it. All right, okay. That's good. That tidy. Right, so let's have a look. 
those. Whenever I press that transition thing, I'm like, oh, it's me that. again. Oh. That's Tom's hair. I don't realise I am actually standing up. <laughs> oh, uh, dear. oh, dear. Oh, dear. I need pizza. Right. I. What was the... the to I need to colour in the new total, actually. So, are you going right. to tidy your stamps away? Yeah. Um... Shall I put them in that pile or that pile? <laughs> no, it's very tidy here. Uh, it's very organised. Uh, should I just leave the colours there? Um, yeah, leave those there. Um, I so, find some white ocean front. And I have to say, I couldn't yeah. picture how that would work, mm -hmm. but it did work. It did. So, oh, trust me. Let me move out of the way. Um, and John, is everything in it? No, look, there's one here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, hi everybody. Okay, so let's say I'll start I'll start stamping at in six minutes. So uh comfort break, if anyone needs to go for that now, go for a quick comfort break, go and grab a drink. I've been enjoying a cup of tea outside. Got a, a special visitor, surprise visitor. So, uh, Ruth, who I was telling you about, who's the uh, other another trustee of the organisation, has turned up with strawberries and chocolate. She knows me well, and they're giant strawberries as well. They're awful. Oh, there might be one left for you, Tom. They are pretty delish. I think they're what. No, don't don't worry. I'll, I'll try and read those now. Okay, so I am. Ruth is tough making Tom stamp for us and telling him to tidy up. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I would never say that. You would never tell me to tidy up. No, I'd never say you were going to tidy up. Oh, I see. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> um. I was just about to check something then. What Special? was it? Colour it in. Yeah, Colour I was going to do that. Uh, what else was I going to do? Um, hold on, I'm just going to see if that... No, there's no, no new ones to that. Okay. Oh, I was sure there was something else I was going to check. Oh, that was it. Okay, so somebody who um, anonymously donated earlier has emailed me the colours that they would like me to use. That was it. So, um, no, um, what's that say? No grey, pool party, coastal cabana, that's easy, coastal, we'll leave you to decide on leaf and other, I'm not sure if Sussway or any special kind of cake have been added. Okay, I can do that. Ooh, right. Okay. Uh, move those over there. I haven't used pear pizzazz yet today, have I? Might use a bit of the lead. Zing it up a bit. Okay, let's check. I'm on 36%. Oh, that's gone down. Is this charging properly? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better. better. Okay, so. Oh, no. Let's fade that. Okay, that will cut down. Sorry, um, I, my phone was using more energy than was going in, so I've just done a couple of tweaks. Okay, three more minutes, guys, and I'll start stamping. Um, I think Ruth was going to come and get me tin on. Let's pop that away. Well, I'm going to go and uh, 
cook dinner. Thank you for watching. While I was making those, thank you for your positive comments. Enjoy whatever comes next. Oh, I did think of another motto for the six months. Yeah, don't try this at home. Wait, let me get the clouds. Leaf clouds. Leaf clouds. Yep. Okay, right. Any suggestions of flowers? Um, Hi Jenny. Hi Hannah. Excellent. So welcome if you've just joined and we are now, uh, where have we been going? Four and a half hours. So we are nearly halfway there. <sighs> nearly halfway there. So I haven't done it all myself. So huge thank you to my family. So you saw to uh, Luke earlier made a card. My husband's just had a go doing some stamping and I'm going to be stamping the third wreath of the day because we, we've got four over a hundred pound donations. Actually no we've got five, what am I talking about? I think we have five. I've just given myself a bit more work because I just remembered one came via somewhere else and so we're going to be giving you the updated amount raised so far so why don't i think we're true beauty not yeah yes i did ivy that was the first one Oh yes, yeah, I'll have my tea. Yeah, there we go, Ivy. That was earlier today. I know what, I'll put it down on the put it on the floor there. Not floor, the table. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah, earlier today, guys, for the, just do a quick recap and then I'll get started. So that was earlier today. That's the true beauty one. And then the second one was this one, a blue one. Oh, now why? Why am I glitching out? Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to just a quick introduction, Ruth. We're going to say a quick hi to everybody. <laughs> I know, I know. Just come and say a quick hello. Yeah. Hi everyone. Hold on, hold on. Now do well, it. Hi everyone. Thank you very much for everyone that's donated so far and supported Ruth. Am I there? Am I there? Yes. Okay. I'll just sit down here quietly. <laughs> oh, Thank bless you. her. It's all, it, it's all Ruth's fault that, uh, yeah, it's all her fault I ended up in Kenya three years ago. And actually, it's you can. Cool. Well, we blame your daughter, don't yes, we? we do. It's yeah. all her fault. Sean, if you're watching, mwah, love you. Um, the blue one is stunning. Thank you, Janine. Thank you, Ivy. Okay, right. It's half past six. So, yes, Lorraine. I'm sorry. I'm going to swap over to my phone mic now because um, up to now we've been using the computer mic okay so just bear with me i'll get that sorted and um hi louise good to see you okay just bear with guys i'm just going to sort this mic out and then we will get going 
Da 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 yeah, okay, connected. Um, let me flip that round, switch that. Okay, can you hear me better? Hello, hello. Yep, okay. Oh, my phone camera is now not on. There we go. You impressed me. I did. I'm really impressed because you know I don't do technology at all. <laughs> I'm looking very confused actually. Hi Louise. Wow. In the first hour, I stamped this. Uh, in the second hour, my son made this. Luke used the, the kit. He's made these little lanterns in the card. This was my, I think my Mother's Day and Happy Birthday all rolled into one. Uh, then in the next section, I stamped that. See you later, Ivy. And then Tom has just finished stamping some bookmarks. So that's what you've, you've missed. You'll have to go and watch the replays for that. So what I will try and do is after we've gone live and I've had a little bit of a rest, maybe on Saturday, I will put timestamps in the description to make it a bit easier to for people to find what they need to find. Right, so we've got to do the reveal of what we're up to. So we were up to 830, weren't we? What are we up to now? Eight, 865, did you say? 865, woo! Okay, so we're just colouring in another set. This is, you know, really technical, you know, technical colouring in of the fundraiser chart there we go so we're up to 865 thank you so much guys so ruth how much how many pad packs of pads is that i've got to do with my sums is it divided by five so that will pay for 173 packs of sanitary towels so um yeah thank you everybody who's donated every five pounds will make a difference to a girl in kenya thank you Okay, so I've grabbed out some stamps I've not used today. I might be pulling some stuff in that, you know, tried and tested and all that, that, that I'm going to pull in again. Um, I quite enjoyed using that little rain one. I don't know what else to call it, really. That was quite fun to do. So I might use that again. Um, I'm wondering, though, to stamp some big leaves to start off with and then we'll go from there so thank you Barb I'm glad you could join so there are a few people who donated a uh, hundred pounds who are still yet to contact me <clears throat> hint, hint. those of you who know you are you know who you are and let me know the colors that you want to use for your your stamped one sheet wonder so please contact me and let me know if you are watching and you're not able to for some reason comment uh, it could be that you need to subscribe to my channel so if you can't see a picture a logo of yourself in the top right hand corner you need to sign in to YouTube okay the reason why I've had to turn on subscribe only comments is because we didn't want to deal with box today so I do have some of my admins in. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Um, who else has just come in? Elaine. Hi. Jenny. Hi. Uh, anyone else just come in in the last hour that I've missed? Please say hi. So 55 of you watching, thank you for your thumbs ups. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to stamp another wreath. I hope you're not going to get too bored of these. I don't actually. I've, I've stamped many. I don't get bored because every time it's different. Have you start, seen me? Have you watched me stamp these, Ruth? Many times. <laughs> Ruth's many daughter times. is an avid follower of my channel. Mm. So, I, I pull in, if it goes on a loop, I pull in a channel, it keeps flowing. Does it? Yeah. So, so when you start one video, I'll go off and do something that people are watching and then come in about an hour later and you're still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> you can turn me down, you know, if you want. <laughs> I think she does enjoy hearing your voice and, and, and it seems like it's um, yeah. Right, there we go. Lovely sleep, isn't it lovely? Oh, I've ended up having five, but okay, that's fine. I think I want I want that same lightish colour, but I want to go for a different texture now, I think. Board of Reeves? Never. Thanks, Heidi. So, I hope Tom was entertaining. He said he might come back later and sing you some songs. Because he, he has got some songs that he has written, so we won't get copyright <laughs> infringed. Unless they pick them up from somewhere else on the internet and think that they're not his songs, but no, they are. Yeah. They are his songs. Right, so at this point we're just laying down some colour just to get some background. So for this point you drop a stamp or you think, what am I doing? I don't know where I'm going. Just keep going. It will be fine. Trust the process. Okay. So I'm going to use this, some of these flowers here. Now this one um, is a two-step stamping flower. So you need to you can do, not need to, but you can do, so you can stamp these two images together, which is quite fun. So I'm going to do the first outline image in Bermuda Bay. I'm going to grab my mats actually for this. Okay, it's going on. Things are happening. Sorry, I'm just recording it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't know whether to do a reshare of um, posts on Instagram. So, guys, do us a big favour and please share this out on social media. We've still got over five hours to go yet. So, if any of the Australians are waking up, although it's still quite early, oh, what's going on? Is anyone else having connection issues? I'm just watching myself and that's a bit odd. Sorry, bear with going to check that I'm on the right internet. Oh no I'm not. Okay guys just bear with a second gonna have to just sort something out. I wondered why I had a problem. I'll be with you. I'm just sorting out something on my internet. I've realized why I was glitching. Okay, that's better. Okay, we'll leave that for that for now. So we have this delightful blob. In here, which is great for colouring in that set. Oh, I know what I give you stuff to clean. There we go. <laughs> I have a skivvy. Well, <laughs> I think <board> works. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to have a look at it? Just give me a minute. 
Yeah, if it's easier to put it on a block, I'll, I'll leave them on blocks for you. Thanks, Ruth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, Ruth, get in here. Tidy up for me. Okay, so that's Coastal going on. Um, let's see if I'm around to there. I'm not too worried if I don't get this perfect. I'm just getting a bit of colour onto these flowers. I'm thinking I may add some more colour in a bit. Is it, is it a bit better now? Sound is dodgy and... Uh, guys, is, there, is the... Is that a bit smoother? Uh, the colours I've used so far are... We've used Pool Party for the leaves. Bermuda Bay for the outline of the flowers and now we're using Coastal Cabana for the, the inside bits. And I think it would be interesting to add, so you can do this with this stamp set. You don't have to use it as you think, think you should use it. You can sort of take elements of it and, you know, enhance. So I've taken that little, that tiny little one there, and I'm going to actually add some more Coastal Cabana just to make these look a bit darker. See how that's layering it up there. Oh, hello fly. I've got a fly in here now. Lovely. So I'm hoping this is going to, you see how that enhances it. You did a second generation twist. That's a really good idea. I, I did. It crossed my mind, Louise. But yes, you can definitely do that. So when you stamp for the first time, we call that first generation. And then when you stamp again, we call that second generation. So with the stamp that I've just used, what you can do is you can stamp it, twist it, and then stamp again to get a lighter version. But I, I've decided to go the long route and to add some little enhancements. Oh, that was close. Enhancements with this little stamp instead. Oh, it's fly weather. They love it in here. You think it's... Okay, great, Lorraine. So does anyone need me to sh share the PayPal link again? The GoFundMe link is at the top of the chat. I've pinned it there. So today I'm fundraising for a project called Cycle with Dignity. How did you think up of the idea, Ruth? What? The Cycle with Dignity project. <clears throat> um, I think it was hearing the need. Um, I think Beth and Beatrice, Beth and Beatrice, talking to Beatrice who's the manager, um, about how the girls are um, selling themselves really to for money to be able to buy um, cycle club and knowing how they feel and having spent uh, time out there seeing how it's run and knowing how they got exclusive um, having met people with hip housing um, and all of those risks that come with that. Uh, I think we just felt that something needed to be be done to help them in a way. So um, that's I, I think that was it's as simple as that. Just just knowing the need and wanting to do something. Um, but more than that, it's about education education around menstruation. Um, which is part of the project, going into schools and educating girls about menstrual health, how to manage their periods, um, about what they have to do, and what's happening, and, and not only just educating girls, but educating boys to go down and see their tests and periods, and you know, how they can miss the morning now, um, because they don't feel they can um, take pieces or or have excuses or talk about their bleeding. Um, so I think that's something that we should be looking at, not only for the girls, but for the boys. 
because I think I'm about to get it. Just started from that, really. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, yeah, I'll repeat some of what Ruth said because you're a bit further okay. away from the. That's fine. So Ruth was saying that the project was born out of basically seeing a need that the staff workers out in Kenya uh, identified that there were girls selling themselves in order to get money to pay for sanitary towels. And so there's also an area of need around educate, educating as well and teaching not just the girls but the boys as well what it is so that there isn't a stigma attached to it. So a lot of girls end up missing school because of it. And of course, that has a knock-on effect to their education. What else did you just say? Um, I think I said in the boys as well. Um, yeah. Um, just trying to keep the girls safe, yeah, really, as well. That they also that element of, of them, it's so unsafe to be selling yourself out there um, because of the stigma um, of it. Oh, yeah. Um, transmitted diseases and stuff. So I think um, once the girls get into that sort of area, um, there is the way of adding of them being um, exploited even more comes out because of the capacity. Uh, so. Is that better, guys? Sorry, they're saying that I'm fading as well now. Hold on, let me just check my settings. Hello, hello. Uh, I don't know why my phone mic is being a pain. I'm going to just do it like that. There we go. Can you hear me now? So I'm just, sorry, in terms of this, I'm just masking off some of these flowers just to get a bit of green behind them. I don't think I've ever done this technique before on a stamped wreath, but I just thought I'd try it out because I had the masks ready. Just helps to show the flowers up a bit more. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sorry the sound is a bit intermittent. I, I am determined to buy myself a mic. Because I think a mic would probably help. Okay, so you see how it sort of shows it up a bit better. Um, big blob there, but I'll cover that up, so it's not a problem. Yeah, she's behind me, Lorraine. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what she's saying. Because her, her, she's not right next to my mic. Okay, so a little bit of ink blending there, just to soften that all off. There we go. So now I think we want to add some nice leaves. I'm going to get shaded spruce, which is a lovely bluey green. And this is the leaf from that set, Garden Grandia. So it all kind of like matches in nicely. I'll just keep moving, moving this around for now, I think, and then I'll show you the completed one in a bit because it's a bit easier to have the phone a bit lower down. Hi Jackie, nice to see you. Melissa says they remind you of striped petunias. Yes, they do a little bit.
Actually, I bought some really nice variegated petunias the other day. Didn't realise how many different coloured petunias you could get. Right. You spot where there's one missing, Ruth? Where do you think I need to go? Oh. <laughs> I knew I'd come to some. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I think this one looks a bit lonely. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, perfect, Ruth. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Caroline. Right, there we go. That's that's where it's going at the moment. Right, I think we need some new flowers on here. So let's oh, guys, I've got to show you these immense strawberries. Look, look at these. Or these... are her hands just very small? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. This is a D block. This is look, we speak the international language of stamping up. That's a D block. So that's how big that strawberry is. It's bigger than a what's that? B block. It's bigger than a B block. That's amazing. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look, Ruth. What flowers shall we go for? Are you sure it's all right? Yeah, but we need another flat. We need something a bit smaller than that one. Oh, actually, I haven't stamped these yet. <laughs> I haven't stamped. I think the problem I have is those are too too similar a size. And I... That one. Okay. Ruth says that one. Let me see if this one is slightly smaller. They need to be dipped in chocolate. You know what, Janine, ordinarily I would say, yes, I totally agree with you, but they are so sweet, those strawberries. They come from a special farm. There's some connection with honey, isn't there? Do they yeah. use your bees? We, yeah, we pollinate their strawberry seeds. Oh, that's why. That's why. You've got good bees. Yeah. You need the bees. So Ruth's husband is a beekeeper? Commer yeah, a commercial beekeeper. So he he's in the business of bees. And oh, actually, we we had some great news. We've got uh, there's a, a gentleman that they have a relation. So we're doing a bit of a plug for um, what's the name of that bee company? Black Mountain Honey. Black Mountain Honey. If you guys want to follow his Instagram account, I will pop it in the chat. Uh, this gentleman has very kindly. Um, said he will donate for every unique next year. He's going to donate money to Potter's House. Yeah. So Black Mountain, and he has a YouTube channel as well. So if you're interested in beekeeping, please do go and check him out. He's uh, yeah, very kindly said that he will support the work of Potter's House as his charity for next year. So there we go. Oh, take care, Gina. Lovely to see you. Come back later. There we go. Right. So I'm going to put this one on because it's just a bit different. Oh, I'm going to have to have an armpit break and wash my armpits. I'm getting sweaty now. I'm not sure that they need to know that. I keep it real. <laughs> You can't smell me, can you guys? Does anyone know how you smell? Oh, oh! Now sometimes people don't like to know because uh, they're okay. watching it later. Okay. So no, no tennis information, please. Do you want to look it up? Okay. You, you look it up. 
but we're not allowed because yeah we have people that record it or people who are not up yet they're, they're in bed so yeah we have to be very careful I've yeah I've realized you've got to be very sensitive to people's you know sport information on this channel because if you write it in the chat people then get you know you mention it they go no we didn't want to know Are you happy, Ruth, with the results? Oh, I don't know who you support. I, I don't know even know who's playing. Am I not doing a live tonight? This is the live, Louise. I'm going until midnight. No, I haven't used that one yet. Oh, no, no, no. It's Where is it? No, no, I do want to use that one. That one. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. It's it's just it, what I do is I do a large, medium, then small. Oh, yeah. Ne next time we do this, Ruth will have to come and stamp. Yeah, Louise, this is the live. We've been going since two o'clock this afternoon with help from my family to let me go and have a break occasionally. Although, I, by the sounds of it, my, my other son was like, do I have to do it? I'm like, yeah. Uh, oh, or space there. On there. Okay, so I think I'm going to just step up the colour a little bit. Um, I need to go for a slightly different colour. Oh, I wonder if a Pacific Point would look good. Let's check. Hmm. Okay. I wonder whether to do. Hmm. What do you think, Ruth? No. No. She would say it's no. You probably should tell me. You've been, wow, well, you've been doing it all the time. Your daughter's been doing it. <laughs> I think you know how we talk to each other. Directed. Both people we do it directed. That will, that will lift it, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's the right one, Mark. Do you know why? Why? Because this is um, a bluey tone that's more towards the yellows, and this is a blue tone that's more towards the reds. So you, there's an inside you 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 instinctually are going no, it's the wrong blue, because that is a bluey. Um, this is a got slightly more red tones. It, it was it's you know bordering on the purple, whereas this is going towards green. Okay. However, the problem you... is I don't have. Oh, 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 oh. the purple around the back. That one. Yes, now that's that's got um that's got yellowy tones to it as well. But okay, the person who I'm stamping this for, they know who they are. Can you email me and let me know whether or not you'd be happy to have that in it? Oh, it's not the come up to this back here. It's it's late. It's oh. hey Georgiana, lovely to see you. Uh, I'll keep those. Uh, that's a red. Yeah, it wasn't. No, it's not too late to donate. No, please, we're still going. We've raised over eight hundred pounds. No, is that right? Eight hundred pounds so far. So we're going towards the nine hundred. So that'd be so cool. Hi, Anne. Six o'clock in the morning in New Zealand. Awesome. Right, let's see if I get an email through. Um, oh, awesome. Okay, I think we're at, what's 18, 865 plus 15. 
880. We're at 880, guys. Just had a notification of another donation. Let's see if this has gone up. Oh, why is it too flat? No. Okay. That's 1743. Oh, Oh, was it? I thought it went down. <laughs> I was like, why has it gone down? <sighs> yeah, that, I think that was included in the list. Yeah, it's all included. Okay. Oh, thanks, Georgiana. You're the best. Okay, I'm a bit nervous about putting purple on this. So I, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to have a little, you know. No, no, it's not for you. It's for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> if it was yours, I would, but no, it's not yours. Suggestion. That's terrible. Oh no, no, no it's, it's I, I don't mind. I like it. Oh, I'm impressed with you. Okay, I'm just waiting for an email. Sorry, because, okay, so just to be clear, some people have donated £100, so they get to have a wreath, but, um, and some people have emailed me and told me what they want. The person who this is going to told me what colours they wanted, but purple was not in there. So I'm just double checking to see if they, they're happy with that. So, anyway, you know what I'll do? So I'll keep going with some more foliage for now. Oh, Georgiana. So, um, so I've just put something a bit more delicate in there. It's it's lacking delicacy at the moment. This one. So I'm going to go and get some coastal. Hmm. Actually, could use that one in a minute. Good morning, Miss Anne. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a few little delicate bits and pieces into there because I just need something a bit more delicate. Is there anyone on there between you or Cynthia? Um, might. Be. Yeah, there's a, there's some people who've been and then they've popped off, but they've taken their iPads to the kitchen or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Actually, Judy, Judy, have you been here since the beginning? Yeah. So when I started at two o'clock in the afternoon, for some people it was like six o'clock in the morning in California. So they were up. Yeah, hey, that all got nothing else to do. Wow. Yeah, well, we had uh, Margaret joined us at two o'clock in the morning from Australia because she couldn't sleep. Yeah, but I hope she's gone to bed now because she needs to. She needs to be up for the finale. You know, the end. Do you know what we're going to do at the end? Maybe Tom can sing at the end. You see how that's a little, little bit of delicacy. Yeah. A little bit of pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Georgiana. Still waiting on the email. Yeah, it's not updating immediately, this, oh, um... Okay. No, 
Oh, which? Oh, Georgiana, did you do it by? Um... Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Did you do it to the GoFundMe? Oh, maybe it takes a few minutes for it to show up. It's not showing up just yet. Okay, let's just keep stamping. Just keep stamping. Just keep stamping. Ooh, there's a nice little flower on that one. There's a little flower poking out there. Thank you, Ruth. Make yourself beautiful. There we go. Just trying to find a reader bay. Your live chat seems a bit behind. Oh, weird. Um, refresh, maybe, Janine? So, Janine, are you at home or on the coast? Thank you, Patty. We should start adding a few more greens into this now. I've got a lot of blue green in here. Yeah. I'm going to stop with that now. Start adding a bit more pear pizzazz. So, um, where are those ones to put in? Um, oh, yes. So, Ruth spotted this leaf earlier. So we're going to add, add some of this to the proceedings. It's going to make it. It is. It's going to. It is. It it's is. Make all the difference. It right. is. You have me on three devices. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that would make a difference, Janine. <laughs> Janine's my super fan. Janine followed me to New York. No, she, she lives near New York. So when I actually went to New York a few years ago, I actually met Janine. Oh, and you're coming in here down with your... New, wow, Janine's working on it. Yeah, she'd like to come down. It's New York is far away from New Orleans. Um, the... That one. So please share this video out. We can get more people in this room. It'd be really lovely if we could get to over the 100 later. So I know that um, there are lots of people at work and stuff at the moment. So um, Come on, use the right word, stalker. <laughs> yeah, Janine's my stalker, my favourite stalker. Okay, when you hear me humming, it's I'm thinking, okay? I've run out of words. That goes in that one and I can get me moving that one out. Okay. 
Yeah. You're great. You can come every week. <laughs> I said it's a bit like having a it's sous chef. Strawberries. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. I'll make you tea. You bring strawberries. Oh, I find if I watch on my computer, it's a bit behind than on my phone. Ah, there we go. Oh, who knows? I'm always a bit behind on my phone. I love this little leaf. So delicate, so pretty. So we've hit the fire. Oh, we're over halfway. Oh, no, no, we're not. Yes, it is. We're over halfway now. Gosh, that's gone quick. So I guess when I get to 20,000, I'll have to do a 20 hour live stream. <laughs> Come on, guys, you can help me get there. Help me get to 20,000. So if you like what you're seeing, please do share this out with your friends. I know that I do have some quite some new followers actually over the last few weeks. So welcome, welcome. And if you're not a member of Artful Stamping Space, my Facebook group where you can share all your artful stamping creations, please do click on the description, in the description rather, and head over there. <laughs> lots I know lots of giggles when the closed captioning translates what Ruth is saying yes <laughs> I know it can get very witty I do you know it's not intended <laughs> <laughs> this looks tropical yeah it's going that way isn't it that's got a bit of a tropical feel to it Yeah, feel free to cut and or type out any funny closed captions. You do get the occasional funnies. Wow. Gonna get oh really? Yeah. I've hit the um, nine hundred. Come on, showing on yours, is that? Hey. So where are we at? Thank you, everyone who's donated so far. We've hit nine hundred and nine hundred. Nine hundred! Yay! Well, that's all. It's just on the GoFundMe. PayPal. Oh, um, yes, there was another fifth because I thought we got up to 985 a minute ago. Because there was, have yeah, so there's another 15 there on top, of what? on top of not written on there yet. Oh, yeah, no, you need to add that to that. That's another 15 there. No, different one. So put another 15 there. Yeah. No, no, no. That plus that okay. plus another 15. Right. So. 
then that is 950 times 96 pounds. Woohoo! Yeah, we hadn't added up the PayPal donations, guys, earlier. So that's what we're up to in total so far. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, how many pads is that? So I've just got to do my calculator because my brain is not in maths mode now. £190. Not £190, £190 packs of pads. So in each pack of pads, there's going to be five washable pads. So um, that's what's going to go out to each girl. But our target was <laughs> how many? Ago. No, how many child girls do we say the the whole project we're aiming? About three thousand. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Well, it's, it's endless. Really. It, yes, it is endless. It, it, as, as girls get, what we're what we're aiming to do is to educate girls go into schools to educate girls over eleven years. Um, and then give out at the end of that education period, which will um, be a couple of a, a few sessions, probably about three sessions of going in and educating about mental health, about their body, um, answering questions. And then every girl that is educated will get a pack of six pads um, as, as, if, if it's relevant to them, obviously. Uh, but as the, the new intake comes along with the new classes, that need is still going to be there. So this is this is an ongoing project. Yeah, ongoing project. We're just saying that, you know, we, we're starting off educating the groups of girls that are there now. And then, but then, it you know, we'll see, see where it takes us because we may find another seamstress, you know, if we get someone else sewing. Yeah. Because this is just one lady on it at the moment. We did have a couple at one point, didn't we? And yeah, then... we started with uh, two, briefly had three training. Uh, so it's been a long process to to find the right materials. Um, obviously, they're not readily available um, in in the towns that, that we work. Um, so it was a long process of finding the, the materials, training them how to make the pads properly, because we want to give out good quality pads. Uh, that are made well. So we started with uh, two, and then briefly had three ladies training. But sadly, two of those those ladies couldn't continue for one reason or another. So we we just left with this one lady um, making them, and she's doing an amazing job now. Um, probably making around eighty a week. So eighty pads. So eighty, eighty pads. pads a week are being made by one lady at the moment. But we, we'll keep looking up because the, the work that the Potter's House does with families means that families are constantly being identified who perhaps need to upskill, who need to go to college, who need to go and learn a trade. So we don't know in the next six months there may, may be another person who wants to go and, you know, learn tailoring or learn how to use a sewing machine. So we just don't know. What... Well, we have actually at the moment we have one, one mum um, of a child with disabilities that is training in tailoring um, so she has finished her course um, just after the end of the year I think um, so then she'll be skilled enough to be able to make the pads and work from home while she looks after her child. There we go so I don't know if you can hear that we've got one lady at the moment who's being trained at the moment and by the end of the year she, she may be skilled enough to be doing the pads as well so it'll escalate the process so Bonsoir, Frédéric. Ah, uh, bienvenue. Right. Uh, I love this little tiny, tiny waffly stamp. So I'm just going to stamp some of those around. Ah, uh, merci. Ah, uh, Georgiana, that's so sweet of you. No, it, what we're trying to do is is employ ladies out there um, to make them because it gives them a job. And also by, by buying the materials within the country uh, itself, within Kenya itself, it means that we support the local economy. So it kind of is, it's not really economically viable for, really for them to be made outside of Kenya and sent to Kenya. 
but that's really really sweet of you but i would suggest if you are interested in sewing and making sanitary towels then maybe find a more local project that you can support mm -hmm. uh in your area because i'm sure there are are people who are in need of using them uh but no that's very sweet of you yeah thank you patty yeah so the pattern that has got developed over the last year was it about a year um, yeah it was in it was actually um while we were still locked down wasn't it so oh yeah so ruth spent a lot of time on whatsapp <coughs> to in and throwing drawing pictures doing diagrams on the phone to try and explain to the ladies you know the layering of the different fabrics um what you know what would work better what you know how to go around the corners carefully um so it yeah it's, it was quite a long process wasn't it just to get it right so this one lady who's working for us currently she's really perfected it now hasn't she yeah. so yeah yes i have yeah actually that is something i could just do yeah in a minute Okay, when I finish this one, guys, we'll have a little breather and I will show you some of the photos of um, of what we've been doing. Yes, L yeah, thanks, Lorraine. Um, I think Cindy sent me that information and, yeah, I did pass that on to Ruth. I think you've already looked into that, the Days for Girls organisation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have. I think they, they work out in kind of a half a week. I think we purchased a kit off them, um, uh, which, again, as Ruth just said, uh, we felt that we needed to be able to uh, support local women that we knew needed um, work. So the lady that we had, she had, I think Ruth has already mentioned, she has three children that are living with disabilities. Uh, and so it was really hard for her to go out to work to earn money to, to be able to support her family. Um, and so this gives her an option of working at home while caring for her children. So we, we really wanted to go down that route because um, it, it goes hand in hand with what the Cottage House does, with supporting and strengthening the family unit. But those days for girls are, are very good. We've actually used, uh, there's an organisation called iRise um, as well, and we've actually used their teaching resources um, to teach in the schools. Did you hear that? Okay, guys. Oh, okay, Lorraine. It's all right. I'll 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 just repeat. So Ruth was saying that it was really important to the Potter's House as an organisation that we employed somebody locally to do, to, to make the pads. And uh, she actually did look at that um, organisation. And But we use the uh, materials, the teaching materials from another organisation called iRise uh, to do with the whole um, menstrua menstrual teaching and all that and... and the biology bits and things so uh yeah so the lady who currently makes a lot of the pads she she has three children at home with her living with disabilities so it was really important that we found somebody who wanted to work from home so that they could care for their children but also have meaningful work that also um didn't mean her having to leave her children with another caregiver for a lot of the day because unfortunately the discrimination against people with disabilities is still quite high in Kenya and people can just be downright nasty mm -hmm. um, and it's really hard to find people who are going to treat your children with respect mm -hmm. so um, it was really important that we we employed this lady so that she could be at home with her children oh I'm sorry Shaz can you hear me okay now Yeah, it's because Ruth is behind me and I'm right next to the mic. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of small flowers now. Let's get this one in. Shaz, is that any better? Um, no, they can't hear you. They can hear me when I speak properly. <laughs> but they can't hear you. Uh... Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Okay. 
Okay, so I've had a message that does say go with whatever, but now we've gone so bluey and greeny, I don't feel we can go purpley. <laughs> Miss the you miss the moment, yes. I miss the moment. Uh, oh. Now she's Navy did blue. Navy blue. You thinking Knight of Navy. Okay, so let's go with a bit of blue. Perfect. Do a few little clusters here and there. Very good choice, Ruth. Well done. I'm going very quiet. I'm, I'm concentrating really hard. What the second the stamped off colour? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Put the baby there. Should put that on there. So what I'm looking for now, guy, now for those of you who are interested in how you figure out where to stamp these, is I'm trying not to have every, anything on too much of a parallel. So um, in there. and I'm trying to just close the circle up a bit. Um, I think it might be done actually. Just have a look at that. Get a better view. Right, is there any blank spots? Oh, get you. Okay, now there's one stamp I haven't used today, which is one of my favourites, and I'm not sure whether to bring it in or not. No, I think I'll save it. I've got I've got some more wreaths to stamp. So let's do a final bit of duty. Yes, Ruth's on cleaning duty. Oh, there it is. Look, this hasn't come off the block because I've used it so much today. Be very careful about the little wee one there. Oh, yes, I've got it. Thanks, Caroline. Yep. No worries. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so here goes the dotage. Went for the navy so that it will show up. Which one have you got there? Yeah, that one needs that one. Yes, it has. Thanks, Judy. 
Hi, Anne. Oh, thank you, Wendy. So for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, this is a fundraiser for a project called Cycle with Dignity. And if you want to donate towards it, you can go to the link in the description. No, not description. Yes, there is in the description and it is in the, the top of the chat. So if you find problems with that, there's also a PayPal link if you so wish. And uh, but I, I, the updates for that don't come through as quickly because I have to wait for our treasurer to email me what's happening with that. Okay, now I've done that blue nice of me. Um, can you clean that for me? Um, I've done the blue, but I'm actually going to. I don't always do two colours of dotage. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to do a bit of parakeet, I think. So I just want to lighten this up a bit. So. Right. Now, normally I don't do this, but I just feel that it needed a little bit of lightning. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that ring in there. So this has turned out to be a bit of a wreath stamping marathon, but I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are. Now, some people like to cut up their wreaths. I, I have done that where you can make cards from it. So I will show you briefly a template if you are planning to do that the set uh, the dotted is from quiet meadow shall we oh. i was going to show you a template but i can't find it so i'm not going to show it you I mean, I've got an A4 one, but there we go. That will show you how you can can sort of cut it up if you want to. So that, so the reason why you would do this, for those of you who think, oh my goodness, that's sacrilege, is because by stamping a wreath, you enjoy the process, you get to create something beautiful, but you also have natural areas of white space, which a lot of people do find difficult to find when they're doing stamping. So for example, you've got this beautiful like corner section here, which I think would look lovely on a card. And then if you just had that on a card, you've got a little bit of white up there and there. Here you've got a little section there. Here you've got, you know, you've got all the flowers down here. This one, you've got it in the corner. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. So. There we go. Oh, you sent me you sent me two emails. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Sorry, Caroline. Ah, okay, yep. Um, Ruth, Ruth, I can hear Ruth calculating in the background. We we are. I don't know whether you've got on the big morning. Yeah, I have to wait till um we might just if we had we might just Well you had that have, one before, didn't you? Hit the thousand. We were we were on nine hundred and fifty and ninety six pence. And we've got twenty eight that... pounds to go in, so we're we're on nine hundred and seventy eight pounds ninety six pence. You already had that one, didn't you? Yeah. So it's those yeah. twenty eight. Twenty-two pounds, and you'll hit the, the thousand. thousand. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Wow. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you guys are awesome. Please keep inviting your friends. This is so good. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. See, Ruth hears me come up with these like crazy ideas, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay Ruth <laughs> okay oh hi Janice oh yes virtual hugs all round especially you Janice has got the C okay. it's applied Wednesday and 
took away from me. <laughs> yeah, she's she's got it with her husband. They're cooped up. Oh, right. I think I'm finished this one. So we'll have a little breather while I go and find. I will show you guys. Um, now I have got a little video I could show you. I, I am trying to edit it together actually to make it um, a little bit more interesting. But I'll show you what we have so far. Um, it doesn't have subtitles on it currently, but um, yeah. So we we will we will try and explain it. So where are we? Which one should we do first, Gladys? Yeah. Um. No, I was editing it all together to make one big film. So, oh, right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the work of Potter's House, if you if you if you're already familiar and you need to go for a comfort break, then please do. But I am going to show you, um, just an introductory video of the work that we do. Project or yeah, so this project. was created over a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's um, it's not an up to date in terms of what we do as an organisation, but um, it will just give you a little bit of an introduction if you don't know about the work of the Potter's House CBO. So um, just bear with me a second. I'm just going to. Um, I need to do some Ujimi Watsits with my. Um, Oh, this, this video shows Gladys, actually. Um, oh, this video does show Gladys, yeah. Okay, right, you're going to look at my face for a second, guys, because um, I just need to sort some stuff out on um, my video to show you something. So, window capture. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm going to have to turn my sound up. So hold on, I just need to make sure my sound is down on my video. Bear with. Just make sure nothing else is going to make a noise. Right, so that's off. I accept virtual hugs and give them out as well. Hugs mm -hmm. to everyone. Oh, yeah. There's a few people I know who need virtual hugs right now. A lot of tough stuff going on in the world. So thank you, Janice. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, I've got to switch on. Sorry, I'm nearly there, guys. I've just um, sorted this out for you. Okay, so turn the sound up. I'm going to set, turn the sound on my PC up. I'm going to move my phone closer. So we hopefully will pick up the audio. Mind you, it is subtitled, isn't it, this? So. Okay. Oh, the Swahili is subtitled. I thought and yeah. um, someone... yes yeah we if you don't understand the Kenyan accent we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll fill in that. later <laughs> so let's just show you this video
guys, what we're going to do is I'm just going to um, change the audio. I've just realised I can do that on here. Hold on. When our family is referred to us, we assess all the needs of every family member, be it material, spiritual, or even emotional. Having encountered the portal has been quite a blessing to us as an office uh, because we, we happen to handle various cases, one being abandonment and neglect and you find that some of the main causes of this may be as a result of poverty or sometimes domestic violence. So the quarters coming on board, uh, it means the impactation is on the parents and when the parent is empowered, the child also gets a, a safety zone. That means you are able to save two souls. So we really appreciate God for the quarters and it's, it's, it's really nice working with them. Thank you. Porters, we are in 2018. We are in the city. 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 We have come across families and children living with disabilities. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of stigma attached to disability here in Kenya. As an organization, we help facilitate support groups for those living with or caring for those living with disabilities. I was born in Gladys Nyana. I was born in the mother of my mother. I was born in the Celebra Palsy. I was born in the church. I was born in the church. But I was born in the church. 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 Wengine ambao walikuwa na wafuta watoto wao lakini saa hizi wameweza kuwatokeza. Hiki kundi tunakuwa tukiandanga tuki every Tuesday baada ya wiki mbili. Alafu tukiona kwa hiyo kikundi cha wajifu ninakuwa ni kuwafundisha kuhusu celebre palsy. Ndao wazali wengine watoto wao hawana celebre palsy. Tukiwa kwa hiyo kikundi cha Najitia mwoi sana, najitia mwoi sana kwa kuwa kila mtu wako na shida tafauti tafauti. Sasa kutu kwa hiyo kikundi, nakuwa kiki, yonu mtu mingina kisikia shida ya mingina, anaona yake ni yako dhali. The Product House also runs a support group for parents where we discuss the issues they face and how to parent in a positive way. One of the major issues affecting many families in general is alcohol addiction. The Porter's House runs a support group for those struggling with such addiction. They meet once in a week and we have a professional counselor who comes in to take them through the process of rehabilitation. The greatest need of every individual is to know Jesus Christ personally, which is why our children's Bible club is so important. 
And when we meet with the parents, we take time to share God's word and pray with them. We have seen God touching and transforming lives here in Java. And by His grace, fathers have been able to make a difference to so many. On an internet search, uh, Augustine uh, letter to Proba, so, you'll get it. Uh, and yeah, it, is, la, 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 it is Augustine's uh, commentary. <laughs> Hold on, guys, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I forget that YouTube just carries on playing and brings up whatever. So um, if you if the sound wasn't great on that and you want to see the video in its raw form on YouTube, I've popped the link in the in the chat. So that's there if you'd like to see that later. Um, yeah, sorry for the sound issues. I thought I could get it to play off my computer and then go through my phone. But actually, it was easier just to switch the settings. So sorry about that. Uh, Right, uh, la, 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 la. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Okay. Um, any ideas, guys? Could do a color challenge, could get the color wheel up and see what happens because I do actually have another wreath to stamp. But, um, unless you guys have got an idea of what you'd like to see me do, um. If anyone wants to just take a comfort break until you know what i won't start stamping anything until eight o'clock so we'll have a 10 minute comfort break um uh, blah, 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 blah. i'm trying to think if there's anything else i could show you I've probably got pictures i can show you i'm just trying to remember where i put them um let me download Oh, where are the pictures of the, um, you sent me a whole load of pictures, didn't you, Ruth? Yeah, I'm emailing you. Oh, emailed me. Yeah, you did. Okay. Let me download those. Oh. Yeah, Caroline, I've got your emails. Yeah, I did get them. I don't know whether you're watching behind in time. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, I, I did get it. Thank you. Barb, an autumnal wreath. Yes, I can do that. Birthday cards. Eight by eight prints for a gift bag. Ah, now you meant, I think Ali, um, Ali mentioned that before. Okay, I'll... Bob, I'll save the autumn wreath for later, but yes, I can make some summer themed gift bags, no problem. Yeah, I will do that. I will do my classic kind of how to use a whole sheet of cardstock to make a, a gift bag. And I probably will also demonstrate the no measure technique that Martina really um Sharon asks, "Have I travelled in? Have I travelled to visit this per this ministry in person? Yes, I have, and the founder is right here. <laughs> she's I'm with, going back. and she's how many times have we been over? Five, six. six times. Yeah. So Ruth is in daily contact with the guys who work out there. So uh, we are very hands on. I am also a trustee of the organisation." So it's really close to our hearts, isn't it? And we've the um, the lady who was talking about having the three children. I've met her. I've been to her house. Ruth has met her. Adores her children. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, we very much are very close to this organisation, this whole ministry, everything. So that's why I'm. You know what? I'm I'm very passionate about it, but also because I know firsthand what's going on with it. I feel comfortable in asking people to support the organization. I wouldn't just ask um, to support something that I wouldn't absolutely hold my hand up to and give money to myself. Um, and I know, you know, 
every penny is accounted for. You know, we have a fantastic treasurer who um, is, is very, uh, what's the word I want? Dignified and solid and, you know, he's awesome. So, yeah, totally. Yeah, so if anyone has any questions or if they would like to actually just go to the Potter's House website, I've got it down there, the, the Potter's House, cbo.com there. Uh, if you want to get subscribed to newsletters, go there and just there's a link, I think, to do that. So if you want monthly updates of what's happening. Oh, not monthly, <laughs> quarterly. Sorry, there's there's a monthly prayer diary. So if you're someone who prays and would like to have a prayer diary, then there is a monthly prayer diary that goes out. Uh, and that is one of the things that we do ask for. It's not just about financial support. It's also about prayer support as well. So please do uh, go to the website, thepottershousecbo.com and read up more. Yes, we also have Facebook and Instagram. So if you want to follow, follow on there. There's other projects that we're involved in as well, which maybe we'll we'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, but there's connected with the sort of the disability stuff. Uh, Ruth's been out to do some training, making amazing cardboard chairs, devices, standing aids, um, making, making, inserts for wheelchairs. making inserts for wheelchairs. So you can get hold of the odd wheelchair in Kenya, but they're not always appropriate shapes and sizes for the people who need to use them. So there's this uh, project that's been created to uh, make these devices that will help the children actually get to use use the wheelchairs properly and enable them to go to school for the first time. Um, Sorry, you have to be a prayer warrior. Yeah, Sharon, if you go to our website, sign up for... Um subscribe to our emails and things then you'll automatically get the prayer diary each month okay lovely thank you sharon okay so four more minutes and i'll do the no measure technique ruth i know what uh, since you're here yes we'll get ruth to choose some stamps <laughs> although half of them are out here brace yourself yeah, let's see I'm going to eat a giant strawberry for the next four minutes. That's how long it'll take me to choose. Yeah. I'm going to do something I've never seen. I'm going to get something that I've never seen you doing before. Okay. She's going to choose one that she's never seen me use before. Because I know you like your flowers and you use them. Oh, no. But there comes a point where you have to. Oh, my goodness. These are so tasty. Okay, I'm just going to give you one, and then you have to get the others to accompany it, okay, and make something great with it. Okay, I know what, I'll call out, and I'll get them to call out a number, and you just have to give me the corresponding number. I can't even see any numbers. Mm -mm, no, just count from the top. Oh, okay, right. Right, can we have some numbers, guys? That's, that's the first one. Okay, oh, you can't see it down there. I thought it was... Right. Okay, so... I've never seen this around. One, two, how many is that there? I think it's... Just give me a number. Between one and twenty? A number between one and twenty, guys. They're thinking about it. <laughs> you went for that comfort break, you said. Oh yeah, they've all gone for the comfort break. What's that one? No, right, we're still waiting. Oh, hang on. What's that? Oh, hang on. Let me see that other. Oh, no, a bit behind. Ten, says Valerie. So just count from the top. Okay, hang on. Five, six, seven, Okay. And Wendy says 12, and then someone says 14. That one is 14 because I've missed. Mm. Oh, okay. there, got to be. Yeah, mm. please. It's yeah. Uh, even if you can't be financially, just just sending us your hand to work, spreading what we do, and and praying for us is really much appreciated. It's so important. So I'm sorry you've just had to watch me eat that giant strawberry. Yes. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, what did you have? Let me have a look. Okay, let's get the camera down. So you've chosen. So Ruth chose wildfire, wildlife wonder. 
which is an awesome stamp set, I have to say. She's not seen me use it before, no. but I, although I have. Okay. It can't be like anything else you've done then. We, 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 should we choose some random colours then as well? Yeah. Okay. Eden's Garden. Garden bird houses. Well, maybe I know what we could do. A bear with a, a travelling house on it. It's like a fish inside. It's like a nook inside the hole. Like it's a honey yeah, a hive. Yeah, yeah. Beehive. <laughs> and colour and contour. <laughs> Thanks for the numbers, guys. Yeah, it's just I, I forget that you guys are a few seconds behind us. So um right now I've just got to call up then a um a colour wheel. Uh, what's it called? Wheel of Names. And I need to just go and grab all the colours. So bear with, guys. I oh, know what, let's just put you back up back up here. If you've got any more questions for us while um, I'm just getting the wheel of... Oh, yeah, go see what Tom's up to. <laughs> see if my pizza's ready, Ruth. <laughs> well, just see what's happening. Um, right, I'm just going to get all the colours that Stampin' Up! do. I'm just going to find that document, so that just take me a second, guys. Um, and I capture. Nothing much is happening in your house. And I said, what's happening with the pizza? And then someone said, <laughs> that means they've forgotten about the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so Ruth basically went into the house and went, Is anything happening? And they sprung into action. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay. So that means it'll be burnt pizza, I think. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to have to remove some of these colours because we don't have these. So if anyone hasn't used wheelofnames.com, um, it's quite a fun thing to use. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with my window capture. No, that's not okay. Let's get rid of you a second. Sorry, guys. I don't have, you know, a team of editors and, you know, directors in the background. It's just me, just me with my mouse and my computer. So sorry about this. Not as slick as some of the other YouTubers, but maybe one day, you know, maybe one day. Okay, window capture, add source. I have to say it out loud as well <laughs> so that I know what I'm doing, you know. No, no, not wanting to do that. Okay, fine. Let's add a new source. Whoa, it's, it was in the oven. That's no, don't worry, just stick it in for a second. That's a sec. I can't eat right now. Um, uh, when did I? Ruth, do you want some? No, no, no. I'm okay, thank you. <sighs> we keep you going. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. You're the best, Tom. No, I'm okay, thanks. <sighs> thank you, Bob. You're the best. Okay, here we go. We're in, we're in, we're in. So, Wheel of Names. I've just got to change the last... Ooh, uh, last four... Delete. So we now have parakeet party, orchid oasis, Ooh, no, starry sky, oh, Tahitian tide, and I'm going to put branding on. Be as good as the colour wheel. Um, 
sweet sorbet in there, but you, 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 run, you run the risk of people going, oh, she just chose her thing, thanks. No, I was going to... I don't know, I won't write it down, I'll just pull them out. Coastal Cabana. I love the applause. There we go again. Oh, I've just used that one as well. Oh, well. Six normally. Oh, weird. Okay. Not weird, but unusual. Oh, fresh fruit yet? Not had that today. This is potentially going to be very bizarre. <laughs> oh, at least I've got a brown in there. Yay. Brown granite. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Six, three, four, six, yes. Okay. Very, very strange. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. <sighs> oh my goodness, that's so weird. Orchid Oasis is stuck next to the rock. Okay. Oh, no worries, Heidi Zielinski. Don't worry. You can watch this on the replay. I think Caroline is watching behind time. Can someone put in the message, Caroline, refresh your YouTube because I think she's behind. I'm going to message her now. Um... Refresh, refresh your YouTube. I think you're behind. Refresh your YouTube. I think you're watching. So um, that does happen sometimes uh, where people, sometimes if they've had a lag or something. Um, oh, no, that's not. Okay. So, that, okay. so we think it has gone up, but we're, we're just waiting for it to update. What I should have done is taken a record of what it was up to before... This yeah, round is doing, yeah. Now, now we're thinking about it. Okay. Next time. Yeah, next time. <laughs> okay. Yikes. So, plain piece of card. I'm going to move those over there. Oh, don't need those. Um, So we want the, you want the bear. Well, no, it's just here. I can put the, the chest down. You could have the owl holding his two big old holes. <laughs> <laughs> Up on the branch. Oh, yes. No, but we could. 
we could do something about that. Hmm, okay, what's the green oh, foot branch there? Oh, it might not show up. Um, The owl outside the house is welcome. The owl outside the house. Yeah. Okay. So because this is going to be a bag, I need to take into account the the base. So we could have the owl sort of sitting there. What do you think? Looking in. I think he's looking in that direction. That's a bit weird, isn't it? I think I might go with the bear because it's easier to have him looking in. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with the bear. So also, if you're behind on the chat, what can sometimes happen is you need to move the cursor on a little bit. If you look at the bottom of where you're viewing, um, you need to make sure the little dot is right over on the right hand side. I've just inked up the bear in blue. I suppose it could be a blue bear. You know what? Let's just do it. I've done it now. Okay, I'm still on the potty studio, which is always worth watching, but this is very good. Right, so that's the centre of my right. Sorry, just doing maths in my head. Sorry. Okay, a blue bear. We can have a blue bear. He can be whatever colour he wants to be. And then I think we're going to have some... Oh, we can have branches coming down now. Thank you. That's my tummy. I've got your piece off. I'll do this first. Then I'll... Right. So I think, because often we neglect the tops of bags, don't we? Oh, look, my, um, a bit twisted. There we go. Just get my mats back. Will the bear work with these colours? I don't know, Janine. It's a mystery. We will see. You guys are in for the ride. That's it. It's happening. It's a Picasso bear. Yes. It'll be what it'll be. Do a few leaves up there. There we go. And so we've done, right, so we've done shaded spruce, we've done coaster cabana. Could have some little blue bears, I think they're in there before. Oh, I still got those flowers. Um, I don't know. Oh, I thought you were doing that around the bed. Okay. Bruce spotted the vegetation. Yeah. So what we want is the bear looking at the birdhouse as if it's got some sort of food in it. I, th I think that was the plan. I might do that in dark green actually just to make it show up. Does it not go over the top of the bear? Over the top of the bear? Not no, I just oh. want them to look in. Oh. Sort of like looking into it. I managed to get the smudge on there. That was clever. Uh I'd if Tom can have green clouds, Ruth can have a blue bear. Thank you. Yeah, like the Eric Cole children's books, yes, indeed. 
I'm just going to do more of these because I think they're so cute. I think I'm just going to draw a line for the for it to hang. Use a pencil as my little bit of a guide. I don't know if I'm going to deliberately do it a bit wobbly because if you do it too straight, it can just look a bit weird. There we go. Just hanging off a tree branch. Right, so we have got grey granite and fresh freesia, but what I could do is use a pen again. What have I got? Oh, that was good. So I've got a grey granite pen here. I'm just going to add a bit of colour. Oh, that's quite dark, isn't it? Oh well. We just have to pretend the light source is coming from this direction. Even though the light source on the bear is coming from that direction. Oh well. Oh, let's just do that. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, you'll be fine, Caroline. Keep practicing. Yeah. You can copy to your heart's content to start off with, and then you'll pick it up by osmosis. Is the bear trying to eat out the birdhouse? Yes, yes. Well, we, we imagined it was a little hanging beehive. That that's, that's what we were going for. You know, the hanging beehive look. Have you not heard of that? Yeah, Mindy, the, the bear's just about to knock it down. <laughs> yeah, he wants, you know. I think it would also be cute to have some little birds in the... Um, she has some little bluebirds. Oh, where's that little? Oh, you want that, don't you? Oh, I just thought that looked a bit slim. Oh, oh I picked up the wrong thing. Oh, another bird. Another bird. Yeah, have that out for you then. Uh, also, the. Um, what was that one? In a tree. And it's thinking, I'm not going down there while that that bear is there. That could be a bit dangerous. I'll wait till the bear has gone. Oh, hold on, have I just chosen to use the wrong colour? One, two, three, four. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. No, 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 I'm all right. Okay, so a bit of balmy blue. I think I might go for a bit of balmy blue um, ground cover. Now normally I'd move the mats away but I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to do a bit of a bit of blue soil of course. It's cold. Mm, that's my tummy. Oh go on then. Give me, sh shove a bit of pizza in my mouth. Bear with, sorry, I've got to put pizza in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting, repeat stamping this. I call it ground stamp. Have you got that already? Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, they, they do look like they are like lanterns or birdhouses. So we're going a bit fantasy with this, Caroline. Yeah, Heidi, do you have bears where you are? Well, some of you guys. Do you live in bear regions? Or regions that have bears? Not bear regions. <laughs> that sounds awful. 
<laughs> He's got a bear region. Can't make can't make Ruth laugh. Tell her cough. Oh dear. <laughs> There we go. A few little bits of vegetation. I don't believe you've made it look so good. Mm. Thank you, I'm doing good. <laughs> Stay off there, how much creative talent you have. Oh, because I've spent hours and hours <laughs> wasting time <laughs> practicing. <laughs> um, right, I think I'm going to get a pool party pen. Oh, I'll have another bite. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, we're full of water. I'll probably do two bites of water. Yeah. It just looked a bit naked, this um, little thing. So I'm just putting some pool party on it now. Sorry, I'm talking with food in my mouth. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a bit better. Right, so I've got some more grey granite to go. Also have various other stamp sets. So we could use that one of the dottage from that. Could even use some more of this foliage. So these stamp sets were called out by number for those of you who are just joining Ruth chose the wildlife wonder stamp set for me and then we just had some random numbers being called out oh Judy has friend has bears as well oh. wow so uh, generally does one just stay away from bears unless they're domesticated somehow So this is grey granite going on guys, this is just a little bit of dottage, just a, I don't know, it's like a bit of pollen or something. And then maybe we'll have some on the ground as well. But stamped in a slightly different way to sort of make it maybe look a little bit different from the one in the air, but not quite. It's dirty snow. There we go, that's what it is. Dirty snow. Um, oh, right, hold on, what have we got here? We've got orange to go. Woo hoo! Goodness. Okay, should we be brave? Let's do some orange leaves. Maybe not blue bears, but lots of black and brown. Oh. Well, I don't any small, but oh, take care, Caroline. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. I'm I'm being fed, fortunately. Someone's feet. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. I forgot to tell our own treasurer Ruth that I'm doing fundraiser. <laughs> Well, he probably keeps getting pinged. <laughs> I better, um, I'll send him the link. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've just had a message from our treasurer going, someone's having a fundraiser. Oh shoot, I sent it to the wrong group, Ruth. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'll just apologise. <laughs> I've just I just WhatsApped our church group. <laughs> Yeah. 
Um, oh, that's a new one. Okay, so add that. Okay, sorry guys, we're just having a bit of an update. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I sent... Oh, that's a problem having WhatsApp. I just sent... No, it's not bad, it's good. Mm -hmm. And then that one. Um, that one, I think we got that one already. Oh, oh. Oh, well. It's all good, guys. Sorry, I'm just munching on my pizza and trying to send messages to various people. Okay, I'm going to keep stamping. I'll let Ruth do the tallying. Sorry, it all went a little bit crazy then, guys. <laughs> Sending messages to wrong groups. Anyway, if you're just joining me, I'm wondering why Ruth is um, behaving so frantically. It's because I've been live since two o'clock this afternoon. I've got four hours to go on this 10 hour live stream in aid of the Potter's House CBO and its project called Cycle with Dignity. So this fundraiser money will be ring fenced and used specifically for the Cycle with Dignity project. Right, that's the orange gone on. Now, how on earth am I going to fit Fresh Fusion into this? I need my help. Mm -hmm. Well, what stamp sets have we? We've got those ones. Unless I colour the birds in. Oh no, I don't have fresh regional pen. Oh, I do have a blender pen though. Right. See, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I haven't got a fresh regional pen, but I'm going to use. Better to see a bear than actually encounter one. Ah, okay. Woohoo! Right, Ruth has just given me an update. One thousand and fifty pounds. One thousand and fifty pounds, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. Let's keep it going. I'm going to start drawing more squares. You know, just in case. Because we've got four hours to go yet. So, there's a few more pennies I'm sure could come our way. So what are you doing with this one now? I'm getting a little bit of ink on the blender pen. I'm just going to colour my little wee, little wee birdies. This is a very dry pen. A little... I'm trying to think where else to put a fresh freezer this colour here. Oh, I could do a bit of that. I guess I could put a little bit on the bear. Things were going very abstract with the bear colours. Oh. I think that's great. I know anything about that. Mm. Right, I know what. Let's just. 
brush some colour on. I don't know, it's like a snowy day in the, by the, oh no, hold on, a bear's up north or south, north. You can get polar bear. Yeah, so this could be a polar bear underneath the northern lights, possibly. although there's probably not many branches up there. No. 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 He's brought in some fake branches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's whatever you want it to be, guys. I'll just put a few northern they, lights they, up there. Oh, they could be polar bears. Uh, no, pandas, couldn't they? Or do you get other bears in China? Oh, it could be. Yeah. Someone will correct me, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. And I apologise to all of you. Out there, all right. I'm half Chinese, we can say, you know. I still can't offend the rest of the Chinese population. <laughs> <laughs> offend you, perhaps. <laughs> How much now, says Lorraine? Oh, I, well, we're definitely up past the 1,050, but we're just... Um, yeah, it take, yeah. takes a, a few minutes for it to kind of update. Like, it goes, it goes up and down. Oh, hold on, hold on. More's been made. But we, yeah, it takes a bit of time for it to show up. So sorry, we can't give you an immediate update. Oh, I know what. If I sign in, I might be able to get it all straight away. It's not showing. Yeah, it just takes a bit of time for it to update. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Sorry, guys. We'll we'll, we'll update you when it. We are past a thousand, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so to make this bag then, we're going to do the, I call this the Martina technique because she was the one that showed it to me. So you decide how big you want your gusset, although I, I think I'm going to actually decide how big I want my, no, no, we're going to decide how big we want our gusset. Okay, so you fold your cardstock over, give it a little bit of a burnish. So I'm afraid that bear's just going to have to be sniffing around the corner. Okay, so you turn it around so that you've got your section there, and then you bring that one. If that's the right way to do it. Oh no, well done. I forgot. <clears throat> I've got to have a bit to stick. Martina, if you're watching, help. Right, sorry. So you've got to have a bit to stick first of all. Forgot about that. So that's the first bit you actually fold. Then you fold your gusset. And then what you do is you fold the other piece of paper up to meet the gusset. I think. I could be all wrong. It's been a little while since we've done it. And then you move, move that one to do there. And then you, you open that bit up and then you fold that to meet that. Oh, 
Oh, Martina told me this one. Uh, the link is actually in the, the top chat. But I can... Oh, hold on. I'll, I will reshare it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, that's correct. Phew. Another bite. Yeah, in a second. Uh, uh, so then also you need to fold up your bottom section. So your bottom section needs to be um, a little bit smaller than your gusset size. So the way to figure it out is to actually just gently fold that up a little bit. And then if you want to make a mark, you can make a mark if you want. Uh, so your gusset needs to, sorry, the bottom, the base needs to be a little bit smaller than that. So fold that there. Right, then you get your scissors, because you do not need this section here, so you cut that off, and fold that up, cut up to the fold line, and that one too. Right, we're not going to punch holes in this one, this is going to be like one that you just put a peg at the top, because... We don't want to hide the, um, the lovely stamping. Now, which glue are we trying to do? Here we reach the corner. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it. Um, I've just got to check. Uh, sorry, this is an A4 piece of paper, Judy, but if you're in the States and just want to use your. Eight and a half by eleven. You can do that because the beauty of a no measure bag is you can do it with whatever size piece of paper you have. That's the beauty of it. So that's why I deliberately have not said any measurements because I know I have people from all over the world watching, and you guys have all different type, different size pieces of paper. So, so I'm just going to let that glue take. And that open, fold that in, and then decide which bit is your prettiest bit. And pop that bit of glue. Oops. There. And then just sort of make sure it's square, really. Sometimes you just need to wiggle it a little bit just to make sure it's square. Although I didn't actually cut off that section there, so I know that that's that's square. Okay, so yeah, our bear's still sniffing the, mm -hmm. just about, just about, there we go. And then if you want to just pop the, the middle section in a little bit, you can do. Oh, it's not very well, well done. Oh, 65 people watching. Fantastic. Thank you for the likes, guys, the thumbs ups. That's awesome. I don't have a peg to hand, but there we go. I'll use my fingers. So there we go. Colour challenge, bag challenge complete. Woohoo! Right. Done feeding the cats and some chores. Back to watch again. Hi, Gina. We've just made this very random bag using the Wildlife Wonder stamp set. It's under there. Thank you, Ruth. Wildlife Wonder colour and contour just the dots I'm afraid didn't do much of the florals Eden's garden for a little bit of the leaves leaves in there uh, yes um, and then that's a branch from garden bird houses with some of the little birds in the well they're sort of hiding in the trees and then the birdhouse that the, the bear is very interested in very interested so there we go and that's how to do a no measure bag okay i have done them before so um i think i have a playlist to do with packaging like boxes and bags and things so there we go 
Right. Um, right. Uh, la, 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 eight, nearly 840. Um, I'm going to find out if um, any of my children want to come on and do something. And we're going to do a bit of a total. Let's see if we've got an update on, on that. Uh, no, that's no. Oh, what was it? Uh, that's just that's a new one. Five pounds there. Oh, that's a new one. Okay, so there we go. So, right, we've had another thirty pounds. I think. Oh, you hadn't added that. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Okay, so we're just doing a better calculator. <coughs> Wow, one thousand and eighty pounds, guys. Thank you. Call our little section. Honestly, this is more than I ever imagined. Because, like, I was just thinking, is six hundred too much to ask for? But you guys have been so kind. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to go and see if my kids uh, are ready to come and do something um i'm trying to think what um actually you sent me the powerpoint didn't you we could run through the powerpoint that you sent yeah. me let me just call that up so um i need i'm forgetting how to view things now was it in that no, it's in the next one down here. Okay. Uh, there. Oh, hold on, how do I open it? I think I did download it actually. Oh, there it is. Okay, guys, I'm just going to um, open up a PowerPoint that I'm going to show you. Um, slideshow. Um, sorry. Microsoft. Microsoft keep asking me to pay up, you know money every year so i can use their programs and i keep saying no so right now how do i get this to show oh is it present the two at the top there you've got slideshow oh yes yeah. i know what let me share um, Yeah, oh, play from the beginning. All right, guys, we're going to show you this just a slideshow. It's a lot of reading, I'm afraid. Um, we haven't got any no, we haven't got any fancy dancey music over the top of it yet. Um, or yeah, I'm trying to edit it so that we have some video. But um, I'll show you this for now. I'm also going to take a comfort break and also see if any of my children want to um, want to come and do some stamping. Uh, yes, I will do some timestamps um, for the beginning of each of the projects so that if you want to go back and watch it, you can do. And let me just share with you now another screen. Yeah, please, if you've got any questions about the organisation, 
Um, now's the time to ask because we've got Ruth here and uh, out of both of us, she's got the answers. I've got some answers, but no, we've got more answers than I do. <laughs> You're having problems hearing. Oh, I'm sorry, Gina. It might be because I was mumbling. I'm sorry. I will try and speak more clearly. Okay, so let's do, see if this will do a present. Do you know how many seconds you've got on each one of these? Mm. It's probably as many as the standard. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. If you read through it and press forward, then we've read through it. And then Hi everyone. Um, so it's me on the technology here, so we might have a bit of a glitch as Ruth goes to find the child. But um, you're looking at now is is the screen. Uh, that's where the Potter's House CBO is based in Joro, Kenya. It's about four hours away from Nairobi when you land in Niro Nairobi. That's our vision uh, for children to be raised in responsible, self-sufficient, loving families within a strong community where everyone has the opportunity to live a life in Jesus Christ, free from discrimination and poverty. That's our project that you're supporting today and that Ruth is raising money for. Um, so these pads will go to girls that cannot afford uh, pads um, and that are school girls. Um, it will provide education. We will we have a member of staff that is going into schools with a resource. Uh, to teach about menstruation and, and uh, menstrual health and hygiene. So here's just a few facts. <clears throat> the reason why this project is so needed and why these girls need these sanitary pads, it's approximately, it's estimated about 50% of school age girls in Kenya don't have access to menstrual, uh, menstrual product, products. One in ten girls will miss school because of that. Um, school and girls that we know, um, and we've the team out there have spoke to and heard firsthand are using dirty rags uh, or even sharing used pads. Uh, and some of the girls uh, go to the extent of trading sex for these products. So that's the impact that we hope the project will have. I'm going to hand this back to Ruth now because I don't <laughs> like technology. Let me move. <laughs> You're doing fine. Oops, right. There we go, guys. Oh, did it not flick forward? Oh. No, it's just one person saying it. Did you guys see the script? Did you guys see the changing screens? Oh, okay. It's just it's Valerie just had a problem. Okay, yeah, it might be that your fr your screen froze, Valerie, <laughs> just on the Potter's side. <laughs> yeah, we showed a screen sh uh, slideshow. Okay, right. So uh, we've got Tom now. So I are you going to sit in the garden? He disappeared. Oh. Tom. Apparently Tom has got some songs for you guys, so I think what I can do is actually take the phone out to the garden. 
I think my Bluetooth will go that far. Oh, it didn't move at all. You only heard Ruth's voice. That's really weird. How bizarre. Um. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh, that's so weird. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, well, if that's all you saw. Why doesn't it move? Oh, uh, because I was sharing the wrong thing. Right, that was my fault, guys. I was sharing the wrong section. <laughs> oh. No, it was me. It was my fault. Oh, you could, you did hear Ruth's voice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's good. That was the best bit. That worked. <laughs> oh, right. Add source. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. Um... Right, I'll see if this works now. Oh no, that's the wrong one I'm looking at. <sighs> Sorry, click, click, click. I'm trying to get there, guys. It's been a long day. It has. I'll start again. Let me just figure out where it is. That would be helpful. Right, so it's on Explore. No, it's not on Explorer. Is it on Explorer? Yes, it is on Explorer. Okay, window capture. Add source. You guys are very patient. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're getting there. There we go. It didn't move. Oh, oh, thank you, Cindy. You're the best. Thank you. Okay, so did it go through on PayPal? Oh, no, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, so this is just, um, I'm just going to quickly run this through. I'm waiting for Tom to come and sing some songs for you guys. And um, so this is just some of the information about about the project and, and also Potter's House. So we work in a town called Joro, and um, apparently the N is silent. So, so sometimes I say Njoro. I think I say Mm. It's like an internal mm. Mm Joro. There we go. And it's about approximately three hours from Nairobi, mm. depending how good the traffic is, really. So, um, so the vision for the Potter's House organisation is for children to be raised in responsible, self-sufficient, loving families within a strong community where everyone has the opportunity to live a life in Christ free from discrimination and poverty. So that's our, our kind of vision statement. But this particular project is called Cycle with Dignity. And the project is to provide reusable cloth sanitary pads to girls uh, in the area um, to provide education and also jobs for local women. 
So the problem is that 50% of school-aged girls in Kenya do not have access to menstrual products. One in 10 girls in Africa miss school because they don't have access to the products and they end up using dirty rags or shared used pads and often girls will trade sex for the products. So the impact will be that uh, there'll be more dignity for the girls, that hopefully eventually it will prevent abuse and exploitation. It will improve personal hygiene, health and well-being. It will educate young people. There'll be a higher school in attendance. There'll be income generation for those who are actually making them. And that there'll be reduced plastic waste and provide an alternative to single use pads. And of course, if you want to support the work, you can partner with us. If you've got any business, if there are businesses that would like to, is it mainly to donate? Or any way that they can actually help us and support this project that we've been doing? Okay. So anyway, yeah, we're open to options and offers mm -hmm. for partnership. But um, businesses um, donate a percentage of, of what they sell, make sure it's in a profit um, for your day project or if you have a, a business actually that um, is involved with this this area um, would link nicely with it. Um, yeah, so we really would love if there was an, an, a, a business that perhaps did the similar thing that could partner with us. Uh, and of course, you can go go and donate. So there we go. Sorry, guys. Um, thank you for <laughs> thank you for bearing with us with the technology. Um, how long, much longer are we going to be live for? Another three hours. Yeah, another three hours. Just see how hot my phone is getting. No, it's not too bad. Okay, it's not too bad. So uh, Tom is going to come and do something in a minute. I don't know where he's disappeared to. Um, I think he was working on trying to get May to come and help me do something. But um, what I'll do is I'll, um, I've got four more minutes to whatever's going to happen. And I will just tidy my desk a little bit for the autumnal wreath that was mentioned earlier so i'm quite happy to do an autumnal wreath in a second so just tidy up so barb you mentioned an autumnal wreath have you got any colors shall we just go for um go for traditionals um, oh i can hear tom with the guitar Okay, um, yeah, yeah. It went for some kind of thing. Um, if anyone has any quick questions about the jar. Okay, um, so if you have any questions for Ruth, please ask now. As I said, she is very familiar with the day to day operations of the organisation. So if you have any questions, yeah, do ask. And, um, and yes, thank you for everyone that's donated so far um, and supported Ruth and, and those that have uh, wanted to sign up for the. Uh, newsletters and prayer letters just go to the website um, you can do that there um, but thank you for all of your support I know this isn't the only time that we've supported this project or coffers so thank you for everyone that's been supporting um, for many months even years um, with Ruth doing this really appreciate it so if you didn't hear that Ruth just said a thank you to everybody who has supported this organization going back um, and it's really appreciated so thank you so much. Ruth's going to be going in a minute. Tom, are you coming in here to do that? Or are you going to stand? Sorry to move back. I need to walk out. Because you, you need to be near the phone. Oh, dual colours. Okay, Barb. Right. Can I ask Tom? You've got two minutes. I've said that you'll come on at nine. So, but anyway, oh, this, so is Tom, this is Tom. This is Tom, the entertainer. I'm not saying he's on because I can't find a lot of my stuff. But uh, have you got a pen? Have I got, got a pen? pen? Yeah, I just need to write some chords down. Yep. I can't remember only what I found. Uh, let me just ask Ruth. Uh, someone's asked, uh, is the school in Kenya a public school? So it's a federal school, isn't it? Into several schools in, 
with actually children that have been traumatized by abuse or, or any other um, thing. And so we're, we're very much uh, linked with the native core. So this is a number of things before we roll that to um, admin. Uh, I see at the moment there's quite a yes, that's a, a public school. Um, and, but there are many schools that we are involved in as youth and support our children and people with Okay, I don't know if you heard that. Mm -hmm. All of them are all of them are public schools, yes. Yeah, they're all public schools. But there's several schools in the area that we're trying to connect with. So some of the head teachers have been really supportive of of what we're doing because they, they understand the problem because parents will come and talk to them about it. So there we go. Um Ah, okay, Lorraine. Yes. Um, thank you. Hi, Sally. Yeah, she was saying that the, there's little to no areas to dispose of. Yeah, yeah. Not, not only that, the, the plastic ones are expensive. Um, and although the government do say that they supply schools with these these pads uh, it's it's very little it's not it's not meeting the need or the amount of materials that are needed um, and it doesn't happen very often so so using the um, one single use pads is, is not an option for these groups just at the cost of life so this package plan is going to give each group six pads so they'll be able to reuse these and, and wrap them uh, and hopefully they'll last for, for many months what fabric is used for the making of them? Okay, so there's a there's a number of different fabrics that we've we've tested to make sure that they're uh, well that they're suitable. Uh, so there's an outer fabric which um, is like a I don't know what you'd call like a flannel cotton or a fluff cotton. Yeah. Um, and then there's a fleece inside which is more absorbent, and there's uh, the well actually there's three materials inside. So there's the fleece. Uh, then there's a what they use for like a track suit, it's it's got like a waterproof layer on the outside, which feels soft and it's got a fleece kind of inside. And then there is a waterproof uh, layer, a thin waterproof layer uh, inside as well. Lots of trying and testing. A, a lot of trying and testing, a lot of uh, YouTube um, kind of researching, a lot of researching on different um, organisations. Uh, someone mentioned an organisation which um, goes to build and just looking at what other people do in, in similar countries uh, and what we can research. Mainly we're, we're governed by the materials we can get hold of. It's a rural area, so getting hold of materials can be difficult, um, but also making sure that what we do give is suitable and, and meets the need. Okay. Oh, I... I'll explain again, Shelley. So basically, they have to rely on fabrics that they can actually get hold of. So I saw Lorraine mentioned about PUL. We'd love to be able to get PUL out there, but we just have to go with what's available. And so it's the cottons, it's a tracksuit-like material um, and some you know, wadding-type fleecy for the absorbency. So, yeah. It, it because as I as I said earlier, it's about trying to use um, materials that we can get out there. So it's supporting the Kenyan economy, but also employing people out there as well. So um, we have a very sort of specific way of working, and and that's and it's worked. So it's all good. Oh, I know. Sorry. Yeah, Ru <laughs> Ruth. I had the camera under my nose. <laughs> yeah, Ruth's um, voice isn't carrying well. She's just getting over an illness, so um, her voice isn't very clear at the moment. Right, are you? I'm are you oh, yes. Rita, off, well, right. Go on, give, yeah. a, give a wave then. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Tom is going to do some performing now. So I'm going to have to hold the mic for you. Um, unless we switch to the um, desktop Gee, audio. Oh, yeah, of course. This can be his mic. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There we are. How are we? How are we? It's not. How's everyone doing tonight? No, it's that one. There. 
Ah, okay. So just watch that. Watch that one? Yeah. I watched Start up. You got to talk into it. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm just uh, warming myself up mentally for what's about to occur. You can pull the door shut if you like, Ruth. <laughs> so, this is a bit unexpected. Uh, but uh, there we are. So, uh, so I'm just uh, giving Ruth a little bit of a break. So, uh, if you guys need uh, a little break, uh, this might be the time. Hello, Lorraine. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to do... I'm just going to do some uh, poems that I've written. Am I taking requests? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. I've actually just got some stuff here uh, that's uh, all self-written. Uh, and um, what's I going to say? Yeah, so I'm going to try and remember a couple of poems from memory. Uh, they're all kids' poems. And that was the building, not me. And um, a couple of songs I've written, a couple of uh, humorous love songs. And yes, right, Cindy. Thank you. Yes. Hands are swooning. Um, I feel like swooning, actually. But um, uh, so we're going to give it a try. So anyway, um, what have I got here? I've just found some bits that I've printed off. So here's a really silly. Here's a silly kid song. Okay, let's see if I can remember. It's very short. Very silly. Can you hear that? Picking up on the mic. Uh, this can be our first test song, so if, you, if it's too quiet, uh, then uh, let me know. My body is a factory for sounds of every kind. Some come from the front, but the best come from behind. I practice very hard till I can do them really well. My favourites are the ones that are accompanied by a smell. There you go, that's the first one. Okay, do they get better? Let's hope so. Uh, so here's, here's a little poem, just a little poem. Uh, <laughs> is, so you tell me where tell me what my mind was when I wrote these things. Here we go, it's called uh, Pirates. I love playing pirates just like any boy. Digging for treasure is what I enjoy. That's why, eventually, my finger goes into my ear or right up my nose. Okay, so those are the two silly ones out of the way. Uh, how about... Um, how about... I'll tell you what, let's, let's do a song. Now, I haven't played this song in a long time. So um, this is a, a silly, uh, well, no, it's a romantic song. It's a romantic song with a twist. So uh, see what you think. And let's uh, forgive me if I get the chord wrong and play these in a long time. Well, let's just tune the guitar just to make sure it is okay. amongst yourselves. Well, it wasn't cheap. Here we go. <coughs> Here we go, warming up the voice. Let's see how well we do this. I'm sitting by the table is set for two I've lit all of the candles Now I'm waiting just for you I want you to know me To you my heart is an open book
Please don't look in my fridge You'll walk away Of that I am sure If you see all the food Covered in dark green fur Now we're sitting at the table My heart's crying out got to tell her. While it's cool that you get me, it's not so cool if you get salmonella. So I said, please don't look in my fridge. Baby, baby, please don't look in my fridge. You'll see graphically how bacteria grows And you might pass out if you don't hold your nose And then she gets up from the table And for a moment I think she's going to leave She walks over to the fridge, opens the door, looks inside, and for a moment, I think she's going to heave. But instead, she just stands there, staring. Her intentions still unclear. Then she turns to me, and she smiles. And she says the words I've always wanted to hear. Your fridge is just like my fridge. It's funny, but your fridge is just like my fridge. I've also got hairy beef stew and cheese that really should not be blue her fridge is just like my fridge i can't believe her fridge is just like my fridge then we toasted with lemonade i bought last year it's cloudy now but it used to be clear Her fridge is just like my fridge Sing it at home Her fridge is just like my fridge So I'll share my life My possessions, my wealth Knowing she'll never call Environmental health Because a fridge is just like my fridge. Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah. May's just joined us uh, from the sidelines. You're going to be making something tonight, May? I think you are. I think you are. Uh, well, there you go. So that's another song. So uh hope the sound's doing okay. Just going to. Uh, we've got two more poems, and then uh, and then one more song, if I can remember it. Sing along. It's an anthemic song, isn't it? Her fridge is just like my fridge. And when I performed it, uh, some of you will know we go to a, a, a Christian family conference every summer. I performed it there, and uh, before singing the chorus for the last time, I got everybody clapping their hands in the air, singing the uh, chorus, and it was a very special moment, wasn't it, May? Lovely. Yeah, it was lovely. Thank you, mate. Good answer. Okay, so here's uh, here's another poem called uh, Journey to the Centre of My Belly Button. There was a team of scientists who wanted to explore places that were hard to reach where none had gone before. They soon heard whispers of a spot ideal for explanations, exploration. Turned out my belly button was their offbeat destination. They drank a, drink, a shrinking potion so they'd all be small enough, 
and took some tiny chainsaws too to cut through all the fluff. Once deep inside, they found a world beyond imagination, filled with fearsome dinosaurs and luscious vegetation. Dinosaurs, that's what I said. My body is their home. Within my belly button is the land T-Rexes roam. This actually provides a very sensible explanation why sometimes a ferocious sound erupts from my location. That noise was not a trump or pump, a dinosaur was yelling, though I've yet to find a reason why the room might then start smelling. I know I shouldn't feed these ancient creatures, but I must. So in go bits of chicken, drops of soup or old bread crust. And if the urges come to clean my button, I resist them. I do not want to mess with such a precious ecosystem. As for that team of scientists, their dedication shows. They're planning now a journey to the land between my toes. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Okay, so, uh, so I've got one more poem and then a song that I'll be singing from memory. So let's hope that goes okay. There's another... Another love poem, special love poem. A long time ago, on a floor far away, a beautiful romance began. When an old piece of cheese and a mouldy bread crust fell in love while inside a dustpan. Oh, old piece of cheese, said the mouldy bread crust, with a smile on his fur-covered face. You're, you are such a sight, and your smell's a delight. When you're near me, my heart starts to race. Oh, bread crust, the cheese said, I've yearned for true love, and at best I have only found traces. But my search is done, for I've now found the one who repulses in all the right places. Then let us be wed, the bread crust exclaimed, and the old piece of cheese cried, Today! And so this odd pair found a life they could share, and a love that would never decay. Lovely. Thank you, May. Thank you. One in a million. One in a million. I, I don't know if I can do one in a million. Uh, it's remembering the chords. Uh, so there's a song May's referring to, another love song. Um, let's think. Um, how does the tune go? Uh, let's try and think. Oh, yeah. Here it is. One in a million Yes, you're Hold on Yes, you're one in a million Okay, this might work Okay, we'll give this a try Then we'll do the one I know better You're one in a million Yes, you're one in a million So this is a love song to Ruth You're funny Caring your sweet, oh, caring your sweet. Ah, there we go. You're funny. You're caring your sweet. Uh, now hold on a minute. Now I'm getting it wrong. Oh wait, yeah. Here we go. Okay, let's start again. One more try. One more try. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> you're one in a million. Yes, you're one in. Someone like you Then again I suppose that's not strictly true Met a lot of people with the same taste in music and same taste in fashion Just the other day I was talking to a friend Who's a statistician Baby you're one in ten thousand Statistically one in ten thousand you're funny, you're caring, you're sweet But I googled it and it turns out that's not that unique There are lots of people just as caring and just as nice A lot of the jokes you've told me I've heard before Many of them twice So baby you're one in a hundred More realistically one in a hundred Give or take a few uh. Baby, stop 
stop crying So you actually are one in a million. There we go. Okay, there we go. So let's stop the pause at the end. But uh, there we are. One in a million. My kid's favourite song that I've written. Um, but uh, we're going to try now. That's what I'm going to try now. So this is the latest one. So that one I, I wrote quite a few years ago. But this is the most recent one I saw wrote, which is probably still a couple of years ago. So I had a thing about... Um, I was thinking about Medusa, you know, the Gorgon, mythical daughter of two, eight, a, a, an ancient god and goddess. And so she was um, uh, she was born with snakes for hair. And if you looked at her face, uh, you turned to stone. So I was thinking about Medusa and uh, I was just thinking about how difficult it would have been for her to hold down a long term relationship. So um, so I wrote this song. So all you've got to do is imagine right at the start of the song. So I'm singing as Medusa and she's just picked up, just picked up the phone. Okay, now I've got the words, so let's see how it goes. Just looking at the chair. All to do is muscle memory. so great because it's hard to love me but I think that you might suit and I have to admit that bone through your neck sounds kind of cute I'd almost given up but I think I've found the one just though it's hard to love me for you I think it could be fun it's hard to love me, and I thought I was no good. But after talking to you, I realized I was just misunderstood. You're proving to me something I thought. 
thought was mythical that it's hard to love me but it's not impossible Just about made it. Uh, good, good, good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I haven't got anything else, I'm afraid. I don't think. Yes, well, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, it's great fun writing and uh, writing songs. I haven't got anything else uh, that I can remember. I can't find anything else I can print off. The what? What? Which one? I can't remember that. If monkeys get to do it. Yeah. Well, I'll tr shall I t t tell you what, shall I try and find a few more bits and pieces and come back later so you can have another break before uh, before midnight? Um, yeah. Uh, I've got one little song, I think. I don't use my... Um, so, something like this. Um, here we go. This will be the last one, very short one. Underneath my fingernails, in between my toes, behind my ears. Way up in my nose All sorts of ickiness All sorts of slime So many flavours So little time There we go, I didn't get the tune right But there we go, got the words right, I think almost But uh, hope you enjoyed that, everybody uh, And uh, I think Ruth will be back uh, Any moment now, she just Finishing the last piece of pizza. No, I'm chocolate on chocolate. Oh, she's on chocolate. Oh, you know, you've hit, uh, hit the uh, evening time here. The final stretch when she gets the chocolate. Actually, I think I might get a bit of chocolate. So, um, so would you, shall I find, see what I can find on the laptop? Yeah, have you done the um, ballad of the lunchbox? No, no, I'm trying to find the word. But, uh, she should put it on Google Drive. I have been looking on Google Drive earlier today. But I'll tell you what, I'll go and have a look and hopefully be back later. So goodbye, everyone. Enjoy, uh, yeah, CD collection, good idea. Um, on, uh, on eBay. So uh, I'm going to go. I'll leave you to it. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. He just nearly made a hole in my ceiling with his guitar. No, I said nearly. That's so funny. He just went boom. Oh, we bought chocolates. Cadbury's. Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to have a chocolate. You as well? Bedtime for you, Mrs. That is Friday. It's Friday. Oh, yeah, it is only Friday. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I was saying it feels like we've had two weekends. Should we tell them about the wedding? Should we tell them about the food? I ate a lot. Move over a bit because you won't be picked up. Ow. Mm. I can't speak. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Jenny. Mm. You need the soundtrack. <laughs> mm. So, what's interesting about this Artful Stamping community, there's been sweets crossing the world. We've got German sweets. Have we? Oh, yeah. Lots of oh, we did have some from Martina. So I've had Tim Tams from Australia. Monica sent me fudge. Oh, your mum wouldn't share the Tim Tams. Yeah. 
I wouldn't share the Tim Tams. Not the, the last lot. Um, yeah. Strawberries and chocolate. I know there's one strawberry left. Signature truffle. I'm going to have the signature truffle it's and then I'll have enough apple. energy to make... What's the signature truffle? No idea. Let's try it together. <coughs> Ready? Wait, wait, wait. What, all in one? Yeah. No, right. not all right. in one. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> oh, Janine got some cherry ripe. Oh, I think I did too. Mm. Yeah. So... If you're not part of the Artful Stamping community, go over to Facebook. Join us over there. So I did say that we've got the possibility of perhaps setting up a Zoom. If anyone wants to come and say a five-minute hello. So I will put a link in the chat for people to come and join. Um, now, the only thing is, you need to promise me that when we're on there, you need to mute whatever device you're watching YouTube on because otherwise it just does not work. So um, let me see if I can get that set up. Hi, Vicky. It hitchhiked home from Canada. Oh, you want to make something? Am I? Unless we leave the wreath stamping for a little while, we can let May do something for half an hour. Maybe. There's a kit. Where's it gone? Where's the other one? Right, well, you can either use the one that Luke used, or there is another one. There's that one. Have a look, see what you think. Oh no. That was the one Luke used. Huh? Look at that kit. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to use that one? Yeah? There's no stamping involved, it's just sort of sticking. Yeah. What? What do you mean, ooh? You've got nice sequins. Let's just show the desk and then people can see what you're looking at. Ooh, is that a good Oh dear, is that a funny angle for you? <laughs> Hello. No, I'm not there yet. Hold on. Oh, wait. Okay, so the kit we're looking at is this one here. Back from walking the dog and Tommy's gone, but there's chocolate. Oh, Heidi, you're going to have to rewind later. Mm -hmm. He's going to come back later with some poems, though. So, right. May, do you want to start unpacking that and I'll try and sort out a Zoom and then maybe if people want to come in on the Zoom. We've got sequins. Wow. Yeah, we've got <laughs> sequins. So, um, yeah, so if you're going to join the Zoom, maybe you can co you can do a commentary on May. But, yeah. um, but you have to switch off. Um, hmm. Sleep. Yeah, you do have to switch off. Um... Oh no, hold on, what am I doing? You have to switch off any devices that you're you're watching me on, basically. The lock and the lock right. the lock and Einstein. You, need, you need some German lessons, <laughs> May. <laughs> Oh dear. Felicitations. <laughs> je pense à toi. Oh. Donc, yeah. je vois. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce just read it. The, just read the French ones. Uh, merci. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. I've got like a thing that I want to use forever. 
half year. So May is using a kit called. Have you got the instructions? Yep. Yeah, we are Oh, here they are. Petal Notes Card Kit, May. Oh, oh no, that's the wrong. <laughs> There's Kit Descartes um, Note Fleur. Okay, so if anyone wants to come in and join the Zoom, um, do. I've popped the link in the chat. If you have a problem and you need me to directly message you the connection, then um, please message me on Facebook or um, I'm not going to join with my audio. But I will share the screen of what May's doing so that you guys can see Hello. what's happening. What do you use? Those are glue dots. Okay. So what you do is Wait, you peel. you peel that you peel that off, then you put it on something, and then you peel the top off. And oh, it's, I didn't and it's, want you to peel the top off. I and it's sticky. Thing. Yeah. Oh, it's like a smaller one of the hexagon things. Okay, so if anyone wants to join the Zoom, um, I am in there now, on my own. Or you can message me on Facebook if you need the details. So please let me know. May is going to make this card. Wait, how much money have you raised? How much money have we raised? Over a thousand pounds so far. <gasps> yeah, it's pretty cool. That's so cool. May, that's like gleaming around everywhere. Mm. Gleaming. Ugh, in my eyes. Yeah, that's a bit too shiny. Let's pop that away for a second. Oh, okay. okay, so are you going to copy what the kit suggests or are you going to make it up as you go along? Make it up. Okay, so which card base would you like? Mm. That one or that one? That one or that one? That one or that one? That one. I'm going to move my drink before it goes everywhere. That way. Okay. Do you want to use one of these crazy flowers? Look, this peels off. Not yet, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I need the workings. Right. Now, I'm feeling very black one. Black one sh. I'm feeling very black one sh. <laughs> I'm feeling very much like this is a good option. You, I don't know what it says, but probably um congratulations. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm not thinking of it. Je felicite bleh. I don't know. Je pense à toi. I'm in that one. Oh. Je felicite bleh. I don't, I see, I never did German at school, so. But I, I just like this one. Is there anyone German in the chat? Yeah, there are some Germans in the chat. Maybe we could get them onto Zoom. Hint, hint. Oh, Janice is there. Okay. Are we doing good job? So, what I'm going to try and do is share the Zoom um, with... Now, you don't need to see me. Um, 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 um. Hold on, I've just got to... Let me just make sure that no other videos are playing right now. Everything's on silent. <clears throat> I'm trying to pee. 
here like this. this Why are they giving me little ones? I just want them. Hello. What have we got here? What have we got? Okay, so hi Zoomers. Um, I haven't switched you on yet. Best of luck, please. Hey, you're live, guys. So can you just switch off if you're watching, uh, switch off any um, devices that you're watching us on? Hi, Janice. Hi, Jody. Hi, is that Pam? Hi, Pam. Hello. So I'm going to try, by the magic of television, see if I can get you guys up. So that they can see you watching May in the corner. Let's see if I can make this work. So, dis put this display one here cap no window capture. This is the one that. What well, I don't know what that says or that says or that. Says. Does anyone speak German on the Zoom? Yeah, they say. Got the list. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do. Um, can I just put down there? You can do it everywhere you want. But that's why I have to read something. Now, how do I get rid of these? How do you do these? Um, right, go on, go under there. How do I do these? To peel that off. Peel it. Yeah, it's all sticky underneath. Look. <laughs> right, let's see if I can get this. And right, source. Let's see if we get under here. You're going to do what? I'm to put this stuff under here. Okay. Do that. I'm going to go there. Okay, ladies, I'm going to put you um, into the live. So wave at everybody now. They can see you on YouTube. There we go. <laughs> Hello. There we go. So um, everyone on the live, we have Janice at the top, then Jodie in the middle, and Pamela. And we've got Elaine joining us as well. Hi, Elaine. You're live on YouTube. Hello. So you're watching, so everyone's watching you, watching May, so you can give your opinions and tell May what to do. Oh. Uh, is it in the chat? Best think, of wishes. Oh, best of wishes, Barb says. Lieb Gruss is loving greetings. And Dank is thank you. I only need that one. No, you don't need that. Hi Janine. Hi Janine. Hi Ben. Say that quote. 
Oh, when do you think? Right, ladies, just a reminder: you are live on YouTube. So when when do you saying hi? <laughs> We're all friends <laughs> with how many people? 66 other people watching. <laughs> hey. All your pals, yes, it. What do you think? I can't see the Yeah, I might because I'm using my camera for the device, uh, for. for yeah, for, for broadcasting, it, Zoom won't let me use the camera twice. <laughs> they are. Right, you're going to stick that down? Do you want some dimensionals or something for that? Maybe. Um, do you want to do some sequins? Mm. No, let's. Um... Are you ladies Um, I can briefly, I can briefly show you. Nice to see you, Pamela. Well, sometimes it's fun just to drop it and see what happens, and then just stick it wherever it falls. Really, does that make sense? It's one of the kits. Right. Yes, everyone can hear you, Cindy. Hello. You're on YouTube, Cindy. Right, so what you do is you pop the mm. So these, these little sticky She's got the nails for this. Ah, look at these monsters. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, go on. You start picking them off. So it's just been like the tip down of the reindeer, so I'm going to just lay off. Oh, lovely to see you, Jodie. Lovely to see you too. Bye. Bye, take care. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, leave us a gift for you. Mum did them. So if anyone wants to join the Zoom, um, they can do. I'm just um. All right, that's ready for you. Yeah, if you switch. Flip it over so the sink to have the sequins doing that. Oh, so, this is when we get to see the interiors of my uh, followers' houses. <laughs> Cindy's staring at her shelves, Janine's gone to let the dog out. This is, this is what people do when they watch me, you see. Yeah, quite right. Right, now we can this in. That's going to go there, isn't it? Um, just there. There we go. Oh, oh no, it's come off on my finger. Um, oh, let's let's go for another one. Okay. Right. Can you sit that down, please? 
So for those of you just joining who don't know what the heck is going on, uh, we've been live since two o'clock this afternoon, so we're nearly at nearly an hour number eight. We've got ten oh. more minutes to go, and uh, May is just making a card at the moment Hello. with a kit. So you're going to use that, Mom, and I'm going to be stamping an autumnal wreath. I might need to do another one as well. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. Doesn't Why not? Look. It looks pretty. It doesn't look right. Maybe tuck a little flower under there. Okay. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. You want to do some on the edges? Okay. What colour is that mint macaron? Is it not? Um, what colour do you want? The pink. The pink. Oh, oh, hold on. Check the chat. Um, what did Barb say? Was like best oh, wishes. best, best of luck wishes. Be this professional. I saw Luke doing this earlier. Oh, she got the idea from Luke. No, I didn't get it from Luke. But it just doesn't look right. I argued it with Luke. We have no tomatoes. Tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. Woo, 63 people. Hello, six, oh, 62. <laughs> I thought Pam. I think Pamela thought she'd um, because she muted her um, or she got rid of her camera. She thought that she'd muted as well. Because I kept looking up, thinking no one's lips are moving. How's that happening? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no! Go on, go for, go closer, Elaine. Oh, there she is. Oh no no, it's right the right way up oh, for no. us. That's gorgeous. Hi, I'm sorry Pamela, you. I unmuted I muted you. You'll have to unmute yourself. Right, you done mate? Don't you don't like that one. What about sticking a flower? Can like... I stick one over? Why don't you put that in the middle? Yeah. I don't like the empty space. You don't like the empty space? Well why don't you get the middle bit? Yeah. Oh you've used it. She doesn't like the empty space, she says. It looks a bit on you. She's gonna she's gonna fill it with another Got to turn it around the way. We heard all about your tomatoes. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
Take care, Pam. Bye -bye. Nice to see you. Yes, May is left-handed. I can I can help you leave if it's too tricky. I'll do it. Oh, oh she's done it. Yay. Yeah, she did it. Left-handed. Yes, May is left-handed. She does a lot of things right-handed, though. She can play the guitar right-handed. She crochets right-handed. That's lovely. I love the little blush. Like a little bit of blusher. This feels a bit like blobbed. No, it looks lovely. It's not blobbed. You've got a focal point. No, it just looks like more blue chips everywhere. Ah. I need another little one on this side. Oh, another. Maze keep, she keeps adding. Look, she's like her mother. Got to put more on. Put more on. Sequins, says Bob. Sequins. What did you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's balanced it out a bit more. No, 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 no. No, because you've got the leaf coming down. Unless you do another leaf coming down. Yeah, but then it just looks like you've got a row of sequins across there. Yeah, okay. Ambidextrous. Do you know what that means, May? You can do stuff with both hands. That's right. Thank you, Gina. You can't hear anyone in the Zoom? Mindy, you're in the wrong Zoom. You need to go to the one that I've set the link. <laughs> May, my uncle always said that God only made a few good people and he made them left-handed to show who they were. <laughs> yes. Ah, smart. I think there's only one other person in the, our family. Ha <laughs> Yep. Ta-da! Oh, Mindy says, lovely technique, May. It took me a year to remember to start off the page when blending. Yeah. That is like a line here. Let's move that over a bit. There we go. There's like a line here. Where's Andrea back? Hey, hi, Andrea. Welcome. Hello, Andrea. Nice to see you. No. Yes, yes. Nice to see people put faces to to names. Mm -hmm. Right, so for those who don't know, Janice is Jazzle Dazzle Cross. Mm -hmm. Elaine, do you have a YouTube different YouTube handle? That's it. That's it. And Andrea, do you have a different handle as well on YouTube? Or are you just Andrea? You just Andrea. I know. Andrea and YouTube. Fabulous. Boom. Okay, have you finished now, May? No, I need one more. Oh, you need more sequins. Oh, more is more, see? More is more. More is always more. <laughs> yep. There. Okay, ta da! All done. Very pretty. Right now, which envelope are you going to use for it? Oh, they're the same. They are the same. <laughs> Oh, uh, I got two pearl bases, so I got two of them. Oh, okay. Alright, then. Oh, but they're different inside. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, so one's got triangles on it and one's got stripes. Oh, very nice. That is a very cute kit. It's a good one if you want to just take it on holiday because you don't. it hasn't got any stamps with it, has it? So, and you don't need... No. And you don't need ink. It's just really cute. I mean, May's obviously added the extra ink with the blending brushes, but... Yeah. Still Perfect. Who said that? Oh. 
No, she's done. May, May says that it looks messy, but I think it looks lovely. It looks messy. Yeah, some things are meant to look just blobbed. It's fine. May, May says if she does, it just looks blobbed. And I'll I don't like it very much. Because I like it, but then I don't have to give it to somebody. Okay, whoever's listening to me on YouTube, can you please turn your sound down? <laughs> or put earphones in if you need to listen still. Because I'll, I'll get a reverb back from Zoom. Yeah, or echoes. Right, so mate, I need another piece of I need a piece of twelve by twelve. Oh I turn them down a little bit. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I've had to turn them off completely because um someone's still oh there we go. Uh, why why am I hearing myself back? Um. Uh. What are we doing now? Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why I can keep hearing myself back again. So I've had to switch off the Zoomers for a sec. Oh, oh, oh. Echo, I know. Okay, Zoomers, can you talk now? Cause, uh, just so that to check the levels, the sound levels. <laughs> Okay, I've turned you up a little bit more now. Okay, so yeah, please don't have me on on YouTube because it creates a massive reverb, back, a circular reverb, which um, is not nice uh, to listen to. Uh, yeah, it goes, it just echoes back around. Right, uh, 12 by 12, please. We're going to do a wreath stamping now. Um, we're going to do an autumnal one, May, but we want dual colours. So, dual colours. So, do you want dual, dual light, so like rich dual light colours. Um, maybe a golden yellow. So, I'm going to mute Janice just for a sec. There we go. Yellow's red. Can you choose some flowers for me? Oh, we could put some little okay. mushrooms in there. Oh, I can't move it. Yeah. Sorry, Janice, I had to meet you. Um, right, so let's see if I can find... Go for some crushed curry, pumpkin, um, mango. Can you choose some of that? I've already used that one today. Um... I like this one. I like this one. Which one? Oh, yes. I'll use that one. Yay. Okay, Janine. So, we're going for those colours so far. Acorns. Yes, acorns are so cute. And also, little. we can make these into little toadstools. <gasps> So mm -hmm. I want little toadstools. Oh, I'm just going to mute Janine while she gets food for her dog. Right. I don't know if it all looks like. <gasps> right, we need some greens. Um, we have crumb cake. <gasps> Yummy. Maybe? Mad and green. A little bit of starry sky. Yeah. Yeah. Evergreen. Do we need some reds? What reds? Yeah. 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 
the toadstool. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, now we need a big flower. Oh, big one. Can you push the door shut for the bugs to come in? Uh, oh, sunflowers. We'll start with sunflowers. Uh, sunflowers. Oh, should we go purply and red? What do you think? Or oh, Mary Malone? That's an idea. Well, some sunflowers are like reddish colour, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. Where? What? Red sunflowers. Have you not seen red sunflowers? No. They're yellow. They're orange yellow. Right, hello everybody, welcome, welcome. There may be some of you who've just arrived, so I'm just going to say hello. Um, it's Ruth here at Artful Stamping. That's the first time I've said that today, actually. And it's me, May. And May. And May. Yes, so, um, yes, I've got Rich, I've got Rich Raspberry here as well. Gorgeous fruit. Yeah. And we go back. So, let's do, do some of these. Right. So, can we do one of the one sheet wonders after? Yeah, could do. Now, why do you want the book? Do you want some bookmarks? Yeah. Oh, I may want some more bookmarks. Well, Dad makes the bookmarks only you can have. You want to make your own? Okay. Okay, now this is quite a big, 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 big stamp. So, can you clean that off now? I won't use any more of that. What I will do though is use some of the, the smaller, smaller flower. Yes, thank you, May. Don't leave the May. Charity May. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, Andrea. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Yeah. That was Pam talking. You heard Pam talking about her tomatoes earlier, guys. Lovely. But no. Oh, May doesn't like tomatoes. Yeah. Only in Bosnia. Yeah, she likes cooked tomatoes. But... Okay, so we sort of got our wreath going on there. Can we give that one a wipe? Why is that one purple? Well, it's Mary Malow, which is sort of like a purpley red. So, right, I think we should stamp or colour the centres red. Whoa, what am I sitting on? What are we sitting on? Right, can you move? Good job. Uh, put this by the door. Right, so hi Kay from New Zealand, welcome. Hello, Kay. Hello. Morning. So basically in the top right hand corner, if you're wondering who all those ladies are who are watching me, they're all reacting, so um that's what they're all doing there. Look shocked. Look shocked. Look shocked and impressed. Should we get them to do emoji faces? Do you want to put your hands down so you can do <gasps> What? What could possibly happen? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job. Who was that? Who did the good job? Janet. Janet. Yeah. Oh, I can't really good at it. You can't really put a good shot at them. <laughs> Right, so we're just putting on a little bit of red. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, not yet. Mushrooms are sort of the last. Right, I think we should do some orangey leaves now. Oh, Mum, I 
Katie and my hair is really cool. Oh, Katie says hi, May, and hi, Ruth. Hello, Katie. Hello, Jenny. Um, right, now this is a little brush that a friend gave me for my birthday. And it's really quite fun because, oh, I know what, I could get you to do this, May, while I do some other stuff. Finally, from yellow. So, so just sort of do little circles round and around and around. Tiny it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's like a little, little, teeny, little, teeny little baby one. brush. Yeah. So if you go that side, I'll try and move these ink pads over somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, I'm just cushioned in there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable in my chair. Um, right, so, while you're doing that, I'll add some leaves. Can I do the big ones? Yeah, but try not to go out the lines too much, though. Oops. Oh, yeah, see what you're doing with this, Jake. Uh, this is Bob's. Sorry, Bob. Right, so this is Evening Evergreen that I'm using now on this. So let's get some Evening Evergreen leaves. Are those like sunflower leaves or something? Kind of. I'm not too sure. Well, on a larger scale they are. This, these are small sunflower leaves really. They do get quite massive. Mm -hmm. I looked up like the largest um, sunflowers. Yeah. And they're like huge, like five inches, but bigger. How? What's the tallest sunflower? In the, what was the tallest sunflower in the world? Well, uh, uh, I, well, the number I remember is fifty-one feet, but I don't know. Fifty-one feet. Like they're just super tall. Like they're just like whoa. That's ridiculous. If that's right, then yeah. But uh, that's the number I remember. <laughs> so. Something about oh. that. Maybe it was fifteen. <laughs> wow. But anyway, they were huge. Right, let's let's turn that around so that you don't stretch across the page. There we go. Okay, so I use that big leaf. I'm now going to use um so if you're wondering why mine are separated, it's because I've cut them. So I find them a bit easier to use when they are separated. So oh, I did wow. I did stamp surgery. Oh, oh does Janine not have this one? Yeah. Janine, yes, get it ordered. It's a really pretty one. They're very good, Chaos Woman. Thank you, May. I presume that was a compliment. <laughs> maybe. 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 Maybe not. Nah. Then again, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, Leafly is also very good too. <laughs> I'll save mine. So 77! You mean, wait, we know Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like boiling. Oh yeah, it's just gonna get really hot at the end next month, Mum. Is it? Yeah, it's gonna go to like twenty five, which is boiling. Where did you read that? Weather. On the weather website, BBC. Okay, right. That's my green leaves gone in. So I think I might need you to go around and colour. Yeah. Oh, careful. This is Barb's. You've got to be... I just blend it in a bit. Mm. That was intentional, everybody. Mm -hmm. Intentional outlines. Mm. Out, yeah, outside lines. Mm. Not sure about Very that. Very intentional. Not sure can about that. Can we just do it? I think you're telling porkies. Can we just do it? Right, I think oh, I'm going to have to use this one, this one for leaves. 
just like little tiny little baby brushes yeah so i i was i was gifted these brushes i've got no idea where you get them i'm afraid right may can i trust you with doing the leaves now no you have to do them all yourself now oh too bad i guess i'm not in the chat where's mm -hmm. this tomorrow oh wouldn't be camping without rain that is true Gotta have a bit of rain when you're camping. Cools the air down, actually, doesn't it? Sometimes it can get so hot in those tents. I'm just gonna away from me. Is she not gonna help me do this? This would actually be really helpful to use on stencils or masks. So, oh, Heidi says you can get these on Amazon. Um, keeps the bugs in hiding, rain does. It's true. Not bugs. Welcome to May's Reaction Channel. <laughs> Janine has <laughs> never been camping. <gasps> what? Never to never say never, Janine. Well, she hasn't. Never too she old. She never has. But yeah, no, we're just telling her that she could. You could, yeah, 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 you should go camping. Or you could go glamping. Yeah, yeah go glamping. glamping. Who needs easier. camping? Go glamping. Yeah. We do glamping. Yeah, sort we of. cheat. We take a slow cooker. We really cheat. We have electric. Yeah, we have slow cookers and we have the portable stove things. Yeah. And we waste mar marshmallows in our portable stoves. Oh, thunder. Thunder, lightning. Oh, it's lightning. Oh, yeah, it's a full moon. Okay, so what colour are we going to do? Oh, the thing is, this is a pomegranate. What colour is a pomegranate blossom? I'm going to have to Google this. Because I've got to get it right. I think it's white. I think it's white. Uh... Pomegranate. Oh, my granite look pretty. I like the way they look. Blossom. But I don't like the way they taste. You don't like pomegranate? No. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's red. Oh. When I said white, oh, oh that's gorgeous. When I said white, I said Oh, oh that's man. lovely. Oh, it's this like gorgeous orangey colour, guys, with sort of a yellow centre. Oh. Now, the only problem is that bit, the stamen bit, oh, they've got it all on the same stamp. What am I going to do? Yeah, I think you have to paint. Oh. I'll do it. So, we could ink up. Oh no, that's going to be. What we could do is ink up most of it with the. Should we go for pumpkin pie? Uh, Mango Melody. Mango um, Melody. And then get the. Get the. That. Oh no, it's all from like. Putting the options in the wrong thing. Melody. The Melody. The Melody. The mango, melody. Like the uh, actual name of the things in them. The the cucumbers. The cucumbers. No, the cucumbers. Cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Right. Can you see what I'm doing? Look. I'm adding the green. Can it be red? Oh no! The, I did it in mango melody. It looks very very yellow. Oh, so should I put some of that on it on the edges? Or do you think it was more of a calypso colour? Ooh, Lorraine needs to teach camping things. May, what colour do you think that is? Orange red. So she'll put Poppy Parade? Yeah. Oh, 
Ollie and to give some professional insight. Mum, do you count as a professional? Me? Yeah. Um, professional what I do. Because Mum and I can say, yeah, yeah, my mum's a professional. And I won't ever say what, you, what you're a professional. No. I have to say you're a professional. <gasps> Sounds very impressive. I'm a professional blagger. A what? <laughs> a professional blagger. Pretty, 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 okay. pretty. I think I can explain that one. That's pretty. I wonder if I can get second generation one. What do you want about? Uh, you can use it to hide your footprint. <laughs> right, so then I ink that up there. Right, May, can you ink up the stamen in the green and then do the top in the red? Right, I'm going to let May get on with that. Oh, that does look cute. The the Very cute. Yeah. You're resisting what? Yes, the hum. The hum. No, don't hum. I'll have to start paying, ro paying royalties. No. I think you need to add songs, babe. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, which one do I use? The oh, red one. Oh, this one. Oh, No one of is no after that one isn't it one of a thousand. I know, I'm one in a hundred. Right, can you do the green again, please? That's why I didn't write this one. Yeah. So we need to get the Why Can't I Stay Free. Well, he's, got, he's gone off to find more poems for later. I only mind by his eyes. Oh, I can use my tea bag to find more poems. Shh, yeah. don't give it away. Is it making me excited? No? No, don't give it away, May. Oh, fry an egg on a stone, Janice did. I like, the one in the green one is when you run the tea. Is that? Yeah, it's because when you don't have to write an aversive is done. Or what? I'm playing. See you, see you, um, Trini from Zoom. Right, have you done that bit yet? Have you done the red yet? No. Come on, I'm waiting for it to do another, I need another few flowers. Oh, she put a red bit on the green. Oh my God. I don't know what you're doing. Concentrate. <laughs> you found a snake in your tent bag, peg bag. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Snake pet bag. Why can I? Snakes are okay. They're not bad. But bugs. Ooh. Nasty. Blah. Slugs are the worst. Me and Mum both agree slugs are terrible. Yep. What is the point of a slug, eh? No one has ever been able to tell me. Right, much as I love this stamp, um, it's, it's very tricky to work with it, so I'm going to move on and carry on doing some of this fern in crushed curry. May, can you wash, clean that stamp off? And where's the other pomegranate? Oh, here it is. I want this flower instead. 
Oh, I might use some of these leaves because they're very nice. Oh, s'mores, yes. Who doesn't love a s'more? Mm. Don't you like a s'more? Oh, May doesn't like s'mores. What? Get out. Did you hear that? There's nothing special about a s'more. Rude. Because the chocolate makes it too sweet. The chocolate Which makes it too sweet. I don't like mixed chocolate with marshmallows. Makes it way too sweet. Fair enough. Right. Oh, I don't think I've got any space for anything else. Right, clean that one off. I need to look things. Yeah, I need to do little things now. So let's move, move to the Mango Melody. And pop some of these here and there. Oh this. no, is that my battery gone? <gasps> oh dear. My phone mic is still working. Hello. I don't know how my phone mic is still working. Oh. Okay, bear with. I've just got to. Um... I... Yeah. I don't know how my phone mic is still working Hello. when my battery's gone. Um, that is so weird. Uh, that is so weird. Oh, yeah, you can still hear us. What the fuck just isn't my phone mic? I don't know. After all this time, have I been using the wrong thing? Oh, I don't know. Oh, and I'm not even plugged in with the right charger. Crackers. No, we can't get graham crackers in the UK, Janine. Nope. Right, so, um, bear with. Technical difficulties. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm just charging my phone because silly me I unplugged it didn't I when Ruth was here um, yeah so we're gonna have a little break in the proceedings yes yeah I don't know how you guys can still hear me because Yeah, that is the weirdest thing. I don't know how it can still hear her, hear me. Hello. Maybe all this time I thought that I was. Um... Oh yeah, we're using a camera on the computer to show you the camera on the computer. Very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I. Yeah. Uh. Man, I, there's so much I still have to learn. I have to say, yeah, my phone is charging. Um, I don't know if Luke. Can you go and see if Luke's phone is available to be used? So, so this just proves to me that I haven't been using the right thing this whole time. It's so weird. Oh well, right. Anyway, let's talk to the people on the Zoom. <laughs> um, 
let me go and um, I know just yeah I will I will um, I'm just gonna see if I can that's it I know what let's get you there and me there there we go they can see you on the zoom okay I know the sound the sound sounds fine that means that all this time I thought I was using my phone mic I am not using my phone mic. It's something else. Um, hi Sharon. I am on the Facebook Live. No, you're not. You're on YouTube. If you're if you're commenting, you're on YouTube. Oh, is it charged up? Oh, brilliant. Right, Luke's phone is charged. So um What's it called? I what's the name of this app? No, 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 no. The one I need for this. IP webcam. No, it's alright, it's a certain thing. Start server. Okay. All all will be fine. Luke's What's machine what's she creating? Wow, well done, Cindy. Well, I don't know. Right, one six. Nope. I will buy them up when we come over. I'll bring you Cadbury's. Ireland when she would go visit her family. I love that. <laughs> Pretty entertainment right now? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should sing a tune. Oh, is there people got the short straw? <laughs> short straw, you're not kidding. I have to go make myself presentable to go out. Oh, can you hear the Zoomers now? Because I've, I've put on the desktop audio. Well, I guess we better talk so they can tell if they can hear us. Hello, people. Oh, hello. They were talking about s'mores and graham crackers and things. How are you going to smuggle them back, Janice, to Scotland? Will you be able to get through customs with them if you buy them? Oh, yeah. I won't buy that many. <laughs> I don't know if they give you a problem just trying to take things in and out. 
No, you can't be allowed to bring anything here. That's all the bread packaged. If it's um, if it's packaged, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Okay, um, I'm going to switch over now to uh, my desk. Because we have fixed that now. Lindy can't hear us, but Lorraine can. Okay, someone's got me on in the background. Zuma, somebody? No. No. I'm casing one of Monica's cards. Oh, nice. I've got YouTube muted, so I can't hear Ruth except on Zoom. No, not here. Not guilty. That's weird. Does it stop now? Mm, no. That is so weird. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just carry on stamping. Yeah, keep on uh, I feel I feel like I've got like the soft case. See, not us. Oh, did Luke put the casing back on? Oh, sorry. Hold on. I've got oh, to take I've just got to take the back off this. Yay! I had my day in the spotlight. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the limelight. <laughs> when you and Lorraine were the center, the bells of the ball. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to take the backing off this phone. Lorraine is saying you can buy gluten-free graham crackers, Janice. Yeah, gluten. Gluten's yeah. not my issue. It's carbs. <laughs> carbs, yeah. Right. Sorry. That's better. Wasn't very clear. So have you ordered the sunflower stamp set, Janine? No, ma'am, I'll do it this weekend, I promise. Because I, I want to make a congratulatory card. My daughter just got a new job, so that would oh, be perfect. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. She loves them. Actually, the minute I saw that stamp set, I had to have it. I, I, I kept looking at it and looking at it, and I said, but I have an older, um, you know, I've, okay. got, I've got older pretty much any incarnation of what they have now. Because okay. I have so much still. So I said, oh, they're so similar, but the only difference is, is this is the individual flower head in two sizes, and the ones I have don't have that. Yeah. Wait, so. stop eating chocolate. Well, maybe I'll just send her a bouquet of oh. sunflowers instead for her first well, day. We can send her the bouquet and a card. And a card for her first day. So good luck. Yeah. Send this her a sunflower day. seed packet. In her apartment, I don't think it would go so well. <laughs> well, she could put them in a pot. I think she has no outdoor space, though, Cindy, you know? She'd have to grow them in her living room, and her apartment is so tiny as it is. <laughs> then she'll feel like she's in a garden. Yeah? <laughs> yep. She'll say to me, have you lost your mind? That's what she'll say to me. I did, but other people found it. Yes. They just haven't returned it. No, they have not. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> Lost in the mail. Not in the mail. Apparently. Oh, Mine has a lot of space. Both my kids have very small apartments. Right, so I'm just going to ink this flower up, just that one on its own, to see if it will make a nice <laughs> I love this wreath. That is pretty. It's gorgeous. Nope. Not I don't know if Ruth can hear us. I guess she can. I can, I can. Yeah, I'm just concentrating. It's, it's beautiful. That flower for the um, pomegranate is beautiful. It's lovely. It's just, I, I get frustrated when you have to stamp the green and the colour at the same time. Oh, it's one stamp? Yeah. Mm. That, that... I haven't been sold on the pomegranate yet. Mm -mm. I, I haven't, and I haven't um, put an order that big through yet, but my son grows pomegranates in his garden. He's got three trees, I think. Wow. Well, he's in Australia, right? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, Scotland's not warm enough. My grandfather had a pomegranate tree, so we'd get them in the fall. 
I love a pomegranate. Mm -mm. Right, I think we need Maybe when Kid's mum would give you a pin so that you could pick out the... Yeah. Oh, Mindy, she is, if you can hear me. Oh, I should just stand to you on here. Of course it's Friday, isn't it? Right, so I want to put some more flowers in here or something. I want to add the purple. <gasps> Maybe we could go for some purpley leaves. No framed for you? It should be in alphabetical order. <laughs> no, you're just doing the same. Oh, okay, that's I'll one. see you guys later. I have to run a quick errand before my daughter in law shows up. She's going to help me make appetizers for my event tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, okay Cindy. Yeah. Lovely to see you. Okay. I'm just going to mute because I need to. Oh, sorry. I'm just getting some chocolate. Right. Yes, we want some like some of these. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, hazel and caramel. That is really nice. Right. Um. Hmm. Can you boot that up? All right, girls. I have to go. I have to go cut my husband's hair. I got to go too. So, see you guys later. Bye. Go ahead, laugh at me, Janice. I saw that. Go ahead. Take care, Lane. Well, it depends on the day. <laughs> and he doesn't have that much, so it'll be quick. Okay. Oh. I'll see you later. Bye. See you. Okay, Pam, enjoy your tea. Right, I want to fit this in somewhere because I love this stamp so much. But I don't want to go over the flower too much. Bye, Kay. Ooh, five pounds. Oh, Karen, that's so kind of you. I don't. I thought I'd switched off monetization for this. Bless you. It's so kind of you. Um, I thought I'd, I obviously didn't properly switch it off. Yeah, so this, because this is a charity fundraiser, I was, um, I was asking people to, um, oh no, she's just dropped all the chocolates on the floor. No, don't eat them all. Um, so I'm trying to figure out. Oh, well, my son's got his notifications on on here. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way of me switching off, switching it off. Oh, I've got to eat that strawberry yet. Yeah. Mm, not right now. But it's very delicious. It is very delicious. And the rest of you are Don't eat it. Mm. Ooh. That's all pretty. Crocheting, Andrea. Ooh. Are you crocheting? I can see your hands moving in a um, repetitive motion. I'm so just <laughs> either crocheting or knitting. Yeah, I'm just um, passing the time while I'm resting. And um, so I've ripped out a, a jumper that was half knitted, a sweater that was half knitted. And I'm making a big storage basket. I will, Karen. Thank you. Sorry, I, 
Okay, so on my settings, I, I switched off monetization from this video, so I'm not being monetized. But I thought that meant that I wouldn't, no one could super chat me when I should have, I may as well switch the monetization on. But anyway, never mind. <sighs> That's earning money through, well, I thought it meant I, nobody could um, donate, PayPal, uh, super chat me. But the super chat must be a different setting, which I didn't realise. So anyway, so there's still time to donate to the charity via the link. It's in the top of the chat. Um, I haven't checked recently, actually. Although Ruth's got the official list, so... Um, more money than I have. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've been set anymore. But so we've just got Janice crocheting in the corner. Bless her. <laughs> On my sick bed. Yeah. It's going to make his room a bit smaller. Doesn't that look much smaller though? Oh no. There we go. Oh, I might make him a little bit bigger. That's better. Okay, I'm still here. I can't believe I'm still here. Right, so I've done that one. Can you tell my stamping's getting slower and slower now? <laughs> so that's a rich razzleberry. And I want to add some little delicate bits and pieces now, I think. Um... I really love this stamp and I haven't used it all day today. I've been very, very, you know, restrained. So I think I'm going to use this one. Now, we haven't used Starry Sky yet. And I know it's unusual to have a blue leaf, but I would like to get some blue in here. So I'm just going to do it, guys crazy but it looks poisonous maybe 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 okay let's put some blue on in there and a bit of blue uh, I'll sleep well tonight Andrea I certainly will <laughs> It's been fun though. It's been good fun. Just an hour to go. Yep. Well, Dad's got to come back and do some poems, hasn't he? And then you wanted me to do what? A stamped one sheet wonder? You've got to get bed, girl. <laughs> Sleeping oh, come, come. This is this is the daughter who <laughs> loves to sleep, saying well, sleeping is overrated. What do you mean you're not present in the morning? Dreaming. Don't you? No. Remember I wonder if we can capture dreams. Did you did you know me that one? I never really thought about it. Oh. I need something else. I need another little flower to do some more blue. I want more blue flowers. Right, I need some more blue flowers, Meg. Go on, can you find me a little flower? 
Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm. Nope. So yeah, go and find me a blue flat. There, there are some smaller stamps I can't use yet. There's a set with lots of little flowers in it. Oh, I haven't used that those little blue flowers yet. In quiet meadow. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, I've got the right one. So I'm going to pop a few of these in. These fly very quickly. Mm. I want them to have colour. So I'm just popping some of these little blue flowers here and there. Berries and we've got mushrooms to go yet. Mm, <coughs> no, we've not no added the mushrooms yet. Or the acorns. Bob's probably thinking blue leaves, Ruth. Blue leaves. What? Are you mad? Okay, so I'm wondering whether just to get on and do those little. Mushrooms. Let's do those first. Can you clean that off for me? I'm going to get down there. Oh yes, and there are berries. You're right, Barb. Do that. Do that. This one. Oh, don't drop the stamp. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, she likes lost. the blue leaf. Okay, that's good. No refunds. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wow, Mindy, you've been here all day. Wow. Good job. Mm, can't find a space for these. Yeah. No. No yeah. space. Was Dad coming to do the song then? I've just realised, am I on the wrong inter- oh. Dear. Bear with. I've just realised Luke might be on the wrong internet. That's why it's jolting. <gasps> yep, I'm right. I knew something was going wrong. What? Right, let's try that again. Right, that's better. Right, let's pop that. Go and check on father. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am about these. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, super cute. I actually don't care that these are getting stained, these stamps. Now I have my sister messaging me. <laughs> oh, can someone message Esther and Tatala I'm doing a 10 hour live? She's messaging me about tea. Oh no, you know what? Uh, I'm live. I don't know where dad is. Okay. Oh, May, these are so stinking cute. Look at these. They look a bit like pennies. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. Right, I'm just going to darken up the edge of my mushroom. Can you close that off for me? I just want to make it a little bit darker along that edge. And also just hide where I've it's I've not quite met the the top there. I'm just doing a little fix up. Little touch up, fix up. No one will know. No well, one will ever know. Apart from Courtney and Andrew, of course. Yes, apart from everyone watching on the live. And Hello, Margaret. Margaret. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know. I'll probably get a second wind, Margaret. I am flagging a little bit, but um. Not over yet. I'm thinking I need a hot chocolate, me. We have gorgeous hot chocolate. We have the Hotel Chocolat hot chocolate. I've just got to put the milk in the frother and put a good dollop of chocolate in it. Can I have half and half? I don't know what, I can go and make myself a hot chocolate when Dad comes on. Is it the mushrooms from the set with the... Yes, it is, Mindy. Sorry. I know I'm enabling you, Mindy. Sorry, I'm already going. Okay, so I'm just using my pen just to do a little bit of adding stuff. Okay. So, we're going to add, I wanted to add a few more blue flowers here and there, so I think I only need a few little ones. So, I'm going to use this. Oh, and I've got the red berries to do as well. Mm, this is finally coming together. I feel like it's coming together now. <laughs> Ivy's like, I think I like this headset. <laughs> I'm a gorgeous wind. When message Esther, tell her to come and watch. I keep changing my mind. Now that is my favourite stamp set so far. All right, just checking where you were, really. I'm, ne I'm nearly, not quite, but I am nearly finished. Just got to add a few more little blue flowers. It is time for me to go to bed. No, not yet. Got another hour to go. These. May's going to turn into a pumpkin. What? I'm very confused. 
Why am I turning into a pumpkin? Because you're up late. That's not how it works. Yes, it does. Okay. I like pumpkin pie. Andrea asked, do you always make pie pies when you're stamping? Oh, yes. Well, I can't believe that I've been live for nine hours. Nine hours. What was I thinking, eh? What was I thinking? But, guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We've raged over, a, well, yeah, uh, near, well, I think we've got to a thousand pounds. Sorry, I haven't quite checked. How many reads have you made in the time, in the time overnight for me? Oh, for you, Margaret. <laughs> mm, this is, well, all together, this is number... Oh, thanks, Mark. Number Just... four. She said I'd be... But I think, I've got a feeling I'm supposed to have made five. So I don't know, I might have to do a speed one after Tom does his song. I'll do a speed speed stamping one okay so i haven't used any bermuda bay but i don't feel like i do need to use it um oh berries that was it just gonna put some berries in and then i think i'll nearly be done Um, I'm using your phone at the moment, darling, because my phone, my battery ran out. Is that all right? Uh, yeah. So Luke's checking in on me. What's going on? Got one hour to go, Luke. Dun, dun, dun. Got some berries. Got some berries. These are very cute berries. They're nice plumptious berries, aren't they, these ones? Oh, Janine. When are you coming? Janine likes this one. No, it's just Janice doing some crochet. Lovely. Right, I'm not quite sure what else to do. Uh, Janine, the berries are from the that wood one, the wood blah 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 blue blue ringed with nature. So look, there's loads in it. Absolutely loads. So Yeah, so you can you can do them the other way if you want to and have little acorns. Which is very adorable. Right, I think we're gonna have to do some rich razzleberry dotage. Thank you, Mary. Just finishes it off, doesn't it? Gotta have the dotage. And then just make another one. <laughs> I'll let you fight it out with Barb. <laughs> this this is the one with Barb's name on it. Oh, Janice is in the corner. She's uh, doing the reactions. <laughs> right, there we go, guys. You'll stand in for Glenna, yes. You'll have to do the... There we go. Whew. Right, go and tell Dad. She's on a Zoom. Oh, who's that? Oh, Glenna. 
No, Janice is on the seat. She's banging my door. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <clears throat> How are you? Yes. Janice, so if anyone wants to join the Zoom, it is still open because Janice is there. All on her no, lonesome. No little icon in the corner. <laughs> yeah, she's got her own little spot up there. She's she's reacting. So if you anyone wants to join the Zoom. Andrea's here. Oh, is she? Yeah, I think when you're um when you switch your camera off, you got you don't see you don't see That's her. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know to do a quick. Thank you. I'm trying to do a bit of a tally. Um, I'm trying to see if. No. Okay. So no one's. I don't think anyone's donated on the GoFundMe for a couple hours. Just checking my inbox to see if. Um, okay. It really is far, but it really is a bountiful wreath. Oh, good, good, good. Look at that. Is that frozen again? Oh, weird. Bottom. Okay. Right, Dad's here. Okay. What are you doing? Poetry? Yep. There we go. Uh switch ooh, switch the light on. Oh, oh Patty, thank you so much. Oh, you've been here since 6am. Oh, bless you. Okay, well, obviously come back and watch the replay. Tom's going to uh, sing a song, I think. One song. One song. No, can you read out the way? Oh, she's going to clean the tea because it was too much. But we'll go and watch it now. Spiritual now. Well, I found it. But I it Which one is this one? Not saying a word to God for whatever my intention is. It's difficult. So I thought, well, I'm only going well, no, I've, I'm actually got to prepare, ready to do a speed stamp wreath for the finale. So I'm just going to inspire you now while you. Well, I've got a, uh, a I've got a hymn and I've got some poems. So you can How long is it? That long. Okay. Do you want me to sing it now? No, you don't. I wrote it. <laughs> so, so, oh, oh, oh. I'll tell you what, this place isn't designed for what, guitars. Not, not I'm not, what? You're not meant to just bring it. How's, uh, how's the sound? Is that working okay, Nance? Well, put it this way, it's not what I thought it was, so. Oh, yeah, it's not how I've been going for so long, I need a shave. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <clears throat> All right then. Well, uh, well, I've got some uh, funny poems for you, but I've also, I just thought I'd play this uh, this hymn because it's late at night here. This is quite a yeah preacher man. That's me. Uh, it's uh, so it's quite quite kind of subdued. Uh, you know, it's, it's dipping into the chocolates, so and uh, so I found this, and now I wrote this years ago. So I thought uh, it's based on an old hymn. Um, I can't remember what the Be Still My Soul is that a soul the Lord is on your side so this is this is me rewriting it and giving it a different tune so I just thought it's quite kind of a subdued song for this time of night so I'm just going to play it and then we'll do some poems <laughs> Here 
we go. Be still, my soul. The Lord will provide. The cross you bear will bring you to his side. He'll lead you through the thorns to joy once more. He knows the way he walked it once before. Be still, my soul. Be still, my soul. Be still, my soul. God's helped you in the past. You can be sure the future is in His grasp. Your hope is real, He'll end this mystery. His voice commands and Storms must bow the knee. Be still, my soul. Be still, my soul. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on his way. This restless night. Will change to peaceful day. Sorrows rivers, unending joys outpour. Safe in his arms for ever, praise the Lord. Forever, praise the Lord. Be still, my soul. Be still, my soul. There you go. Lovely. Right, let me get rid of my guitar. Oh, I'm not trying to put a hole in the ceiling. Well, in stark contrast, that we're gonna uh, we're gonna have some. How late is it? It's yeah, it's nearly oh, quarter past four, eleven. Four, so we've got forty-five 11, yeah. minutes. Right. Well, actually, I say I started late, so I'm gonna keep going till ten past twelve. An hour. An hour. Do one more hour. So on the hour countdown. So if you haven't donated already, please donate. Right the link is in the in the description and also the top of this chat. I've pinned a post, so you can just click on that and donate to the Cycle with Dignity project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the nice comments. Okay, now as I said, in stark contrast, uh, we're going we're going to read these poems that I found. They're all a little bit sort of uh, childish and, uh, <clears throat> well, anyway, here we go. So this first poem is called uh, If Monkeys Get to Do It. So I settle back and uh, here we go. So you've got to imagine I'm a child now saying this poem. I bought a book of animal facts to find out something new. I learned about their habits and the strange things that they do. I told mum all about it, and then she heard me cry, If animals get to do it, then why can't I? Monkeys are a good example, as I'll help you see. For did you know they sometimes wash their hands and feet with we? I thought I'd have a go, but mum wouldn't let me try. If monkeys get to do it, then why can't I? The underwater slime eel never thrills at being bit. So for a shield, it coats itself from top to tail in spit. I thought I'd have a go, 
but Mum wouldn't let me try. If sly meals get to do it, then why can't I? I learned about dung beetles, keeping busy as they crawl, rolling poo all day until they make a perfect ball. I thought I'd have a go, but Mum wouldn't let me try. If beetles get to do it, then why can't I? Houseflies have a habit which I just could not ignore. They eat their food, then bring it up to eat it all once more. I thought I'd have a go, but Mum wouldn't let me try. If houseflies get to do it, then why can't I? The hoopy is a bird that you can find in Timbuktu. To frighten off his enemies, he does a squirty poo. I thought I'd have a go, but Mum wouldn't let me try. If hoopies get to do it, then why can't I? Mum took the book away from me and studied it for ages. I started to get worried as she looked over the pages. I'd read about the wolf spider and how she ate her young. If spiders get to do it, then why can't mum? <laughs> there you go. As I said, stark contrast. Okay, so the next one is called uh, The Lonely Wolfman. When Scott was born, he didn't cry. Instead, he gave a howl. With fur so warm, the midwife didn't wrap him in a towel. He's like a puppy, said his folks. But hearts began to harden when they watched him learn to crawl by chasing rabbits round the garden. Scott realised he was different when he first attended school. He tried hard to make friends, but the children were so cruel. They called him lots of silly names which made him feel quite rotten like furry face and hairy hands and even fuzzy bottom. Once he had left school, he thought he'd try an online dating site. He found a lovely girl who said she'd meet him for a bite. But when they got together and he flashed that sharp-toothed smile, she went quite pale, let out a scream, then turned and ran a mile. I'm so alone, Scott howled. I'm the most miserable of creatures. Will no one ever fall for my unusual lupine features? Then one day, walking through a field, he heard a lady shout, Quick, somebody help me! It's my sheep! They've all got out! The wolfman moved like lightning, chasing sheep back to their fold. His herding skills came naturally, a wonder to behold. The shepherdess, whose name was Lucy, gave him a big squeeze. She didn't seem to notice all the fangs and fur and fleas. As Scott gazed into her eyes, he felt his heartbeat race. So he put his arm around her and began to lick her face. They started dating and soon found they were the perfect pair. Although they were so different, there was so much they could share. She loved to rub his tummy and he loved to scratch her back. She loved to throw a ball and he loved to fetch it back. They decided to get married and invited everyone. The wedding cake was chocolate with a hint of pedigree chum. Once they'd said their vows, all the crowd rose from their seats. Her friends threw confetti, while his friends threw doggy treats. Now they make a lovely couple, holding hands and kissing, and Lucy never questions if, sometimes, a sheep goes missing. Everybody has their quirks, she's often heard to say. When we walk past a lamppost, I just look the other way. For true love can ignore a multitude of nasty habits, even husbands who, despite their age, Keep chasing rabbits. There we go. Oh. Well, hope you're still with me. Uh, here's, a, here's a little poem. Uh, I entered for a competition about potholes. You had to write a poem about potholes. Yeah. So uh, here it is. Very short. A pothole is slow at falling in love, but it happens sooner or later. When two are wed, once vows have been said, together they live as a crater. Okay, uh, might skip that one. Right, we'll do one more. Should we do just one more? Yeah, okay. 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 okay, cautionary tale of the old packed lunch. High up on a shelf, looking lonely and sad, is a box full of lunch that a boy never had. Inside the box, there was a sandwich to eat 
an apple, some cheese and a small chocolate treat. Nutritious food that would be good for the boy, with something sweet that his mum knew he'd enjoy. After she'd made it with motherly care, to school her son took it and placed it up there. But the child went home early, which wasn't expected, and left his poor lunchbox alone and neglected. And as for the next day, well, that's a no-brainer. The boy brought that lunch in another container. He left the first lunch. He simply forgot it. And as each day passed, the food inside rotted. But days became weeks, and then months, then a year. No one dared look inside. They were all filled with fear. But they whispered about it. They were so fascinated to see how the contents had evolved and mutated. Then one day, the boy, who was now three years older, and desperate to prove he had grown that much bolder, decided he'd take the box down from the shelf and look at its contents with no regard for his health. The class watched at a distance as the boy looked inside. They heard a loud gasp, saw his eyes open wide. The horror! The terror of food gone so bad that the sight of it permanently altered the lad. Before they had managed to shut the lid tight, his face had gone green and his hair had turned white. Though months have now passed, he still looks the same way, and nobody knows what the boy saw that day, for he hasn't been able to utter a word, though sometimes a whimper or sigh might be heard. He sits on his own with a look of despair, if you offer him lunch, he hides under his chair. So learn from this boy, eat your food when you should, for food that's gone bad will do you no good. There we go. Epic, epic poem there. There we go. There we go. All, Thank you. All, uh, <laughs> yes, they're all a bit silly, aren't they? Um, are we all, uh, all good? Ready yes. to do your next? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've just got to get some stamps. <laughs> <coughs> More stamps. Oh, okay. Uh, looking around. So, uh, thank you everybody for joining again and for uh, listening in patiently while I uh, sang some uh, a song and did some poems. I'm going to disappear in a moment. I've got to hang up some washing and uh, put some more in the machine. It's an uh, exciting next hour or so. Don't forget, if you haven't yet donated, now's the time. Make that final figure surge, that final stretch. Right, I'll leave you to it, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Good night, Lovely. everyone. Thank you for your positive comments. Good, good. Right. So, thank you, everybody, so far. Uh, how many have we got? I don't know how many we've got watching, actually. 60 watching. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Well, one more hour to go. If you want to share this out, we've, we're going to be stamping one final wreath. So, um, um, where can I? Esther, you're an admin. You can show Lindy's clapping hands, can't you? Cheers. Thank you. Okay, right. So I thought I'd go a little sort of... Um, back to a bit back to the beginning really like I did earlier where it went quite sort of country garden romantic um, but I'm going to use going to use the heavenly hollyhocks I mean, let's see if I can flip this camera down so okay Okay, sorry about my messy desk, but this has like been a day of stamping on here. So let's get, get rid of some of these stamps. I don't need these ones now. Okay. 
Nico's mushrooms, although those mushrooms really aren't quite adorable. I'm wondering whether to do some really cute ones, cute little ones. So, um, yeah, I've switched the zoom off now, guys. Sorry. Well, not off, but I haven't got you in the corner, although Andrea's just come on, so. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, you know what? I'm going to end the zoom, guys, because it's getting quite late now, so I'll end that now. Okay. It's been an epic day. It has. It has. Thank you so much, everyone that's kept me going. It's, um, yeah, it's been fun. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this. So, um, yeah, come on. Everyone just come in. Grab a blanket. Chill out. Grab a cup of tea. I'm going to have a quick swig of mine. the light down. I thought I was cold early and I put a cardigan on but I'm not anymore. Okay so I do have a few purples that I've not used so I'm wondering whether to use those. Um, I haven't used artistically, I haven't used this blobby one today. I haven't used this one either. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Nearly all my stamp pads are out of my of the rotating storage thing that I usually keep them in. Um, okay. Right, so You guys are not going to want to see me stamp another wreath for about five weeks, are you? Because you've had about five. Well, this is number five, I think, today. So, as I said, I've got to do some speed stamping now. Okay, so that's a bit of petal pink. It's all very pretty, that one peachy sort of pale colour. Quite cute. And I wanted to put a little bit more texture so yes I did do stamp surgery on this earlier today and yes I am going to put it back together for this one. Just to show you that you can do it that way. Oops. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's fine, um, Vicky. Vicky's got class today, so. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Renee. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Just lovely, lovely to have you here. Yeah, don't worry. I knew it was going to be a bit tricky for some people, but I'm afraid I just had to go with a day that I knew that I could do. So you never know, I might do this again some point at some point. So I might pick a different day. Might do a Saturday. So makes it a bit easier then for some folks who are at work. So Oh, thank you. Thank you, Renee. Lovely to see you. Okay, so that's just got a little bit of that petal pink on in the background. And I think I want to add some of those lovely roses. Because they're so delightful, this one here. Oh, 
Ooh, what colour should we go for? Might go for melon mambo. Now this background one that I did earlier, I didn't stamp it to be a flower, I just stamped it to be a texture in the background, so it is going to get covered up. On the other hand, doing a little bit of haloing and pushing too hard, obviously. Oh, good, Heidi, because that's what I've been doing most of the day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so thank you for coming and hanging out with me, guys. Much, much, much appreciated. Okay, so that's some nice, nice pink there in the background. Um, definitely want to do some of those hollyhocks, but before I do, um, I want to get some leaves down and. I'm wondering whether to do a little bit of the a little bit of this. And a bit of pear pizzazz. Thank you, Kevin. Have you been here all day? Okay, so I'm just I'm just doing the top section there. Such a pretty leaf. So I'm going in at the corner to make it easier just to ink the section that I want to use. We have so many gorgeous pretty leaves in the catalogue right now. Really lovely foliages. Fo foliage eye? I don't know. What's the plural of foliage? Actually, the plural of foliage, I think, is foliage. Oh, glad you could hang out with us, guys. So we've got 58 watching, cool. And there's it's been a sort of on average of between, I don't know, 40, 50 all day. So I'm here for the Alistair hour. What's the Alistair hour?
or the last hour. Is that what you meant to say? Right, so now I've got these very nice little rose leaves to go on. Oh, thanks for the um, donations, guys. Thank you so much. I think that takes us over the 1,100 mark. I think we were at... Um, 1,080, I think. So I think we were up to... 1,050 now. Thank you. So every five pounds will pay for a pack of six sanitary, um, yeah, a pack of six reusable sanitary towels that are being made by a lovely lady in Kenya who has three children at home with disabilities. So it's supporting her to earn a good wage for her and her family. Uh, it also enables for the first time really in her children's lives to actually access some therapy as well, some physical therapy, um, and to get and transportation to get them there, which. Um, she lives very much out in the sticks so it's it's fabulous and it means that she can stay at home and work and look after her children while she's working from home so um, the program also it, it has been organized that um, our staff workers will go into schools and, and talk to kids uh, sort of teenage-ish age uh, about yeah, about menstruation and so forth, and also staying safe and um, and clean and all that that sort of jazz. So, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Thanks, Renee. Yeah, so Renee, sorry, what you read about the 2000, it's because um, the fundraiser has been open for a year. So, sorry, I'm just taking into account what we've raised for this um, this event, this 10-hour event. So, um, if you add up the donations that started to come in about a week ago, um, that's what we're counting, plus some PayPal donations that have come in. So, sorry, it's really tricky. It's a bit tricky to track today's um what exactly has been donated because yeah yes <laughs> okay so i'm really eager to use one of these but i'm just not sure if it's going to look right um it's kind of the wrong size i'm a bit gutted really because i would have liked to have used that anyway don't worry don't worry we'll we'll use something else so um, I think I might use one of these leaves. Yes, yeah, so basically, yes, a thousand pounds this week. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's amazing. I really am so grateful to everyone's generosity. And, and also just sharing, you know, I appreciate now it's hard times for folks so please don't feel bad if you haven't been able to donate but if you've been able to share the website share uh, the video you know tell your friends about it then that's that's fantastic too so oops i didn't ink that up properly there we go Yes, I am coming to the US in in August with Janice from Jazz or Dazzle. We're going to on backstage. 
Miss them? No. Oh, what part of the states are you, Andrea? You probably have told me already. Sorry if I forgot. Hi, Pamela. Welcome back. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks for joining me, Gina. It's been lovely to see you. Thank you for your support. Oh, this is turning out super romantic. Super, super, super romantic. I think it's because I'm using a lot of these curvy leaves. It just really helps, doesn't it? Oh, Father Nor Far Northern Cow. Okay. Okay, so I did want to dump some purple craziness in here now. Um, I don't know if that's just going to spoil it. Mm, hold on, I need to have a think. What direction I want to take this in? I'm wondering whether to do it in Blushing Bride. I, you see, I was going to go purples with this as well as the pinks, but... Oh, uh, what's happened to my thing? It's frozen again. Oh no, it's still here. Okay. Oh, a butterfly, yes. God, I'm just not sure if that's going to be dark enough. I think I might do it in flirting. Yes, I could do some butterflies. <laughs> Janine's just woken up. <laughs> Hi, Annika. Oh, thank you. It's been fun. Okay, I quite like that. Now I need a fun centre. Still got this one. This is on my table. If I do that one in Melon Mambo, I think that will be okay.
bring it back in. Hi Kay! Oh look at that, isn't that cute? I've just created a new flower. I've all forgotten to do second generation, but it's okay. <clears throat> oh, so cute. Mindy, can you come down as well? Okay, so I'm not going to go for the Rich Razzleberry, but I am going to go for the Merlot because that's got more reddish tones to it. I'll just start doing some little clusters of these little flowers. Army blue butterflies. Oh. I think I should have to rename this to like the the wreath stampathon. Although you have had a variety of entertainment from various sources. So, I don't know. 10 hour live stream with Reese and family. <laughs> That's probably the correct way to describe it. So, if you've just come onto the live now, um, you've missed 10 hours of a variety of different um, things. Right, I like that. Although my eyes are being very much drawn to these leaves now, so I need to put some nice delicate leaves in. And of course, we do have these ones here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Be still my heart. My love. So going back in with the Murray Malow. To add a little bit of frothiness now to the whole proceedings. The Ruth Variety Show. 
Uh, upper left needs some love, yeah. I'm getting there to it. Oh, fun, Inika. Oh, your fave colours, though, Frederic, the other one. Okay, um, I think I just need one more for the yeah, you might want to watch me on like double speed though, Renee, because <laughs> there's lots of faffing around. I've not been so slick with my production today. We've had lots of interruptions and things, so okay. So, I feel like we need some darker green elements. Soft succulent was just sitting here. Excuse me. Oh, the chocolates are all on the other side of the room. Bear with. It's rude not to. Oh, have fun, Vicky. Thank you, Julie Bennett. Oh, this colour with this pink. It's divine. Right, I need to find a centre though for these. Hmm. Uh, 
I may have to just colour those in. I'll get Melon Man there. Yeah, that helps. Because my eyes are being drawn to these like weird dots in the middle. Okay, have I missed any? No, I think I'm there. Right, I do like that addition of the soft succulent there. Um, and I'm wondering whether to add a little bit more with this one. Now this leaf is quite useful because you see how it hasn't got one on the, that side? It means it makes it very useful for tucking in next to things. So, for example, she says, <laughs> for example, can't find an example. Oh, here, okay, put them in there. If I stamped it properly, Ruth, there we go. So, oh, yeah, there we go. quite sweet it's sort of it, it's similar ish to the one that I've just stamped but it it's a bit longer and you know it's got this kind of like weird sort of white portion I guess around it but anyway that's okay oh now I'll tell you what I did want to try and use was this one here it's like a little bell Did you say the dies that go with it? Uh, I didn't get the dies. No. They are lovely though. I don't think I did anyway. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I did. Okay, I'm thinking of bringing back a little bit of flirty. Yeah, the dies are beautiful though. Really, really lovely. Yeah, the upper left. Oh, what this up here? Okay, well, I know what, I'll pop, I'll pop some of these in. I wonder if it's because this looks really light. Is that better? I think it's because it, I did stamping off and it looks very light in that corner. But in real life, it's it's not too bad.
Oh, it's midnight. That's my son's alarm to say it's midnight. <laughs> ten minutes to go, guys. Will I get this finished in ten minutes? I'm going to use this, I think I used this before, to stamp over this. I'm wondering if just doing it in the flirty will be fine. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so nice. It makes it look really 3D. I don't even know what flower this is meant to be, but anyway, it looks pretty. Yeah, no, I've got 10 more minutes to go because I started late. I started 10 past two. So I'm going to keep going, keep stamping, keep stamping. And so I've done that one. No, I've done the other. I might give them some little stalks just because I can. I don't know, I just feel that they would look better with a stalk. Otherwise they just look like they're floating out of nowhere. There we go. <sighs> the blue. There is no blue. There is no blue. Yeah, there's no blue on this one. It's all pink and green and this is soft succulent. Does it look bluey to you? Ah, that's interesting. It's interesting that, you know, what different screens will pick up actually. Um, i tell you what I was going to do. I was going to ink or spot a uh, brush some pink onto these roses so that they just don't look so pale. Do that. So what might be interesting is to put a little bit of yellow just in the centre of these. Um, if I use, oops, where's it gone? Oh no, I'll use this one. That, but use a yellow. 
of daffodils and like oh it looks like oh does it <laughs> no it's not no it hasn't got any yellow uh, blue in it we talked about putting some blue butterflies haven't done that yet though so I'm just putting a bit of yellow in the centre of these just to brighten those up I mean it is meant to look kind of quite romantic and and country gardenish. I'm not sure butterfly now would fit anywhere. I haven't got any butterflies small enough. Right now I'll tell you what I was thinking of doing. I was popping a little bit of something lacy. Which I could do in a soft succulent, actually. <laughs> no, we're still here, Vicky. Yeah. Still in the chat. So I'm just brushing off some of the colour because I didn't want all of it. I just wanted some of it. Like a little hint hint of the fan. It's just like a little hint of lace. happen if I just ink it up that way oh yeah that's better okay so I'm just using the corner section and working my way around it around the fan So it's just like this romantic little bit of lace. Hi, Jan. So it's kind of there, but not there. So I'm going to start off by doing some soft succulent dotage but I may move on then to doing some darker just want to get some lighter dots in there this is number five I think.
All right. Oh, nearly dropped it. Okay, I think I'm done. Yay! 10 hours later. Oh, there we go. So it says that I started streaming two hours ago. That's rubbish. I started streaming 10 hours ago. I'm just refreshing my page so it says 10 hours ago. There we go. Right, so let me just go over the stamps and colours with this one. I'll, I will stay on just to go through all that. So colours used on this one was Daffodil Delight, Mary Malo. Oops, oh my goodness. Stamp Mountain. Purposaz, Flirty Flamingo, Soft Succulent. Melon Mambo, Granny Apple Green, and Petal Pink. My Petal Pink is fast fading there. So, close out with that. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Okay, so yeah, Merry Melon, a flirty petal, soft succulent, granny apple green, purposes, and daffodil delight. Stamp sets. Wow. Botanical layers. Simply fabulous. Graceful tiles, just that one. Artistically inked. Uh, that one and that one. Art Gallery, that one. True Beauty, the rose, the leaves, the background, and the trumpet. Heavenly Hollyhocks, that one. Uh, a flower and a leaf. And then Uniquely Artistic, that one there, with the little leaf. Now, just remember, did I go, did I go through the sunflowers one with you guys? Anyway, if I didn't, I will do a post with pictures and lists. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just do one big yeah blog post at some point. No, it wasn't polished pink. I have um, set polished pink aside. Yes, because it's retired now, so I don't have that on my desk anywhere. So if you want to see the wreath, I will show them in order of how I made them today. So, um, and a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who donated towards the Cycle with Dignity project. We've raised over a thousand pounds, but I will, oh, thank you, Jan. She's just figured out how to donate. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jan. Thank you. Brilliant. Yep. So we should be up to a thousand and sorry. So when you look at the GoFundMe, I know it says it's nearly two thousand pounds, but that is over the whole year. So um there we go. Uh, we're actually, in terms of what we've raised in the last week for this live stream, it's 1,060, no, 1,000, well done, 1,060 pounds, there we go, so... Oh, you're welcome, it's been super fun super super fun okay so the first one i stamped this morning hang on let me just move this out of the way was this one here with 
the True Beauty stamp set to start off with and then various others. We also use that wood, that new woody one. I can't remember what's it called. Mm. It's right at the bottom of my pile. Ringed with nature. There we go. Ringed with nature. So it's got some of those. So as I said, I will take photos when the sun shining and got good lighting because honestly I cannot tell you the colours just look so beautiful on this one so it's got purples it's got calypso it's got flirty flamingo and the flower from that pomegranate set is so pretty so pretty so yeah that one is a nice one Mary likes that one Good, good. Then we've got this one. Now this one um, is for somebody who donated. Well, they're all for people who donated a hundred pounds or more. Um, but the person who um, donated wanted something very specific. So um, this is going to somebody who wishes to remain anonymous, but um, they chose these colors. They wanted blues and neutrals. So that's that one. Good night, Heidi. And then this also, oh, excuse me, was um, again asked, the colours were asked for specifically because it's, yeah, that's what they wanted. So there we go. And then. We had an autumnal one. This was for Miss Barb. So that's the autumnal with all the little toadstools. This makes me so happy. These little toadstools. They're so cute. And then finally, this one. Very romantic and pink. I just felt that... Um, I just wanted to end on that one and make it all lovely and pretty and girly and pinky. So the teal is really striking. Uh, the that's uh, Coastal Cabana Bermuda Bay. That one. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go, guys. So about five hours of wreath stamping in the 10 hours. So a huge thank you to my family. Um, Luke held the fort and made a very unique card earlier today. He made, he stamped this one and made some in, an interesting insert. So that was that one. Then I stamped a bag as well with a very interesting combination of stamps. <laughs> Very, very interesting. So that's a wee bag. Oh, excuse me. Tom made some bookmarks. So if you missed Tom's bookmark making session, do go and check that out. That was fun. There we go. Especially when he stamped the green clouds. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, so that was Tom. And, of course, you know, you had Tom's poems and songs. So if you missed any of that, do go back and watch a replay. I will, at some point tomorrow, go through it and timestamp the description so that if, if you want to see something specific, um, it will make it easier for you to go back and, and watch that specifically. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to giving, giving me your thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. It's just a free way of you uh, helping me with my... Um, my YouTube and thank you everybody from the bottom of my heart who've, who've been able to donate um it's been fabulous right I forgot that I can flip my camera around now you don't need to do that so I will say a goodbye right whoo <laughs> and oh May May yes May did make a card She'll not forgive me for showing that, won't she?
there we go. So she made a card. There we go. That was nice. Yay. <laughs> the Trice family. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Um, yes, yeah, so please carry on um, donating for this amazing um, or, uh, project, rather. And I'll just make that a little bit bigger, just to remind you. It's called Cycle with Dignity. And if you want to know more about the Potter's House, um, go to thepottershousecbo.com. Uh, the information is all there. And I will endeavour to finish also making a little video that has an up-to-date kind of um, little interview with, with the lady called Gladys, who's been making the, the pads and also pictures of the pads that she's making. They're very bright and colourful. So that was great. Oh, have a fabulous class, Vicky. Fabulous class. Um, let me just read your final comments. So I'm just going to move that so that it... Oh, no worries, Jan. No worries. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, Pam. Yes, yeah, so it was a kind of celebration of 10,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. Um, thank you, Melanie. Thanks, Janine. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining in, everybody. I'm sorry, I had to switch on subscriber only to chat because I didn't really want to have to deal with uh, bots today. I'm, yeah, I just thought, no, I, I don't want to have to deal with bots as well as sorting out all the techie stuff. So I will continue to work on my tech. I'm going to order a mic for my PC. So there we go. I will do. Thank you, Heidi Selinsky. I will. I will. Yeah, will do. Right. Lots of love. Have a great rest of the weekend. And um, I'll catch you guys again. Oh, Monday. I am planning to go and see Thor on Monday. So, um, yeah i don't know if i'll be back if i get to do a live but um yeah i might have to um maybe record something as well because i'm sorry i've been waiting months for this film to come out months um we're all a bit of um we're all fans of um Taika Waititi. Right, and then I have got a class on Tuesday. Oh my goodness. And I've got a teen Zoom on Tuesday. Wow. Right. Thank you so much, everybody. Bless you all. Lovely to see you. Take care. You're approaching. Yes, I am. Thank you, Frederic. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly, Vicky. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hate saying goodbye. I am going.